Welcome back to Dungeon Cruel Stone Soup, everyone. I've set up a spring, and I think I was just like a hex wizard, but I'm not playing and sticking as a mage. I'm just trying to get the, um, what's the title? Spring Defender from having shields, which is not an easy thing for springs to get. Um, currently I just start with this little dagger, which is a little sketchy, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, this guy's gonna, oh no, short sort of venom. Um, hmm, might try and magic dart it. Oh, no, it didn't die. Hey, there we go. Now I've got a short sword of venom. Right, well, that's not too bad. <laughs> I do just have a lot of magic points, but I don't think I want to stick as a mage. I think I just want to stab people. Yeah, he does do quite a bit of damage. Um, I could stick with short blades. I don't know if there's any particular reason to do that. I mean, springs can be okay stabs, I guess. But yeah, getting the shield skill off is going to be really hard, because uh, let's see if I can find my aptitude. I've got minus three aptitude shields, so i got to get it all the way to 27. So, um, yeah, that could take a while. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright. You used to play a lot of springs, but I haven't played one for a little while. I'm not sure how they are after, like... Oh, no, one hit point. Uh, attacks of opportunity rework and stuff. Um, where can I run this guy around? So I could just throw some magic darts at There we go. That gets rid of it. Got three of that scroll. Could be good. Those large rocks. Probably bigger rocks than I, uh, like the size of this character. So don't need those ones. Oh, ring of strength. I mean, it basically doubles my strength, but I don't think I really need it. But sure, I'll put it on. Technically, Spriggans can wear gold dragon armor. Um, <laughs> if you want to go that route, but you probably wouldn't. I usually keep them in something fairly light, like robes or fairy dragon armor or something along those lines or uh troll leather armor or something all right level three um i'm gonna get decks my decks didn't start off like super amazing but hey at least i started with sub decks i guess 15 oh that's good for a spring and probably not oh i just can't get up to this little bat i'll pull it back to the corridor there we go they got rid of it Okay, um, got four of that scroll now. Surely that's identify, right? It could be teleport or something else, though, but I, I think I might just go downstairs and read one of them, see whether it is identify. Um, it is, in fact, identify. Excellent. So I can identify potion of mutation, potion of brilliance, scroll of noise, and a teleport. All right, well, that's a somewhat okay selection of stuff, I guess. Teleport could be good. Uh, I can't wear any of that heavier armor. I've got a ring of fire, or I will do something, and uh, ooh, a bond of light. Those aren't too bad. In fact, I can probably identify all my stuff with all these identify scrolls around. So we've got some haste potions, which are kind of nice as well. And we've got some heal wounds. All right, those are also pretty good. But I've already got like 18 max health, so one of those could probably fully heal me. Also, this dude's got a slig. Um, ow, but I could go ranged. We'll see. Problem with rage is, oh no, I'm dead, lethally poisoned. Um, how much have I go to zero perfectly? Well, that's my healing potion, God. <laughs> there's a tower shield, there's no way I could use that. Um, yeah, let's pull these guys back. That would be good for another character. Looks like it might even be magic. Oh, I'm not killing this guy very well. Let me just back up a bit and... Throw some magic darts on it. There we go. I mean, I guess that's something I can't do. So I've got a spear of flaming. This shield's also too big for me, the kite shield. Yeah, I gotta have a natural buckler. Hopefully a protection one or something along those lines, but we'll see. Uh I feel like I'm getting into a lot of sketchy situations with this character. Let's see who's got a dagger, alright. Um, did I still have some identifiers left over? I don't think I did, because I did fight quite a few, but then I think I used all of them. What is the shield anyway? Plus two tower shield? Wow, that would have been nice for a character that could actually use it. Um, like, sure, you wouldn't have enough skill at this point in the game, but it still could be pretty good. So there's Gozang, a Leave or Zob. I don't think I risk getting Zob or something. That's probably a bad idea. 
Um, what god do I want anyway? I haven't really thought that one out. Hmm. He has a number of gods I could go with. So I don't even know like entirely what sort of weapon I want to go with. I'm just going with the short sword for now because it's Venom. And a Venom short sword is always really good at the start of the game. Uh, can I have another mutation? I probably should just drink one randomly, but I totally could. Um, okay, there's a fire beetle there or whatever it's called. There's a bombardier beetle. I'll put on a ring of fire so that it doesn't burn me to death quite as well. At least I'm fast at moving, so if I do get set on fire, it's probably not quite as bad. All right, let's take out the ring of fire. <laughs> Don't want to be risking running around with that one. It's, um... Uh, Getting frozen to death by an ice beast or something. Actually, what does use coldness early apart from ice beast? I mean, I guess... Oh, there's a priest. Um, I mean, I guess random weapon brands, but it's not a lot. I don't know, it's a priest again. It did get me confused. Um, Should be fine, though. I don't know what i do about the priest. I might... Mm, can I kill that? Do I have a... I guess I might zap with a wand of light. There we go. That got rid of it. I just was kind of worried because I only have like 28 uh, max health. Not exactly a lot. Alright, well, I guess I'm going down again. I am actually trading some fighting skill, but I'm not sure it's helping that much. Um, I haven't got any weapon skill yet because I haven't decided on what sort of weapon to have. Hey, it's Amulet of Faith. I don't even have a god yet. But, hey, once I get a god, it might be a bit more useful. I could just go... What's a god I've been with a little, a little while? I'm not sure. What's a god that helps with a Spriggan? I could do my classic thing and go with Okawara on a Spriggan. Oh, got a robe of five decks? Hey, that's not too bad at all. Let's put it on. So I get an invasion? Oh, yeah. It looks kind of nice as well, like a little blue robe. Am I wearing a hat? I am wearing a hat. Oh, yeah. Um, I got three of whatever these are. Fear scrolls, that's nice. Wait, am I? Oh, man, I did fight. That was my last one. I guess rig will be useful. Magical power, that's... Um, sure, I'll put it on. <laughs> I got, like, almost as much magical power as I have hit points, but that doesn't help me that much, because I didn't decide to... Stick with the mage route like I could have. Oh, it's a little ghost in here. The lady wearing robes. The uh, STTR411's ghost. A deep elf Condra. Oh, they have the same max health as me, 28. Because I guess they're a deep elf. Those are also pretty fragile. They do searing ray. That could absolutely kill me in like a couple of tons. I don't think that's a good idea. Hey, Ruga. How's it going? How's the... Uh, Cosplay challenge. That one, the next one's like tomorrow, right? Was a Spring and Defender cosplay? So you've got to um get shields 27, which is really hard given the like minus three aptitude that you have in the shields there. But I'm sure I'll be able to do it. Oh, good, a temple. I'll take one of those. Oh, hey, Retomic as well. Oh, no, an ogre. Um, <laughs> I gotta try Magic Dart the Ogre to death. I got so many magic points, I might as well. Uh oh. Little freezing imp. Uh, I don't even know what's going on there. I might just go downstairs and try and get a god. So there's uh, Hippley Aquana, there's Fetas, there's Rue, there's Okawara. I'm gonna do Okawara. I haven't done it in a little while. It's another title, yup, it's definitely another title here. No, I'm making my way through, like, the the sort of unique, more unique titles. Um, the ones that actually require, like, a very specific combo. But I've still got a few of them left to go. Uh oh, I'm kind of running into a corner. There we go, go rid of the ogre. But that ogre could have easily one-hit me, which is why I was, um... Being a bit careful and stay back and magic darting it. Oh, another one? There's also an archer, which... Oh, it's not moving next to me. I kind of wanted to move next to me so I could take its bow, but... Oh, well. 
Uh, the classic pew pew with runaway. Yup, that's uh, that's what I'm trying for today. No, I did. I think I might get into bows. Oh, that's a nice beast. Uh, let me just bring someone upstairs. I don't have any coal resist though, so. I could try magic dart it. <laughs> um, that's gonna be so tedious until I get like a proper range damage source, but hey. Kind of feels like poking a bear, except it's actually an ice beast, I guess, not a bear. It looks kind of like a bear, though, like a frozen bear. Oh, man, come on, okay, that's half his health gone. Oh, the next tournament challenge is uh, in less than 28 hours. All right, yeah, because it's midday tomorrow, I think, for me, so. I mean, I'm going to have to make sure I don't have a character going at the time, though. Okay. I don't think it can one hit me, or maybe it can now. Um. Oh, come on. I just gotta adapt it with a wand of light or something. It's just not dying. There we go. That got rid of it. Okay. Uh, oh, that was a staircase. I think it's a somewhat questionable one. Whoa. That's a, that's a lot of damage. Oh, and I can't poison this guy up. Um, I just had to do it and with some magic darts or something. Oh, whoops, I just accidentally put something on all to pick up. It probably doesn't matter. Um, oh, this is so tedious. I really do need a rage weapon. Okay. Right, level 7. So I've got 38 health. I'm doing better than before. Can still be one hit by an ogre, though. Uh oh Uh-oh. Um... Gotta kill this one. Now what? Um, I think I want to light the other one. There we go, it's blind. I might want to light it again, because I feel it kind of wounded. Um, but if it's blind, it's probably not hitting as well. There we go, I got an orc bow. I might go, uh, I might do some ranged. So there's my ranged skill. I might get, oh, I'll get the fighting up to five, whatever I was going to. Get ranged to like, um, a ten too much? Ten's probably too much. I'll just start with six points or something. Alright, that's my damage delay. Probably not very good. 15 with a 1.5 attack delay. I mean, it's better than nothing. And I can run back while shooting the bow at least. Oh, finally, you can, uh... You can have no penalty on your buckler. Yeah, with a 27 shield value. I mean, it does kind of like that with a spring. And it is kind of ridiculous getting that much, um... Shield skill on a spring. And I almost feel like I've tried for this before. Like, I think I've had the, um... I think I've definitely had shields as my highest skills as Spriggan, but the title didn't exist back then, so I didn't go all the way to 27, I think. Um... Oh, don't forget to post to the Cruel Cosplay Discord when you play the next tournament. Yeah, because I forgot the first time, didn't I? Um... Hopefully I'll remember next time to post when I, uh, start streaming the tournament. Oh, God, Trog. I think I've done this break as a Trog before. They're actually pretty good. Because uh, you can still run away quite fast while... Oh, that was too close. While uh, you're slowed. Take every spring as I've won. So, oh, yeah, mainly invocation styles. Oh, uh, lots of dodging. That was back before I started going for the, like, titles specifically. So I just got whatever, and it was mainly, like, dodging ones. Um... <laughs> I've got two summoning ones? Strange. Try to think it should kind of make sense. I mean, Spring is a good at that. Long Blades? I've done some Long Blades. Range makes sense. Oh, I've got both range titles. Huh. Yeah, there's definitely one there for shields, which makes sense. So, wait, does that mean I've still got a range title to go? Was Spriggan? Like, either the Merry one or the... Wait, which range one did I get? Let me just check that. Uh, what am I after? I guess I just say, is it, uh, what is it? Um, something like that. Let's just see what rage character. So I've had Mary Spriggan, but not the other one. Oh, hey, down. There are two of my staircases, which is really awkward. Might take my third staircase down. Okay. 
Small bags so I don't get too corroded by this guy. There we go. I could probably do the same with these oof tubers guys. Oh, they said they're actually quite fast, aren't they? Uh, maybe not so easy to just pull them back or something. Oh, at some stage I need to get this finesse going, don't I? I'll just get my range like six and then I think I'll start working on the finesse. Man, I gotta go down the staircase. I kind of do. Can't remember if Spriggans can actually be put to sleep. They might be immune to that. Um, but I can check with a satire, right? Oh, I'm not immune to sleep. It's got a 50% chance to do it. Okay, well, that's the easy way to answer that question. What do I never got the... Um... What's it called? What is the um, range title? The Mark Spriggan one. Oh, I guess it's because I played a lot of my Spriggans back um, before Rage uh, didn't require ammo, so I didn't play a lot of ranged Spriggans, as it turns out. And I guess I was going for a lot of the dodging titles as well, so um, yeah. It also kind of reduced how many of the range titles I would have got. So I just got an identifier, I think. I should use it on, like, whatever. I got three of three scrolls of blinking. Those are nice. Uh, it's a hand axe. I was excited for a little while when I saw the word hand. It's like, hey, is a hand cannon for me? No, of course not. I think had, just finding like a hand cannon on the ground randomly is pretty rare. Oh, I'm not really outrunning this guy, which is a problem. Um, I'll hold up. I gotta put on my faith here, I think. Try and build up that piety, get to six perps of piety so I can get my gifts earlier. See what I can get. Um, I'll get put to sleep in the spring. It seems like a good way to die. It does seem like a very good way to die. No, I don't think I'd live very long while I'm asleep. Uh... How does this make sense? I'm just going to swap staircases. Not that one, though. Because there is Down. I still don't know where to invest is. Although, technically, I can kill um Down first, can't I? Because I can outrun a Berserk Juvessa. I think I uh, killed Juvessa first, though, but... Could almost make sense to do it the other way around as a Spriggan. Like, specifically as a Spriggan. Alright, let's get ranged up to 10. And dodging up to 14, I think. That'll, of course, get some decks to back up this dodging. Hey, there we go. Dowd is, in fact, dead. Excellent. I made a new bot command today. Hey, what's it do? I want to see what this bot command does. There's, uh, wait, Versal stats? Oh, there's less, uh, right, less uh, stats for someone interesting. Huh. I kind of surprised there was a command for that already, actually. <laughs> well, that's interesting. What's this dude got? It's, uh, got distortion. Well, it's one of those abyssal balls, so it's not really nasty to go in. It's just a simple one. Yeah, because I guess I just gotta, like, add the name to, like, the end of the URL, right? And then it should just work. Is that a ghost or is that something else? That is a ghost. Inji's ghost. A yellow draconian shapeshifter. Like, they actually have not much else. 57 or something? Oh, what, was it 57? It was about that. It was barely more than me, which is crazy, given that it's draconian. The command is, oh yeah, it's basically that plus... Oh, you lowercase the name, and then you split... Okay, so it actually is very to be complicated. You're doing a bunch of, like, name fix-up. I see how that works, kind of, vaguely. Oh, let's pull this dude upstairs. There was some sort of branch down here, so I do want to not be too slow. Uh-oh. Uh, do I have a magic mapping? I'm not sure I do. So there's a lot of guys here, which could be a bit of a problem. I'll pull some of these around the corner if I can. Um. Uh-oh. 
Hold up, I need to um, I need to fire this here. Otherwise they're gonna get burned to death by this guy. Um I need to no longer have vulnerability to fire. Oh, it's cold, I mean. Okay, where can I go down? Um I don't even know if I got to really look around after I go down here. So it's a very distant portal. Well oh no. I'm gonna zap this guy with some light and then go back up, I think, and get my health back. Fortunately, no regen on this character, so that's a bit of a shame. Oh. Um, I might zap this guy with light as well. The breeze, I mean, such a problem today. It's also a scoring link? Wait, what does that list to? Let me go look at that one. Oh. That leads some... Um... Hold on, what is this page? Is this like... Oh, this is the other scoring one, like the uh, Crazy Egg one, right? That lists uh, things in a format that I'm not very familiar with. Also, it's light mode instead of like dark mode, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, because the other one at least got a choice. Uh, whether you want light mode or dark mode. Uh, I got Ice Blast, I got Ice Blast, I got Light, I got Polymorph. That's actually beginning to be a decent slash. Also, the portal's nearby. Which is also a good sign. At least it was nearby. Oh, is it just behind this trap? Because I saw that Goblin had like a... Uh, yeah, it is. It had like a boomerang, which is... Just, um, Not what they usually have. It's definitely a sign that I'm near one of these places. Okay. Don't know how much time this have left, but I'll drop um some of these random useless stuff that I appear to be carrying around. Do I really need that magical power? I probably don't need the noise at least. All right, well that's um probably good. Let's just go in. I think my inventory is pretty good. Yeah, it's got tons of slots. Got it. Um, a Ruger's training to become a sequel wizard. <laughs> it seems like it. I I have a done much of this, like, uh, the bodge commands. Uh-oh. I don't really want to run. Got an enlightenment. Uh... I think... No, hold on, hold on. I can do one better. I can just fly. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Now, uh, let's see this guy try to get to me now. Oh, that's kind of funny. Man, that rings, uh, rings really good. Oh, you're a total noob, uh, format expression you understand nothing of. Yeah. I don't know quite how it works. Like, I, I can do the simple commands, like, looking at titles and stuff. Wait, why is that guy... Doesn't he have a reach weapon? Why is it standing there? Why does it stop running away? I mean, that's helpful for me, but... Huh. I wasn't expecting it to just, like, give up on trying to fight me. Well, I'll try to run away from me, I mean. Right, so got another identify. I can use that on this enchant armor. Do I have anything to enchant? I got a hat. You know what? I think I should, because as a springer that wears light armor, I'm not going to get a lot of stuff to enchant. Might as well get the armor class while I can. Oh, this dude's rather close. You mean can't? Oh, there's traps in the way. That's why I can't reach up places. That's fine. I'll just pull these guys back to the water, I guess. At least I'll try to pull these guys back to the water. It's funny how, like, I get them a little spot next to me and they all just run around that way. Yeah, again, it's not running away, but it's, uh, reads to be close to me. Oh, so plus eight giant club. That's hilarious. Uh, that's way too big for this character, though. Anyway, what have we got in here? Oh. A box of beasts that I can't use because I'm with Okumaru. Sure, that's fine. Um, this is not a massively rewarding... Oh, I should have let the white wear off. Uh, Wizlab. But... Not Wizlab, what am I saying? The other thing. Uh, gauntlet, but it's a... Not a gauntlet. Ah, the other thing. The... Man, what is that thing called? Uh... Not a gauntlet. It's not a Wizlab. Whatever it is, whatever it's called, it's not a massively rewarding one, but it's a reasonably easy to do one, so it's basically free XP. 
That glove is twice my size. Yeah, I think that glove is definitely like twice my size of a little tiny spriggan, so I'm not gonna be using that one. <laughs> Although I do have 12 strength, so I'm not entirely wimpy. So probably not enough for a giant spike club. Oh, Bailey! Yeah, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. For some reason I totally forgot what it was called. Oh, I'm up to five pips of piety on dungeon level seven. That's a good sign. Because I've had the faith on a lot of the time. Um You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab I'm not sure if I should, but I gotta grab like uh the first eight points of shields or something just to bias Okawaru towards one-handed weapons. Otherwise, I'm probably gonna get like a lot of arbalists or something, and I don't really want a lot of arbalists. Um, is a sling of flaming? How much damage is that? Twelve damage, point eight attack delay. I do eighteen damage, one attack delay. Um, hmm, similar, but I don't think there's a reason to swap. Okay, uh, where's my... I'll put back on the fly, because I don't be running around with a ring of fire or something. Ooh, blocular. With a heavy dire flail. Let's keep him at a good distance, I think. Uh, he does have his spells, of course, because he's got his spells of every different color. But, um, no, we definitely keep him at a, a distance. The Sith Order was just chilling in a random corridor. Yeah, that, I thought that was kind of funny as well. Just like a random corridor Sith Altar. Uh, where did Blockula go? There he is. Kind of got me in a corner. Oh, and he sped up. Uh, working through his bats, all right. And then when one of the bats died, it dropped like the flail. That's interesting because technically, I guess they merge all of uh, Blockula's gear. And I guess the last one you kill drops his gear or something. That's a really interesting situation. I hadn't really thought of how that would work with the gear on Blockula. Oh, you had to stand out to make keywords with the KW command. So you guess you're just a noob semi pro now. So that's like, uh, that's like when you could add, um, that's like when you type something into a command, like say, um, I don't know, SP for Spring or something, that would be like all the default keywords, I guess. Oh. <sighs> Spotify's are gonna get in my way. Um. Hmm. Might just leave Jeremiah for now. Oh, two headed, oh good. Oh, well, that's kind of nice. I guess. It's got to not let it get next to me. So also I attacked it like just over one. So I got to be a bit careful with that. Is that a dead end? No, I don't think so. Oh, where'd it go? I don't know why I was hanging back. Maybe I was just too fast at running away or something. I can't uh, use the steam dragon armor. I've got plus one robes of plus five decks. So technically I could use them. I'm just not sure if it's worthwhile or not. Um, I might just leave Jeremiah. I think he's too tough. It would give me sort of steam resist, which would be kind of nice. But I kind of... Uh... Just relying on um, putting on my ring of fire for situations where I need to sort of resist. He got a mind burst, alright. Dex is pretty good, it certainly is on a spriggan, yeah. Uh, might ice blast this dude. Whoa, is this alright? Yes, good. Alright, let's pull back some of these yaks. Um, there should be another one here? There was definitely more than one, except apparently they hadn't noticed me just yet. I'm still flying, right? Good. <laughs> That's kind of funny, I can just fly to the other side of this water. Uh... I think I might throw an ice blast just because there's like a... Oh, there's an acid dragon in there that I want to hurt. That's the uh, main one I'm worried about here. Oh, there goes the acid. And it even managed to hit with its acid, which is a bit unfortunate. Okay. Oh, Steam Dragon. Alright, well, Ring of Fire time. 
Put back on the flight just in case I need to get out of here in a hurry, but I don't think I will need to get out of there in a hurry. Thankfully. Well, that's the first time anyone's ever said it would be, uh, it would give me steam resist, which is pretty nice. I mean, I guess it's not too much, like, to do steam damage, but, hey, it's, it's still something. <laughs> yeah, but definitely having fire resist is just straight up better than having any kind of steam resist. Oh, hey, there we go. That's my gifts. Um, I mean, that's probably enough shields. I'm really hoping for a weapon here. Come on. Come on. We gotta, ooh, hand cannon. So there's either a plus five anti-magic hand cannon or a plus seven hand cannon of electrocution. I'm going to take the plus seven hand cannon. I'll probably end up rebranding it, but electrocution is actually not terrible. All right, well, that's pretty good. I can stop doing the shields now. I don't even have a little buckler. So uh, what was I getting? I was getting ranged and I was getting dodging, I think. Yeah, but it looks like getting the shields might have paid off because I got lots of hand cannons. What about the armor? Nice guns. Yeah, definitely really nice. Okay, so I don't need to see invisible the cloak. My is actually kind of bad. And there's a couple of resist negative, which is all right. This pearl dragon scales of resist electric. Resist negative, see invisible. Or there's a robe of resist electric, regen, arch magi. Wow, imagine that robe on like a genie or something. Arch magi, regen, resist electric. Anyway, what is, uh, what's the pearl dragon number like? Oh, I lose like 9 uh, evasion, gain 8 AC. Hmm. That's not that good. How the robe? I mean, it's got a regen on it. I lose almost 3 evasion if I put it on. If I do get a resist electric, it could be worthwhile. What's the damage like on this thing? It's probably pretty good. It's 33, but it's a 1.4 attack delay. Oh, yeah. Man, I like having a little guard here. This is pretty good. Now I'm just going to find myself a little shield to go with it. Alright, actually, do I have any enchant weapon? Because if I do... I don't know if I do. I'll see all the scrollers. It's poison. No, I don't think I can enchant this up. Although, now that I've, like, maxed out my party, I can freely, fairly, freely use it, right? Like, I could do a heroes over here, which I probably should. But I should probably just keep a good distance from this gargoyle. Oh, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I mean, I guess that's what happens when you got a guard that can do some pretty good damage. The gargoyles just kind of die. I really like the new bolt on these uh, guns as well. Like, um... Yeah, that actually looks kind of cool. Because the old one was just like using an arrow or something. It looked a little silly. All right. You know what, I think I might go receive the robe of resist electric regen. I think that's probably the most useful thing on this list. I know the arch magic doesn't help me. I'm gonna put it on for now. I lose a little bit of dex. So I lose a couple of damage. Not sure if it's worthwhile or not, but hey, it's regen. I'll give it a try. It sounds alright. I look so ganked the way they hold the gun. Just like holding it out. <laughs> Imagine a little gangster spriggan, though. That would be absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Getting mugged by a gangster spriggan. Uh, let's go downstairs, I think. I gotta even wear that leather robber, can I? Um... Hmm. I have mind bust this guy. 60%. Might try to zap with a little bit of light and then just shoot it. Whoa. Uh... Oh, yep, they got me with the ass, so I'm gonna drink a healing potion. Uh, if I throw out an ice blast, it should just die, right? Good. Oh, no. I got an ice blast to B as well, I think. That's probably a good idea. Get rid of that one. Um, I'm mugged by it. Uh, oh, the hideous, hideous galley. The other room was definitely a nice color wall. That's not a good spot to be in. Uh, okay. Uh, my finesse up. Hopefully that's good. Yeah, it's got the bees under control. Let's find a real staircase. That one's kind of close to all the uh, enemies. What? Come on, really? I don't have another staircase. Um. Ah, it's right in here. 
I don't have a possible or something, do I? Got a blinky, which I should probably grab, but I don't think I've got a possible here. Um. Oh. Ah, no, it's in there. Well, apparently this book here might have possible in it. Actually, how do I examine it? There we go. It's got passenger club right now to see if possible. It's got a different thing. Um. We get mugged by a little guy with a gun and ugly robe. That's uh, that's this character. I'm gonna go into the lair, see how that is. Um, I don't have any poison resistor, right? Unfortunately, they gotta be a little bit careful. The whole poison. Also, that uh, basilisk's probably got at least a twenty percent chance of petrifying me. No, only thirteen percent. I guess Spriggan willpower's paying off. Oh, I don't have anywhere to run with that guy. I'm pretty sure I'm not wearing any willpower items, otherwise they would definitely be lower. Oh, no. Mmm, I just gotta go up. Oh, of course I didn't make it up. Okay. Which of course wouldn't have actually helped, it would have just put me straight back into the same sort of situation. Alright. I kind of pull these guys around the corner as I shoot them. Gotta be super careful with these cane toads. Um, sort of working, I guess. I do have some curing, right? I've got uh, five curing. Okay, that's something before I get inevitably get myself horribly poisoned by either a snake or a cane toad or something in here. Man, I'm like a elephant hunter. <laughs> Hopefully don't hunt these elephants to extinction or something, because that's... Well, they haven't been hunted to extinction in the real world, uh, but they've been hunted to quite low numbers, I think, in some places. Um... Ooh, dodging is up to 14, but it's still reasonably cheap. Um... Although it is kind of getting up to the same sort of price as everything else. Let's get... Oh, I might get some evocations, actually. Let's just grab six of that. But I'll just get... Let's get like a bunch of everything. The so fighting, rage, uh, dodging. I don't know. There's no reason to continue with the shield, so I get a little buckler, which remarkably is the only shield I haven't found. I think I might just quickly check. Yeah, it is. I can identify a good old. Got one of basically everything. It doesn't really matter. I'll just do this one. Brad weapon. Hmm. Oh, whoa. Poison versus regen willpower amulet. Hold up. I'm gonna lose my face for that. That's really good. I'll oh, save so five strength. Yeah, let's just straight up do that one. <laughs> okay, then. Uh. Can't wear those boots, can I? Makes me wonder whether I want to go back to my. No, I keep two souls of regen on. Should regen me really quick because I don't have that much health. Like, 56 uh, health. Yeah, okay, let's go down the stairs. Um, do I want a brand? Is a real question. I don't want to get heavy or something. Because I, I've always found the heavy hag crossbow strong because they're so slow at attacking. Oh, there's a Hydra. Although I think it's worse once you get a shield with the heavy hag crossbows because um, the shield's max block for but turns sort of becomes a problem. Ooh, got Dex. Might take off the strength. Okay, well, I definitely got more evasion. 35 damage, yeah, I got more damage too. So, I mean, this character's got a pretty good start. Oh, he's still got, like, two nets, I think. I'm gonna keep him at a distance. That way, when he inevitably actually gets me with one of these nets, I can just run away. Oh, he missed with all his nets. That's nice. Anyway, I might just go to the escape hatch, wait off the mark. What's a bog body doing here? Let's just go upstairs. I've got no cold resistance, no fire resistance. So I need, like, a scarf of resistance or something. Um... I definitely gonna have to buff up when I fight that bog body, which hopefully I don't have to fight in a hurry. Alright, what's this? It's a uh, vulnerability. Also got a ghost here, so we've got 
Bongqing Dogs Ghost. They're a Murpho Gladiator of Okawaru. Hey, it's a fellow Okawaru worshiper. They got minus fire resist. I wonder what they were fighting at the time. Because they got a bit of cold resist, so they could have just been wearing a ring of fire. So they did like 40 damage or something. They even more than me. I only do like 35 or something. Um, <laughs> Probably attack faster as well. Like They probably got a 1.0 attack delay. Whoa, that's not a good idea. Bleeding Wolves are actually faster than me. Oh, the good old Bong Cheng Dong's ghost. It certainly is. I've seen their ghost before. Or they must be reasonably to be new to the server, because I haven't seen them too much before, like, uh, until, like, somewhat recently. But now I'm seeing them quite a bit. It's like, oh, I could turn this guy into a shiny guy, and I have Devastation or a Queen Bee. That's not that good. I finesse up, um, and heroes them up. I don't think I got a lignification, so I just kind of had to use both my buffs to get through the sky chunk. Because I think it might have been like the same speed as me. I didn't seem to be gaining any distance when I ran away from it. Oh, wait, there's the bug body. I'm gonna finesse up. Just make sure I kill it before it freezes me to death. Right, it was guarding the swamp. That makes sense. Um, anything else nasty guarding the swamp? I think that's it, thankfully. So I can just go downstairs. Uh, hey, what's the random Okawaru also doing here? I mean... Oh, let me just back up a bit. I'm sure I could go offer a uh, prayer to Okawaru or something. Why not? Seeing I'm already here exploring the land. This guy's got over 0% chance of petrifying. 1% of okay, That's not too bad. I can live with that, I think. Oh, does it say now the description relative speed? Wait, doesn't? Should get the relative speed now. Oh yeah, it just says 150% speed. Which admittedly is the same as me, right? No, I'm... Uh... Wait, a 0.6 move delay, how's that in terms of speed? I think that's like 166% speed. That's really weird. I thought the relative speed was kind of useful, but maybe not. We've got revelations, alright. I mean, I guess a lot of races are just moving at like 1.0 move delay or something, so the relative speed doesn't really mean much because the percentage kind of is a relative speed. Um, didn't notice that for Atomic? Yeah, I didn't notice that either because I've been playing a lot of 1.0 move speed characters, so it doesn't really matter a lot. Huh. I feel like it would be something that would be fairly nice to show for non 1.0 move delay characters. Like these little spriggans here. How's my attack delay anyway? 1.3 or thereabouts? Alright, that's alright. Uh, oh, lots of death yags. Shouldn't be any problem though, because I got plenty of clear levels so I can just back up. Shoot, back up, shoot, and they'll not stand a chance. They don't be, like, trapped in a little corner or nothing. Oh, yeah, that would die before it even got up to me, which is kind of funny. Um, Like, without me even having to back up or nothing. I mean, this one's not dying so easily. Oh, if it's, uh... Defast or slow, it says in brackets, you think... It didn't say with the other creature. Let me look at this one. So this one's, um... This one's it normally travels slower than me. When it has a swimming speed, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, also, I might put on some fire and just, uh... The flight, I guess. Flight's not going to be that useful in there. Alright, safe, but it should be too bad. I hope I get some fire resist from somewhere, though. Alright, what do I- what am I wearing? Usually it was just like, I don't know, flight or strength or magic points or something. I mean, I guess flight's like mildly useful. I like some of those other ones. Oh, not that one. Let's go to this one. Let's go jab with this guy. So this is the speed. Wait, that was this normally travel slower than you. 150% must be equal? 170 is normally faster than me. Is it though? Wait, I thought I had a um 166% speed as a spriggan. Or somewhere around there. Hey, okay, yeah, I mean these guys are all slaying if they're like faster or slower than me. Now I'm just confused. 
I mean, this guy's going to say it's slower, right? Because it's like 100% speed. Hmm. I need some more under 50% speed monsters so I can see if it's a general pattern. What's this guy? It's 140% uh, normally travels slower than you. All right. Wait, hold up. What's, um... Uh, I'm not doing the command correctly. Uh, What's, like, 1 divided by 0 0.6? 1.67 apparently around there. Yeah, so it should be. Shouldn't that be my speed? Oh, that was a bad idea. I gotta finesse up. I don't like this hydra at all. Uh oh, it didn't die. What's my chance of hitting? 80%? I'm gonna shoot it. Alright. That was kind of sketchy getting trapped in that corner, though. Did I wait? Did I f fail to finesse up? I might have failed to finesse up. Um, that's probably something I should work on. Let's just get that up to like eight or something so I can actually do my finesse somewhat reliably. And I, I definitely remember Spriggans being ever so fragilely faster than Orbs of Fire, but like it was kind of almost meaninglessly faster than Orbs of Fire. Okay, don't need the bow anymore. Don't need that sling, obviously. Um, I don't think I need this short sword either. Oh, the frog. How fast is that? 120%. I mean, that's going to say normally slower than me, which makes sense. Um, Alright, level 5 of the lair is not perfect, but... Oh, that's a lot of creatures. There's like a little dead end there, but I'm not sure if I want to take that. I want to, um, I'll do my revelations. That's not too bad. I can maybe go this way. Right, this guy's faster than me because it's 180% speed. I might just finesse up and just shoot it. I'm also going to get some rounded here, which is not at all ideal. I don't have a digging, do I? Just teleport? That's not that helpful. Um, oh, maybe I've got to read the teleport. See where it puts me. Okay. So way too many guys here. I don't got the finesse on, which is helping. Um, oh. Finesse is gone. Um, I gotta try another teleport. Come on. One of these gotta put me somewhere good, right? That one didn't. Come on. Uh, there's a Hydra here, isn't there? Alright. Gotta keep an eye on that Hydra. I think I just shoot once more to go up. Right, because I don't want to go straight down that staircase. Let's try this. Uh, actually, I'll explore the level first and then I'll go down the unexplored staircases. It's probably a good idea at the moment. Uh, it seems it won't double act when you reposition? Wait, what do you mean? Uh, oh, like the Orb of Fire won't ever get to double act because I'm like slightly faster than it. I guess that's true, which is helpful. And if you get them at a good view distance, you can like run away from them as well as the Springer, which is kind of funny. But Springers sometimes do need to run away from them because, um,. Springers don't have a lot of health, so if you don't have fire resist, like the the fact that the orbs of fire shoot uh, bolts of fire at you, which kind of ignore your evasion, doesn't help at all. Well, not the bolts actually; it's the other ones. That's uh, um. Oh, thank goodness! It's a staircase I can actually go down. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the staircase and just read the scrolls here. So I've got a. Ooh, enchantment weapon. I can max out my enchantment level. And I've got a... Oh, degeneration. Alright. Well, I should go max out my enchantment level. That's a good idea. So I've got... Plus 9 electrocution hand cannon. I can try go clear off the staircase that I had down here, I think. Maybe. 
sort of anti game I got it got um got all these was like the troll shaman and stuff okay that's fine they often have a lot of death yaks and stuff um but I already saw like some herd of death yaks but there's probably another herd of death yaks on here somewhere So many yaks there, there certainly are this time round, though they're definitely everywhere. Uh... Alright, got another identified. I've cleared on a second staircase, so I could probably. I think I had this one excluded. Whoops, that's not it. Uh... Yeah, I cannot exclude this one. There's probably another one that I could exclude up because there was one that looked pretty uh, bad. Oh. Okay, uh oh. I might drop a fear on these guys. Um, there's just too many of them. No, don't push me off the staircase. Sure. At least there's not the guys that put me to sleep around anymore, so I'll just bring these guys back to my other staircase or something. There we go, got one of them upstairs. All right. I could probably, I don't know, I could probably shoot that guy down. Yeah, no need to bring it up the staircase. Also, it looks like I got all my piety back somehow because I took off the face and I lost a bit then, but I guess these creatures have just been tough enough to be, give me a pretty good supply of piety here. Uh, how fast is this dude? 130%. Who was the 150% speed guy that uh, wasn't showing its round for speed? Okay, level 14. That's about what I'd expect to be at um, this point of the game, I reckon. Imagine if enemies bring defenders came at you with, like, guns. That would be terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the enemies bring defenders are already terrifying enough when they come at you with, like, their quick blades and stuff. But if they came at you with a gun, that would be absolutely terrifying. Oh, I should pull this dude back. It's like, oh, yeah, shoot those yaks, Ogawaru. Yep, Ogawaru seems to approve me going out and hunting yaks. Oh, this. Dude could probably be shot. <laughs> I don't know. Okawaru doesn't seem to like these beasts of the lab very much. Uh, I might just pull these back just a little bit further. I don't know why I did the cat of believers, but it might have seemed to, might have stopped following me, I guess. Okay. That's the cat of believers. I might try and shoot that one. Um... Kind of tempted to put on like a finesse or something. I might do it. Actually, it's not that helpful. When it's all these guys instead of the cat of bleepers that I'm fighting. Uh, I need more range, but it's actually one of my most expensive skills, so I won't get it just yet. I'll get like a little bit more fighting. I'll get a little bit more dodging. Uh, it's like 22 dodging. And probably just a little bit more invocations. I think that's good. Yeah, I mean, the jewel's not quite there, but everything else is. Where did the Cat of Believers go? I don't even know. There it is. What does the shaman do when there's no other trolls around? So it does, uh, haste of the might other. Does that already apply to trolls? I feel like it does. I've never seen them do it on someone that's not a troll, so it doesn't really matter a lot when it's the only troll here. Wait, there's a gem? What's that gem still doing around? I guess I got two souls of regen right now, so... Um... <laughs> that helps in terms of getting here quickly. Anyway, let's put on dex. Yeah, 41 evasion, that seems pretty good. 43 damage. 
But that also seems pretty good. All right, well, let's get out of here. So, uh, go to Dungeon 11, I think. This looks about right, because I remember leaving this one because of all the creatures around all the various staircases. I only have two staircases. Whoa. Let me just finesse up. But two in an organ to me, that's definitely not what I want to see. Oh, you got a random gem yesterday, too? Yeah, I do have two regions, so it's not entirely suspicious, but it's like a little bit suspicious that I got a gem there, because I was really not trying for one. Um... I don't know, I was, I was probably just quick enough. But there definitely is a bug where gems sometimes don't get destroyed properly, so with the, sometimes you find like the actual shadow gems, which you're never meant to find. I didn't realize there was a bug when it first happened, but apparently it is. Um, right, so there's an embroidered robe. I'm actually not too upset with my armor, the regen resist electric one. Yeah, in fact, I got resist electric resist uh, poison. I've got some resist. Let's back up into here. How wait? How fast is this guy relative to me? Hey, that one does one hundred fifty percent speed. It doesn't give us relative speed either. But well, the one hundred forty percent speed guy does say it's slower than me. That's super weird. Uh. I think I've got enough health that a rock to the face wouldn't take me out or anything. Alright, so we've got a willpower ring. I think I'm actually pretty good with willpower. There's another willpower ring, there's a protection ring, there's a reflection. I don't even have a proper shield. I just got like two decks on, which is kind of the right thing to have with this character, I think. I think it was normal because you cleared the bottom level devs first. Wait, what was normal? Okay, a random gem. Right, from devs. So that makes sense. And if you don't have the more gem info on, I don't think it tells you when they shatter either. I should probably just leave, like, the mod jam info on by default. I feel like it's probably a sensible default. Um, because if you manage to get a jam, you kind of want to know what's going on with your jam, right? Okay, what do we got? Oh, six of these? Uh, Brosius? Alright. Oh, just funny to get one but not trying? Yeah. I've had that actually happen with the slime pits, like, occasionally. I really struggle when I'm trying for the slime pits, but because I always dive the slime pits, like... So I don't just randomly get the jam. Um... Oh, the Guardians have a Guardian Gilder's treasure. Sure, to add even more Ambrosia. But I think I've got so much Ambrosia because I've got a Beehive, maybe? Ooh, what's better than the Slag? Nah, probably not. I think I might just keep on the decks, honestly. Like, it's, it's doing a lot for me as a Spriggan. Whose ghost is that? It's, uh, Joe Steele's ghost, the Minotaur Fighter of Okawari. Hey, it's another fellow Okawari worshipper. There seem to be enough of these Okamari worshippers around. Uh, I could maybe kill that ghost if I wanted, because I could probably just run back. Oh, there's a random animal skin? Why? I'm so unused to seeing random animal skins. Usually it's like an Okumaru altar or something. If there's not an Okumaru, a Trog altar if there's a random animal skin. But not today, it's just outside of the Orkish Mines for no reason. So there's a ton of degeneration. Oh no. Um, Fan is a bit of a problem here because they got no cold resist. Okumaru is a popular god. Yeah, Okumaru definitely is. Um... I might just run away from Fada. <laughs> Nothing for this gold, okay. Well, uh... I can have the staircase, I guess? Do have the Orkish Mines, but it is on this level, right? Hmm. Hey, there's another shield that's too big. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no.
Do I have to blink? Is this just that bad? Um. Oh, they get recent gods. Oh, Trog is really common. And then Okawaru, and then Gozag. Oh, yeah. And the human and happily acquired. Those kind of make sense. Oh, wait. Why is Chamber Angels up there so high? Um. I hate this. I think I'm going to have to blink out of this, otherwise I'm just dead to fatter. Oh, that's terrible. Um... I just go down the staircase, but I gotta go... Actually, I might just go down the other explored one. I just want to find some, like, coal resist or something. Um... Alright, well, hopefully I can kill some orcs. So, okay, so I might just let Nurgle's guys wear off a thing for a little while. I just put a finesse on it and go down. Okay. This guy usually has paralysis. It's still a fireball as well, which could be a problem. Oops, that's the wrong guy. I'll just shoot the agile summoner there. There we go. That's better. Oh, it's not wins that just games. Yeah, I guess that makes sense because you could start with Trog, right? So a lot of people would play Trog. Um, and Trog's not a bad god or anything. They just kind of find them a bit boring. Oh, got a tomato? Oh, yeah. Because Spriggans, I remember Spriggans having like a slow metabolism, so they didn't eat much, but they didn't eat meat, so you couldn't just eat random corpses. Um, no, I didn't use to play much Spriggans, but I don't remember food ever being a huge problem for them. But that's probably because I didn't play them as mages. I know some people played the Spriggans as like Earth mages back before the ranged weapons um could be used without ammo. I wonder how it is for actually wins with the various gods. Because some gods probably do have higher, like, higher win rates than others. I imagine Trog's like really bad with win rate because people will start with them. Whereas the ones you tend to grab later on are probably way better with the win rate. Wait, is that dude just stuck there? It is. Huh. Oh, it sucks to be that guy, I guess. Alright, let's get some decks, of course. Three decks? That's nice. I mean, I guess every five levels I probably get an extra deck or something as a spriggan. These guys are just <laughs> not doing so well. Trapped by all this lava. Oh, I can't even reach them? Well, I guess I can put on a flight or something, right? Whoa. Just back up a little. By a little, I mean quite a lot, and I um, might put decks back on. Wait, are they not following? Why are they not following? Come on. Okay. Oh, you're taking my wins, so... Oh, Gozag's leading by... Why is that by win rate? Gozag's leading by win rate. I mean, that kind of makes a bit of sense. Okawaru's up there, though. The human? Hamplay Aquata? Oh, wait, these are not in order. These are very much not in order. Jeeva's really high with win rate, makes sense. Because you only pick up Diva quite late on a lot of the time. Also, they are a pretty decent god, so. Uh, on the decks again, I think. Can have some evasion against these large rocks, at least. Still scary when, like, three dudes come into view. They can all hold the large rocks. Am I down to 1.0 attack till I get? No, 1.2, of course. Oh, wait, I'm... Might never get 1.0 attack delay because that's a uh, min delay. Um, all right, I guess that makes sense. Oh, sorry, by number of wins, yeah, that makes sense. Ghost egg is wait, ghost egg's the most wins. Interesting. I mean, you can see things like human for like mages, Okawari for like fighters. Hapley Aquata definitely makes sense. Hapley Aquata is great. I can see Ash and Zarya. Don't play them much, but I know a lot of people like them. Oh, Trog is um, well behind someone like Ghost egg. Interesting. Uh oh. It's a fire giant. Um, I'm gonna finesse up. I want this dude to fireball me. I do have the fire of this, but still, it's a uh, pretty terrifying seeing a fire giant. Hopefully, no fr Oh, ooh, a ring of protection from cold? Yes, I'll take that. I can probably drop the face. I've got a pretty good amulet. Yeah, because that means I might actually have a chance if I have to fight Fatter, which I probably do have to fight Fatter at some stage. 
Got a random dagger of electrocution. No thanks. Some more branding scrolls. I gotta try and rebrand my whip, but let's see what I can get. Uh, freezing is actually pretty good. I might go with that one. <laughs> Didn't even have to rebrand it more than once. Alright. What was the least one got us? I mean, Sif Mod is now a lot less of a human. Interesting, I used to play like a lot more of a human, but these days I kind of play quite a bit of Sif Mod. I don't know why I switched over. I think it was actually Summoners that kind of made the switch for me. To actually learning how to properly use um everything that Sif Mod offers. But uh, the human is definitely better with characters that struggle to get their spells castable. Oh, we're looking at the... Uh, is that from least one first? No, that's my win rate. Jiva. Jiva makes sense. Well, Ash and Zari? I know, like, some people that, uh... Like, said no one to do. They have a really high win rate, play a ton of, um... Ash and Zari. Interesting that they're, like, second most uh, played, because they're not one that people pick up later on, either. Tampley Aquatic kind of makes sense. They're pretty good. Oh, Rue is up there. Wait, Zen? Do it, do it, do anyone... Pick up Zen later on? I don't know. I just don't massively like Zen personally. I know that, um, what's it called? The little sanctuary thing could be quite, um, good at saving you, but I don't know. Uh, got Wujin? Alright. The Shining one. I was surprised the Shining one's a little bit lower there, because I thought that people would mainly be picking them up for extended, which would give them, like, a really high win rate, but apparently not. Apparently people are using them for three root gates, which honestly I've done that as well. As Levelin, Chebriados, Gozag, Legato. Legato people would pick up later, right? I don't understand why they would read so low. Oh, maybe, is that counting all the old Abyssal Knights? That's probably why it's a bit low, I'd imagine. Um, Nemelex, Fetaz. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of just getting into the novel gods there. Oh, it doesn't mean it's, uh,. Much in terms of relative power or nothing, just for fun. Yeah, because uh, a lot of the, I mean, there's so much to do with relative power, but also it's to do with when you pick up the god a lot of the time. It's really surprised the Shining Ones be useful for so many three rune games. Hold on, let me just go, let me check with the Shining One. Like, uh. If I say god equals. Can I just shorten it to like TSO or something? I think I can. Um, I might go for just the wins. I see, like, what percentage of those are 15 rune games. Hopefully I did that command correctly. Guess I'll know when the bot gets back to me. Uh... Wait. What's the bot not liking about it? Maybe it's just trying to think about it, because I did do it for all games that might take a little while to process. Uh... Oh, I put one in there twice, but I'm not sure if that matters. It might be why it's not responding to me. Oh, let me try this command again. LG star one god equals I hope TSO is fine. Uh slash U rune equals fifteen. That should tell me the percentage of the fifteen rune games. Okay, that one worked, right? So that's telling me that the uh, sixty-six percent of them were like fifteen rune games, and yet the win rate's not much higher than other gods. That's crazy. Oh, you don't see any message from me. The first message didn't go through. Weird. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, this Maxwell's memorandum, Tome of Chemical Manifold. What does that do? It's probably an alchemy thing, right? Volatile blast mode, Yara's volatile raveling and less beckoning. Wait, what's less beckoning doing here? And, uh, Mercury Vapors. I know one of those feels out of place. I don't care about these weapons. I've already got a freezing hand cannon here. Minus cast, fire resist rove. Hmm. Evasion, plus five, two dex ring. It's only two dex. It's not that good, unfortunately. Maxwell's coffin. 
or uh, Peter Narber, or whatever it's called. Actually called. I've had it one character, maybe two that I've used that successfully. Like, I don't think they've even a Fobbison. I don't know if I found it on a Fobbison. Oh, uh, Yara, do you think I should get that? Uh, my Dermot? Maybe I should. In fact, as a spring, I could probably get it castable. You know, if I get a Death Talisman, then totally, I could get it going. Yara's gonna be a lot of fun, though. Um, especially if we're getting rid of the summons and, like, the Elven Halls and stuff. It wouldn't be too hard to get going. You know, I could get it. I totally could. Um, I'm done with here, aren't I? Let's just look at what spells there are. Cantrips. Might go grab uh, deportation, I think, because I don't think I've got that in here. Do I? Oh, I've already got Yaris. Huh. Well. I guess I don't need to grab that, but I could grab the cantrips at least. Because I got the endless money. I've got like 3,000 gold or something, so I might as well grab the airportation. Um, I'll just get like a tiny bit of translocation. It's just like five. Gonna plus four out, It's gonna be really quick. How is my alchemy anyway? I thought springs are good at alchemy. I've got plus two in hexes. What's the alchemy? Plus one in alchemy. Yeah, they're not bad at it. I oh, shouldn't be uh, difficult with this uh, springs, boss, and aptitudes. Yes, Brickens, uh, they very much have, uh, aptitudes that are all over the place, right? Like, uh, wait, Dungeon Level 12 is where I'm meant to be. Oh, hey, um, Psyche. Like, they uh, going from, all the way from, like, uh, plus three or something to, like, minus three or something. Okay, I've got to finesse up. I got my coal resist on. There we go. Fat is dead. And they've got a ring of ice, but I probably don't need that. I've got the proper coal resist ring now, at least. Oh, do you play Trunk? I certainly am, Mind Hermit. Yep, this is a Trunk game at the moment. I occasionally play non Trunk games, but the majority of the time I play a Trunk game. I was going to pop this, I think. What's this guy's speed? 170% is faster than me. Makes sense. What about a Spriggan? Hey, it's travel 166%. So wait, it's the same as me? Oh, one of these riders. Are they faster? No, it's the same. It's got something though. Plus they had tried to electrocution. Okay. Trying to pull this guy upstairs on his own, but this should be pretty easy now that I've got the ghosts on their own. There we go. No problems at all. <laughs> It's classic Spriggans for you, right? They just stand back and shoot things. Whoa. Hold up. That did a lot of damage. I guess it's got a plus 10 trident. Uh, 45 damage plus 20 on electrocution. I do have the resistance to electrocution, but I might just drink a healing potion. Um, that was a lot of damage. I think I'm going to finesse up. Um, do I have something to take it out with? I guess I just shoot it, right? Or... I think I just shoot it. Oh, I missed. Oh, there we go. Got rid of it. Okay, yeah, taking out that guy was a lot tougher than actually taking out the ghost. Um, I shouldn't have underestimated. I only got a manual of unarmed combat out of that fight, unfortunately. Of joyful slaughter? I mean, it's only one though, but it's quite a bit of slaughter, slaughter that trident. Man, that was scary. Imagine an unarmed spring, I mean, I guess you could do it, but it's minus two aptitude. I feel like that would be a, uh, like, playing hard mode if you want to do an out on spring. It was a minotaur. Um, I might just identify, whatever, like, one of these scrolls or whatever. Torment. Eh, whatever. Drop that one. So I can... I can probably drop the, um, Brad weapon. I might just magic map and find this minotaur the easy way. So there's two possible places it could be. So I'm gonna go to the close one and see if that's the minotaur. Kind of looks like it might be, but it could just be a shop. There's also like shapeshifters and stuff around here. Um, how many of this negative do I? Don't think I can get any. Hmm. My finesse up. I don't trust these laughing skulls. Usually they'll probably miss me, and they did mainly miss me, but. 
Oh, it's very distant. It's not display, so it's just uh, bolts, okay. I just keep moving while I still got this finesse on, see how much uh, things I get to kill. Not many before it wears off. That's fine, I still got party to put it back on if I need to. Alright, um, I gotta drop something. I can probably drop the boomerangs. I don't know why I was carrying those around. They really don't seem that useful. Magic power's not that good. Keep the enchant up, but I don't think it's a good enchant. I don't need the enchant whip, but I maxed out this, um, hang crossbow. Don't really need that brilliancy, though. Oh, I do need the box of bees, because I can't use that one right now. Alright, I think I've got plenty of inventory room. Let's go pay the minotaur visit. Oh, Spriggan ride is nasty? Yeah, because they're so fast. They're like, uh... Like, full on spriggan speed. And then they can do quite a bit of damage to add on top of that. Okay, we've got a healing potion. What else is there in here? Mutation potion if I fight my way through a fire crab. I would massively want to fight a fire crab, but I can if I have to. I feel like this first area looks considerably easier. I mean, it's a... Oh, no, wait, he's got a fire crab in it as well. Well, it looks like I don't have much choice with fighting a fire crab. The loot doesn't look massively great. I need wear those boots, but I think I go through to the side and get an unknown potion. Sure. Get a smoky pink potion. I guess I'll find out someday whether that's a good potion or not. Oh, uh, I don't trust these guys. They're going to finesse up. Oh, they're probably fine. Alright, a little bit of money. Uh, I can probably put my decks back on. That's probably a good idea. Alright. Okay. I don't think I care about the boots. Plus all the boots are flying that I can't even wear. Well, I guess I get a little bit more money. That's kind of disappointing loot, but I guess it was easy enough to fight my way through there. Um... Did I get the Pistol for Okawara? I sure did, my dumb, but it was a really good gift. But there were a couple of uh, guns available. Oh, it's got a plus six arms, a heavy one, even. Hoo 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 hoo. It shoots for 68 damage. Okay, then. I don't know, zap with the one. Oh, I can't zap with the one of light. Um. Well, I guess I shoot for quite a bit as well. I'm heading for 53 uh, damage, 0.5 tag delay at the moment, but that's because I buffed myself up. That's what's kind of terrifying, that novelist. Um, I probably won't use it myself. There's a tower shield protection. Good for pretty much any other character. Pearl dragon armor. What else have we got here? Oh, leather armor. I don't need that. I can't even wear that. Can't wear that. Can't wear that. All right. Well, I think I might be good here, right? Short stuff I probably can't get to. I certainly can't get to that potion. Yeah, I'm good here. Let's get let's get out of here. That's Pearl Dragon now, but how good is that for a Spriggan? I've already got the Resist Electric one or the Five Dex one, depending which one I want to put on. But I might try the Five Dex one. I do, uh... 47 damage and I have 48 evasion. If I put this one on... Ow. Um, yeah, I could probably keep equipping myself. 52, no, 53 evasion, 50 damage. Is that worth losing, losing my resist electric for? I don't know. And my regen. Oh. Let me just back up for this guy. I thought with a cold resist on, I'd do a bit better, but clearly that was not a good idea to just keep fighting that guy next to me. I might go back to my other rope. The regen plus, um, resist electric is alright, but I feel like the other one's definitely competitive. Oh, hey, goodbye, Sonya. So I can identify it, but I mean, I should do the potions. I've got visibility, and I've got resistance. Because yeah, I have so many more potions as I have of, like, uh, scrolls in the individual stack. Oh, hey, Snorg. What's the speed right now? 150% or something? Okay. Just waiting till she's no longer berserk, and then I'll fight her. Shouldn't be too long, right? There we go. Now she's slowed down and easy enough to kill. A real question. Why do people play online even though uh, closer service is kind of delayed? Plus UI is nicer offline. Um, I mainly just play online to track my stats, like which wins I've gotten and which titles I've managed to get and all that sort of thing. 
I feel like that's probably the main reason to play online is just uh, try kill stats. But yeah, I do agree about that. Like, there being a little bit of lag playing online, which can be a bit of a problem. Thankfully, the server I'm playing on is not too far away from me. In fact, this is the, like, the only server that's not too far away from me. So at least I got one server I can play on. Um, I used to play offline, but yeah, I really like uh, tracking all the various titles and stuff I, I'm collecting. Oh, you just have a bad connection? Or oh, there could just be no servers in your area or something? Oh, there's a summoning. I might drop that one. I mean, maybe I'll get it eventually. Oh. I like the look of all these maniates. I might try and bring this dude upstairs, I think. Um... Hold up, I need a call resist, don't I? And also, with the online, I know the offline, uh, like, is a bit better with it stuff, but most of the differences come down to, um, using the mouse anyway. And I actually started playing the game before, um, offline really had nothing to do with, like, the mouse. I think it, like, vaguely spotted a few things, so I kind of learned all the keyboard shortcuts, so I don't really miss any of them not being... Well, any of the mouse, like, uh, shortcuts not being here in the online play. Um, let me just step back a bit. In fact, do you know the little, uh, like, offline inventory in the corner? Back when I started playing, I don't think that even existed. Honestly. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Oh, playing it on your laptop is pain, but PC is fine? Huh. I mean, the game's not exactly demanding with resources. I wonder why that is. Because I... I don't know how the PC would get, like, a better connection to the internet or whatever. Oh, well, there's a lot of fiery guys. I should try and keep them at a good distance, I think. But any sort of ugly things, I should probably be keeping at a bit of a distance, I reckon. I mean, it's fine if they can get, like, one or two attacks on me, but I don't want them to get too much, because I'm not really resistant to any of the elements. Oh, the buckler could be worth it. Wait, there was a buckler? Yeah, I'll take one of those. Oh, yeah, there's two. You're completely right. Because I've even got, like, an eight shield skill or something. Actually, I don't think I even got up to eight, but I got a little bit of shield skill, because I was trying to make sure that Okwaru gifted me one-handed weapons. <laughs> Uh, this guy probably can't talk about willpower good. I was just checking. Um. Oh, you think it's just a Ethernet versus Wi-Fi thing? It probably is, yeah. I know it's sometimes with Wi-Fi, like, uh, it doesn't, like, immediately stop when you get out of range. It just, like, kind of slows down a bit. Yeah, I lose one evasion, like, gain eight shield value. I probably lose a tiny bit of attack delay, but, like, not much. Uh. Are the limits of these skills? I'm probably pretty close to them, right? Well, that's the wrong key. Yeah, really close to them. I'll just keep those going till they reach the limit, I guess. And then it'll probably just get... Oh, that's not what I want to see. Ah, uh, should I might just shout? No. Huh. Pull them out a different way is probably the way to go there. No, it has to be like the idea of like shouting on an unexplored level. So I occasionally shout, but I feel like it's often a very questionable thing to do when you just attract so many creatures. Also, I could theoretically enchant the shield. Is it worthwhile? I don't have a brand weapon scroll. I thought I dropped that one. Huh. Um. I might do it. I know it's not even a special buckler, but hey, I'll probably find more enchant weapons by the time I actually get a good buckler. Uh, if I ice blast these guys, will they die? No. Well, that's a bit of a problem. I'm gonna finesse up. Uh, and shoot them. Whew, there's a lot of guys. I think I killed that one before it gets to the spot where it can water strike me. Because water strike doesn't target my evasion, so I gotta definitely kill that one. Oh, hey, Agnes. Am I the same speed as Agnes? I think, uh, I think I might be. Wait, she travels at 180% speed? She's faster than me? That's nasty. Um, okay. I gotta do it both with finesse and a heroism, because I think she needs it. <laughs> Ooh. 
Getting net at Agnes. Uh, there we go. That made her way easier. Um, I want to get the ranged up to 18, I think, so that I don't need the heroism to get to my mid delay anymore. Because that would be nice. Alright, let's keep these at a bit of a distance, but I think I'm taking them out pretty well. I don't, uh, did I put my resist electric back on? I did, didn't I? Okay. Because most of these have been electric ones, which is not too bad. Also, I should take one of my trove ones here, because it, oh, how do I get in? On the top, I guess. It wants me to give it eight scrolls of fear. I don't think I've even got that. I've got four scrolls of fear. It's probably one of those ones where I'll, like, never get the thing to get into the trove. And even if I do, I'll probably forget, honestly. Um, but, oh, whoops. That was not a good idea. Ah. Uh. Oh, you got those in the bags? Bring it, bleed, plus seed, plus these and rage weapon. Yeah, this is actually an amazing rage weapon. Um, I hope so. But with Spring just, like, one second of not paying attention, you can get yourself killed, right? But no, I think this character's going really well. Um, let me just check for uh, fire resist. There's a rope of fire resist. There's another rope of fire resist. That one gives two fire resist. I just throw out the double Gs. I hope so for this character. Man, do I just want to go over with fire resist? I mean... Hmm. Like the region. Resist electric. Because I gotta go to the snake pits. I really gotta have some fire resist. Can I just. I don't like to look at that ring. Might put this on and then go to the snake pits. I just don't want to be blown up by a salamander tyrant. Because one of those could totally blow me up. Also, I have the lamp branch to swab. Oh, that's even worse. No, I don't think I go to the swab. Because um, that one needs both like fire and cold resist, basically. Hey, maybe I'll find a rope of resistance or something. Maybe. Oh, I get to slow down some of the snakes? That's pretty cool because they're cold blooded. I'm shooting them with a freezing. Ca uh, not cannon. Yeah, cannon. Freezing hand cannon here. Well, it's not really a cannon. It's a hand cannon, right? Um... Oh, come on. Okay, the hiding behind plots. You don't really notice like how often people hide behind plots um, when you're playing Phantas. But as soon as you're not playing Phantas, it's like, oh, all these guys are hiding behind plots and they can't shoot them. <laughs> I guess it doesn't happen that often, really, if you think about it. But it happens enough to be noticeable. Alright, maybe this jewelry shop has something for fire to this. Oh, Fantas plus the flavors are fun times. I've never actually tried that, but that does sound really good. It's blowing people up while they're hiding behind briar patches. We got a uh, dex. I don't actually need that. I got like so much dex this time around. I feel like some of these snakes are like at least as fast as me. I know some of them are, or some of them are sort of equal speed type thing. Whoa, what's up, that guy? Can't shoot a reflection? Okay. I don't think most of these guys have bucklers. I think they have tower shields and kite shields, which is a bit unfortunate when you're a spriggan, but it's fine. I got my buckler already, so I'm not doing too bad in that department. Uh, whoa. And I'm marked. Um... I could do a fear, but I just tried going up once. Okay, it worked. 180%. 180%. Okay. I kind of dig into this wall. Unfortunately, I don't have any digging, but... Should make this combat kind of easy, at least. There we go, it's way better than being surrounded. What's down here? I mean, there's probably still stuff. Was there a Guardian Serpent? I don't think I saw a Guardian Serpent. It kind of felt like it, though. Oh, there's a... Uh, what's his name? Asterion. I don't think I fight him. I think I just... Go down this initial staircase I went down. This one doesn't seem too bad. Oh. Uh... Hey, Vashnia. Yeah. Um... 
Maybe go down this one. I feel like I pulled up most. No, oh, no. I was going to say I felt like I pulled up most of the creatures, but maybe not. He shot me with Fireball. Come on. Um, Can I get him with a Curare? I got to be able to get him with that one, right? Okay, he's in a net. I've got my finesse on. Excellent. He did not stand a chance while netted up. Um, I mean, I guess he was anything netted, curaried, and I was finessed up, so I was shooting him super fast. It was uh, not a good time for him. Okay, I'm going to try one of these other staircases. Uh, oh, Spashnir again. I don't feel confident taking on Spashnir when they're, when they're with other guys, but... Uh, oh, whoa. Is that Wiglaf? Oh, wait, who's that? Is Wiglaf the Gunner Dwarf? Yeah, it is. But they're inside a vault. They've got their Hellfire Mortar in their mind. So that makes sense. And plus, they're a broad X. He back. He sure is back. Except this time he's trapped in a vault, which is not his normal thing. I remember it being really tough. I definitely couldn't fight him with this character because he's got a Hellfire Mortar and I'm not fire resist. Oh, actually, I guess I technically am right now because I got the robe on for it. But oh. Whoa. Uh. I read the fog, but that's not perfect. I'm going to read the healing potion, but. Come on, fog. Oh, the fog didn't really do the trick. Okay. Uh. I guess, uh, I guess that thing is alright. There's a lot of not so good staircases here. What's this guy got a wand of charming? It's probably fine, but I might just finesse up for a little while. Oh my goodness, there's so many archers. Okay. Has Vashnia moved or is she still here? Okay, she might have moved on at least. I don't know if Unique's are supposed to spawn in vaults. I think they've got the... Uh, I mean, they've got a chance, right? Sometimes they just randomly land in there. They certainly don't try to avoid the vaults. But yeah, it's very rare for them to end up in the vault. Oh, there's more digging. You know what? I'm just going to buy this stuff. Got money. Got like 3,000 gold or something. Um, I don't need the might. Mutation's fine. Maybe an enlightenment? Uh... I have the invisibility. I don't think I need the curing right now. Alright, what else have we got? Berserk Rage, don't really need. Uh, magic, I don't need right now. Don't need the brilliance either. Book of the Dragon, if I want Dragon School or something. And Solidity of the Curse. It's got Dimensional Bullseye and Yara's. I might want a Dimensional Bullseye. I don't know. Oh, Wigglehaft's guarding my fan uh, not my Phantom Mirror, my um, Vile of Floods. And my Lightning Rod. Oh, well. He's just going to have to guard those because I got no, well, not much fire resist. Oh, hey, Vashnia. Um, I put on the finesse, but I've actually got this Vashnia. Okay. Oh, I was wondering how I could just shoot like one of these guys at the time. Uh. Oh. Come on, there's gotta be gotta, gotta get one of those guys of you pretty soon. Okay. There we go, got them. So I'm shooting them one at a time again. I think Natasha in there one time. Oh, it was Crazy Youth. Yeah, no, I've seen the, I've seen like, I think it might be Natasha as well with, with Crazy Youth. In fact, I've had it happen a couple of times, I think, where there was someone in with Crazy Youth. And I was like, oh, that's a little strange. Crazy Youth have visitors today. Are you worried about, uh, Tyrant something? Tyrant, like the, uh, what are they called? The, Tyrant Salamanders. Um, I'm a bit worried. I put on one fire resist, but yeah, the fact that they don't target my evasion is pretty nasty. Alright, that's level 2 done. Let's go down again. Uh, I don't think I have anything to do a job with the armor. I'll just wait till I get a better shield, I think. Springs are going to be one of the few people that really don't care too much about the enchant armors. I mean, they want a few of them, but like, not huge amounts. Uh, 
We're crazy Hoopers the cat father. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Wasn't it meant to be like Boris had a cat? Why did Boris' cat anyway? I think Natasha was at one stage Boris' cat. Then he, he lost his cat for some reason. It's kind of sad. Because I used to like both of like, the extra lives. Boris would come back all the time. So with Natasha, but I think. I can't remember if it was... Oh, whoa. What is vitality here? can't remember if it was in touch, but I know that Boris had a cat. Um, got the poison resist willpower by one, so, like, I don't think I can actually use the vitality right now. I don't really need the willpower, do I? I mean, it's actually useful with three pips right now, but eventually I can get rid of the willpower. Um, it's just a matter of finding another source of poison resist, really, and then... I'm going to put on the vitality, but unfortunately not right now. Oh, you got like a max rolled by a tyrant yesterday without fire does. How much do they do? Think of fire uh, the tyrants. The salamander tyrant does. Um, what is that? 60, 72 max damage with no fire this. Yup, I could uh, almost one shot me if I had no fire this. Okay. But thankfully, I do have fire resist. Um. Yeah, I think I've had problems with those before with Spriggins. Um, specifically Spriggins, because I was sort of trying to rely on Evasion to dodge a big fireball aimed at me. I don't know whether either of those spells do... You just wing it? Right. I mean, they're kind of both the same. They do, like, the same damage. I think one of them hits you at a distance and puts lava around you, and then the other one hits you... Uh, if you have lava around you, so, like, I don't, don't really know. It doesn't really seem to matter which one they're using, though. Um, that's wrong. I want to shoot this guy. Unfortunately, it's got reflection. So I gotta make sure I got a reasonable amount of health when I'm shooting at it. Um... How much damage do I do? Uh, 50, okay, so I can't, like, one-shot myself, at least. <laughs> just making sure, though, okay, rage is where I need it to be, um... I could just get some more dodging. Get up to 26 or something, I'll probably stop it at 26. Um, I might get shields up to 8 as well. I might just be in fight at, like, 6.5 or whatever it is at the moment, but yeah, just get a little bit more, see if I can get some more shield value. I might just back up to the staircase. I don't seem to be having any problems with the basic Nagas, thankfully, due to my poison resist, but... Imagine some of the other tough ones, like the Naga Rajas and stuff, could be a problem for this character. I know if I've had characters that basically lose 1v1 versus the Naga Raja, and those ones are really painful going through, um... The last level of the Snake Prince, which I'm actually on right now. In fact, I think this might be the vault right here, maybe? With these special walls around it. Yeah, it looks like it might be able to zigzag downwards through here. Is that Salamander Mystic? I saw one around here somewhere. Oh, there's a Nagaraja. Wait, that's not too bad. Uh, I think I can still outrun a taste of Naga Raja, because there's a Naga, so it's probably... Well, what the taste of... I mean, it's still going to be slower than me, definitely. But they start at 1.4, uh, to like, then you... I don't know, divide that by 1.5, whatever that comes... Ah, uh, Nicola. Whatever that comes to. Um, I have a silence. Okay. Put up my finesse and then I'll read the silence, I think, because I did get my Violet Floods that's trapped in a vault with some sort of nasty, unique wig lab, I think. Okay, let's back up, but that was not too bad with the silence scroll on. I just wanted to get the finesse on first before I put the silence, because I wouldn't be able to put it on afterwards. Am I missing any, like, gloves or anything? I'm missing a cloak. Alright. Just go check for one of those pretty soon.
Or you almost uh, hit yourself with a uh, crystal spear earlier, not paying attention to reflection. Yeah, at least the guys with reflection get mic'd with like a purple background or something. But sometimes you just presume it's something else. It's like, oh, I don't need to check. That's probably just, I don't know, Curari or something. It's like, no, it was a reflection. Okay. I don't think I've ever managed to die to, like, an enemy reflecting something bad that I could think of. But I definitely had to have fights that were made a lot tougher by it. And maybe I've indirectly died by the result of taking damage. Oh, hey, Dennis, you're uh, ready to start bonus gate, I presume? I should add you on Discord. Hold on. Or start the call on Discord. Uh... Oh, you cancelled your stream today, so no collab. Oh, okay. Are you not uh, feeling well today, or are you just uh, busy? That's a bit of a shame. All right, well, I guess I'll not uh, add you on Discord then. Oh, I don't need this regen. Uh... I thought you found a secret spell in the help menu, but turns out monster spells have spell schools too. Yeah, they do. It's really crazy. Like, uh... And there was a bug for a while where people could actually pick them up as well. Um... I'm trying to look for a resist cold, I think, yeah. Oh, had a lot of things happen today, so you just had to chill and not stream for the evening. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, if you got other stuff to do, that's fine. All right, well, I guess hopefully next week will be better. Hopefully. Why am I trying to go to Swamp, I think, yeah? That's a lot of guys. I'm thinking of the guy that did cold damage. Oh, or fail, <laughs> I guess. A bit worried about the bunny yips here because they can do a lot of damage um, if they team up on me, but I, I haven't seen any of them just yet. Uh, I think the fire resist rope is still the right thing to have, definitely. All right. Ooh, hey, Roxanne. I gotta leave Roxanne for now. I'd have to lignify. I don't even know if I got lignification this time around. Oh god, six of them. Yeah, I should be fine if I want to kill her. Because I got the whole rage, so I could definitely take her down. Or definitely spike in the S branch is really something. It certainly can be. No, that's uh oh, I don't want this guy to just heal himself up. No, it can definitely be very noticeable. I mean, this character's probably gonna be able to survive these branches, but uh Sometimes it's not a guarantee that you'll be able to survive. Oh, I can't outrun this guy, unfortunately. Or sometimes you cruise through a dungeon in the lair and orc, but you get, uh, build jacked hard in the S branches. I mean, it depends on the character. Some characters really struggle and then they get going before the lair branches. I know, like, a lot of my shapeshifters do that. Can I just, like, oh, I can identify my stuff. So I got amnesia. Might this crackling. I want to just, uh, where is it? Oh, my last revelation, sure. I'll pop it. I have my ice case all the way over there, alright. I still gotta make my way to it. No, not this one. I'm not going in here. This one you just get, like, uh, absolutely slaughtered. You can't move forward because of all the Zod traps. Man, those are slightly different though, River. I mean, I guess you could theoretically shoot the, um, guys that are hiding there, but they'll try and pull you into, like, the foul pestilence and stuff. It's not a, not a fun time. So I don't need the barding. The ring could be nice, though, at the end, although I do have a couple of decks ones, so... Not too bad with my rigs. Oh, you gotta be ready. Yeah, but you definitely do for these there bones. How do I get around this? Uh, I think I just do a flight. Seeing it like a lot of deep water in the um, swamp is not that common. It's usually just like shallow water. All right, well, faint crackling, I'm getting here on time, I think. Oh, you've never seen that vault before? That looks like hell. Yeah, I've seen this one quite a bit. It's got, like, blinky at the end of stuff. So yeah, sometimes it's really good loot, but... I mean, even trying to blink to the end is really hard, because I think there's uh, enough of these that you can't even blink anywhere. Yeah, like, the only place to blink would be a Zot Trap or something, which should not be the most pleasant. Also, I should put some cold resist on. Did I bring a... I did not bring a rope of cold resist, which is a little unfortunate, so I'm gonna have to rely entirely on a rig. Um... Just... Mm. 
little sketchy, but I guess this is fine. Just means I'm down a bit on invasion and going into here. And I guess down a little bit on damage as well. Alright, well, I can drop the... I guess I'll drop the Pearl Dragon Armor. Drop the Heavy Armor, so I'm not going to need that one. What's my poison resistance on? It's one of the amulet. I think I can drop that one as well. I don't need two rings of fire. Alright. Or oh, maybe I do. Yeah, whatever. I need torment. Don't need the might. Don't need the brilliance. Okay, that's plenty of inventory room. Let's just go in. So I'm going to uh, finesse up because I don't really have anywhere to run here. Not at the start. Oh, it's deceptive because it looks kind of easy. Yeah, then you go, because it's just like swamp worms or whatever. And then you go in and you get full of foul pestilence and just start dying. Uh... My nest not on anymore. I might put it back on. Okay, still got 50 health. That's fine. 30 something health? I think that's fine. I do have the one cold resist. There's no way to get any more wood than that, or I'll definitely be drinking a healing potion. Um. These are some tough simulacrums, like the gold dragon simulacrums and stuff, but. Oh, well. I guess it was in one of the hard rice caves, because I got it, um... I didn't get it in the lair or something. I got it a lot later. I got it in one of my lair branches. Wait, there's a uh, drop disables auto-pick up? What does that even do? Oh, then when you drop an item, it can't be auto-picked up. Maybe I do need that as an option. Um... Definitely think about that one. Let me just go copy that option. I'll think about whether I want to put that on or not. I feel like most of the time when I drop something, I definitely want to um not pick it up. Is this a something? What it is, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's got shadow creatures. All right, well, the best thing to do, I think, is just finesse, run around this corner and shoot it directly. Oh, yeah, because it's something in Draconians. Oh, saves a lot of time. Yeah, probably would make a lot of sense, especially if you're, like, doing a real-time run or something. No, just in general, that probably makes a lot of sense. Does it do that by default, or does that stop other instances of the same item from being already picked up? Um, ooh, there's a gold dragon. So, the um, it's a little bit complicated. By default, a lot of items will only pick up if they're already on your in your inventory. So, if you drop one of them, it won't start auto picking them up. But it will pick them up if you've already got one. But then there's other items like lots of potions and stuff. Where um, it will auto pick them up even if you don't have any, any in your inventory. So it's useful for situations like that. Is that a tower shield of cold resist? Yeah, it is. Alright, I wouldn't mind a buckler of cold resist, but a tower shield is way too big. Alright. So it can be quite useful if you have a character that doesn't want, say, a potion of might or something, right? Because then uh, those will pick up even if you don't have them. I might buff up here. I had the po uh, poison resist cells, one of the resists I did have. Oh, they didn't even drop it like gold dragon scales. So that's kind of funny. Uh, nothing good here. Magic regen, magic points plus 12, and, uh, four decks. I don't think I've seen a magic points plus 12 before. I know it's, like, been, uh, recently, recently, it seems to be changed around exactly what they give. Oh, it's leather armor resistance. Why is it gonna be leather armor? I really wouldn't mind some armor resistance, but I can't wear it if it's not a rope or dragon armor. Um, well, I think I'm done here. Let's just get out of here. That ice cave wasn't too bad. The deck's back on, I guess. Right. Oh, it used to be plus nine always. Yeah, now it's like a random amount. What are the maxes I can give now? Because I've seen like values like four and six and stuff before, but I've never seen more than nine. That's interesting. What if I got changed to be a random amount? I guess I mean artifacts usually give a random amount, right? Um, with things like strands and stuff. So I guess it kind of makes sense. Alright, well, there's an obstacles I haven't explored, so I should probably go check that one out. Ah, right, of course, uh, exclusions for Roxanne. I might just go kill Roxanne, actually, honestly. I've got, like, extra lignification, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem here. Uh... 
Uh, I'll sell it from Wiki at 0 0.2... No, 3, 2. The magic point property of a random artifact will vary from plus 4 to plus 12 instead of minus 9 or plus 9. Oh, so they're always positive now? You can't get the minus magic points one? Or... Can you get, like, minus 4 to minus 12 as well? I don't know. I... Hmm. I remember when I last saw a minus magic points one. Oh, I could get blown up. Uh, oh, maybe they said minus magic points to a different effect altogether? That's totally possible, I suppose. I don't know, I just have to keep an eye out on that, see if I do find any minus magic point items. Like, hmm. I mean, they're always pretty rare, right, the minus magic points ones, so it's not going to be easy to tell if they don't appear. Oh. I say hit Hydra. Um. Hmm. I'm going to heroism up. I think I'm going to finesse up as well. Yeah, because I really don't want to be pulled in next to a eight-headed Hydra. I mean, this character's got some evasion, but they don't have anything else when it comes to defenses. What was that buckler? I should check it out. It might have been... No, it's just plus zero, isn't it? Wait, is that even a buckler? Yeah, it is. Okay. Sky, I target my willpower to doing all right. So 1% on agonizing touch, 0% on paralysis. That should be easy. It does have its health slides, but I got poison resist, so I kind of got everything I need to take that guy out. So I just get another identified. Got way too many identifiers. What am I missing that's not identified? A berserk potion, which I don't need. A cancellation and experience. I mean, a cancellation would be nice. But most of that other stuff is just like either rare stuff that I don't expect to really see or um, stuff that I don't need. Whoa. I might just healing potion. These guys, I knew these guys were going to be a problem. Um, I might finesse it up. I mean, they're unlikely to hit me, right? But when they do hit me, they can do so much damage. Yeah, because it can claw three times around 40 damage each. Um, it does attack, like, at 33% of the range, so they just kind of do lots of damage at once, and then they don't do anything for a while, and then they do lots of damage for once, and it can be a really big problem with characters with such little health. Like, I don't even have 100 hit points yet. Um... I think their max damage is like 130 or something, so hopefully they don't max roll me. Ah, it's a good old minor. Should do the whole drop some sort of pick up thing, I think. Oh, you looked up the comment and you think the wiki messed up the wording? Right, do so you think they can still be uh, negative on the magic points? When do I go up? I might go up now. Um, and it should be for minus, uh, four to plus, uh, minus 12 as well. Yeah, that makes sense. Man, so many guys with a good staircase. Hey, that looks pretty good. Certainly a lot more tame than the previous staircases. Ow. I think I could have finessed this guy. Yeah, I thought that was going to just take away half my health when they hit me. Uh, oh, I think I finesse up again. I think there's just too many guys coming along just again. Uh, should be shooting the bunny up, I think. There we go, got rid of it. So dodging is uh, basically the max I'm going to get for absolutely ages. Uh, can you link directly to that commit you'd like to see? Uh, I think that's more of a question for my hermit there. Hopefully, can. Um, I mean, I could probably look it up as well if need be. What do, what do I actually want here? I mean, I'm going to get a bit more shield. I got a max on the shield at some stage. Um, I think I might get a little bit more fighting as well, try and get that up. Um, my range looks just fine. I don't know, I could probably get a little bit more invocations as well. Was probably a good idea. Yeah, I mean, the finesse is reliable, but the jewel isn't yet reliable. 
And I can also increase the duration of the finesse a little bit by getting more skill, but I'll just try and get up, like, the shield first, it's like... Alright, do we have a little head hydra? Bring the crab upstairs, uh... Can I get blown up again? I just I don't seem to be able to avoid those guys that blow me up this time around. It's always they always seem to get me. Oh, it's the Elven camp. There's a Rashaza, Dire Flood, Dire Elephant. There always seems to be a Dire Elephant here, so Hold up, I'm gonna buff up. I know I'm going through my body, but uh the elf here looks kinda bad. I think they've got like a they got a spell that hits you with a I said a shard of ice or something. It does cold damage and it does a lot of cold damage. And it can be a problem you have no cold resist. Also, much burst damage in Swamp, plus worms and alligators can mess up your positioning. Yeah, like pull you off staircases and stuff. Oh, hey there, Louise. I think Louise is fine. Don't have the resist electric right now, but. That was Bunny if as well. I might just put on the. Finesse again. Where did she go? I like shot at her. There she is. And then she just ran away for whatever reason. Should kill the buddy up before it gets to me. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, but you're gun wielding uh spring Americans, you should handle the alligators fine. <laughs> uh, just shoot them with my little gun. Oh good, uh, uh revelation scrolls out of those ones. It's nice to have another one. Oh, the new line, uh, 732 shows they can generate negative values, so the wording is messed up. Yeah, the wiki is sometimes not the most accurate, it usually gets things correct. Oh, hey, Bone Dragon. But not 100% accurate all the time. I know that confused people with, like, um, over-enchanted weapons as well, because I said that, I basically just said that, like, cloud weapons could be over-enchanted, I think. Or is that not true? Sometimes you just buy like a plus 10 giant spike club or something just lying on the ground. I mean, it's usually just the cloud ones that are over enchanted, but the other ones can be as well. That's not good. Oh, what's well, that? Oh, that's water? Huh. Not for that stuff, just, uh, just in case there. But I've got a melee backup, I think, here. Sometimes it can be really hard to see the water under the exclusions, but these might all be water. Okay, I'm gonna pull some more guys back, but I think the foul pass is only forming in the non-walking area now, because it used to form across the corridor, but I don't think it does anymore. But yeah, sometimes you just randomly find a plus 11 unread demon trident or something. Yeah, exactly. It's like occasionally. Alright, well, wait. I didn't want to get the rune. I know it's in like the foul pestilence, but <laughs> let me go pick that one up. Alright, well, where do I go now? I've done the done my two lab branches, right? So I can go I can put the resist electric back on. I still have no cold resist, right? Um no cloak as well. Does plus one cloak? I mean, that'll do. Oh, the rare apportation W. I probably should have just had portal because I think I've got apportation as well. All right, well, let's go to the vault sub. Uh, no cold resist, unfortunately. Oh, there's coins being counted in arcane power. I do have a revelation. I should get to one of these at least. That's probably the coins being counted. That's probably the arcane power. I'll try, I mean, I could just go to the closest one first, I guess. Okay. Uh, that's not perfect. It's not perfect at all. Um. Why is she drinking potion resistance? Okay. Ow. I had bound frost on heads me and freezes me. Right. Okay. I think I can drink a healing potion. Oof. Didn't help that much. 
And then I think I could draw the entropy weaver. Yeah, even with that cold resist on, I'm struggling in there. I'll drink an Ambrosia. Um, I think I'll drink a second Ambrosia. Just make sure I'm fully healed here. Uh, Jules wearing off. Okay, I might just actually stop that Ambrosia. I'll do... I'm running out of piety. I'll do both of my buffs, though. Um, I can go put on a cold resist rig. It's probably a good idea. I could probably drop the ablet as well, right? I can drop the... Do I drop the ring of ice? I do drop the ring of ice. Yeah, I might just have to put on a cold resist ring if I don't want to die here. Um... Alright, let's try to get into the Wiz Lab. Maybe I'll be able to swap back inside the Wiz Lab. We'll see what kind they have first. So I'll drop the... Probably could get rid of the fire resist robes. The next ones are still decent. Um, so I actually got some free inventory, but I might drop the Amnesia, Torment, Flame. Nothing else I don't need? That's probably fine. I mean, that's plenty of inventory room. Let's head in. Yeah, it's so a party mansion. I can probably just put the decks back on, I think. Am I wearing, I'm wearing the resistant electric robe? Makes sense, I think, in the vaults. Although, maybe not. Thunderhawks might not be the worst, because they'd have to target my decks at least. Oh, that dude should open the door. Okay. It's gonna try and avoid the degeneration, but it's easy enough to step, and I don't think it does too much. It's just a little bit of temporary stat drain, so... Yeah, not too bad if you get yourself a little degenerated. The problem with this, uh, this was lab is the, what are they called? The guys that summoned, like, the Demon Spawn Corruptors, I think is what they're called. How many world binders are there? I just finesse up a little bit, but I don't have a huge amount of piety left. Um... Oh, there's the demon spawn corrupt, so they still got my finesse on, which is going to make them pretty easy. Yeah, it kills them before they get a chance to do their summoning, which is really nice. Also, oh, blinking, that's good. And an acquirement, what can that even offer that's useful? No, the flaming hand cannon. Oh, look at that ring. Resist electric, 10 magic points, 3 strength. Uh, 6 inch, right. There's also an orb of knowledge, does Guile. I probably don't need that one as much. I don't know. Do I need a... It's basically just a ring of resist electric because I don't really need the magic points, do I? Oh, well. Whew. Hold up. I might just buff up with the finesse before I fight these guys. Okay. That was obviously summoned by this guy. I think I can probably kill it before... Oh, no. I can't kill it before it becomes a problem. I can probably... Uh... Do I have anything like a Wand of Light or something that can zap this guy? I think a Wand of Light will do the trick. There we go. That's better. And as a spring, I can't even use javelins, so there's nothing else I think that pierces through. Oh, this is a Rigius lab? No, this is, uh... Alice's party match on this one. Um... Yeah, so it's the one with all the crazy wizards and summoners and stuff. Or oh, getting drunk with these degeneration clouds. I don't think I can eat this meat, right? Does it give me a message? It should give me a message, but I'll not be able to eat it, right? Oh, you root around looking for pizza, but fail to find any? That's a new message. Huh. I mean, Spriggan should be able to eat this. Oh, I root around looking for pizza again? Okay. Sure. Apparently Spriggan's really like pizzas, but, uh, um... <laughs> Oh, you sometimes have trouble telling them apart, right? Yeah, because this one's... I mean, this one's the, one of the degeneration clouds, so that's probably its most distinctive feature. Um... Am I really gonna go and portal these coins? I gotta go and portal these coins. It seems silly, but I gotta do it. They're already, like, single stacks as well, so it's, like, even sillier, but... 
Hey, I, I don't see why I should grab 15 coins, right? Uh... <laughs> Added to my 4,000 gold that I've already got and probably don't really need. All right, well, let's put back on the coal resist before I get out of here. I think it's probably a good idea. I should also take on the items, so there's nothing really good here. Don't think there's nothing good. I could probably just leave. Oh, else this body says something else. <laughs> uh, imagine, like, uh, how much how degenerated you would be at the end of an Alice's body. Oh, these guys actually hit me. Um, I don't want to usually put fire to the soul when fighting them, but... I feel like I need it right now. Okay, the bell's not too far away. I gotta get my health back. Let me just take my ring. So I got, yeah, I got the and the decks, which is correct. I still have tons of inventory space. So let's go in. I've got money to spend, so maybe I get something as quick as the dragon scales. Probably not really. Oh, blinking's good. Let's grab that. Maybe the enchanted armor, I'll just look around first. There's also some other scrolls here, like, uh, Revelations? Not that. Immolation Fog. Yeah, I mean, I can grab all those. Uh, this book with Pile Driver, Teleport Other, Lesser Backing. Not really my thing. Polar Vortex, Ozzycubus, Refrigeration, Simulacrum. I'm also not really my thing. Gravot, Vise Electric Charge. I've heard good things about, like, uh, Gels Gravot. Um, I might grab this book. I'm not sure if I'll get the spells or not. But, hey, it's uh, there if I ever want to try Gels Gravot things around. Those are just weapons, unfortunately. Ooh, Buckler of Poison Resist. Um, yeah. Sure, I'm a Buckler of Poison Resist. Why not? I can probably swap around, like, my Ablo and stuff if I get that one. I was too bad the spells merit best. Wait, which one? Um, the Gels Gravage? Huh, we'll see. It is a reasonably high level, though. Oh, I grabbed the Enchant Armor. They might come in handy. Did the Lidworm just hit you for like 50% of my health? I probably did before because I had no fire resist on. But hey, at least I put some fire resist on. Oh, Gravata's fun. I really want to want to give it a proper try. Um, okay. Put on the poison resist buckler. Oh, I need to enchant my cloak. Why did they enchant that one up? I totally can. All right, well, let's chart the buckler up as well. I think I've doubled this place. Yeah, I mean, it's just more books or something. Let's get out of here. Um, obviously, I can drop my old shield. How's my willpower? It's setting up four. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go grab that ablet. So I've got the uh vitality here. Probably not terrible useful since you are fast anyway. Right, so pushing the enemies away wouldn't be quite as useful. I guess that's true. Um and it is a reason to be high level spell, but I think spring is a good at the translocation, but I, I don't know, I probably won't get it. Alright, well, let's get the Vitality going here. Doesn't give me any resist, unfortunately, but that's fine. Let's go back to the vaults. Go check my willpower. Still still got three posts, so I probably can be marked. Now it's just not hugely likely. Okay, I think they can close doors, but I can just run away. I don't need to worry about those doors being closed to me. Oh, this is not the best. Um... This jellyfish can actually be a problem, I think. Uh, Alright, good. Lidworms died. And I gotta be careful around those ones. How much regen do I have right now? 2.77 health a turn? That sounds pretty, um, pretty good, given that I've already got 105 hit points. No, it wouldn't take me very long to go from badly wounded to full health, of course. Uh, we've been working better. Like, well, like, if I'm running away, I can actually get quite a bit of health back. I should bring these guys back, actually. Otherwise, they're going to turn into massive Titanic slime creatures. They can probably one-hit me. How much does Titanic slime creatures do? I feel like it's, uh, it's 100 something damage. It might actually be able to one-hit me. All right, well... There's kind of a rig here that's, like, not 100% terrible. So, sure, I'll get it. 
There's also there's a beast house, but I don't need the reflection. I don't need the stealth tablet. I mean, I guess I get a stealth tablet. At theory, I've got a really good aptitude for stealth. I just haven't really gotten into it. But stealth is less annoying for archers because you don't end up or the problem where you're trying to run after someone and they just keep on wandering around randomly and you can't get up to them. But that's probably not really a problem anyway with Springers because Springers are so fast you could probably get up to someone anyway, even if they were running away. Oh, well, are gonna let me in on a huge secret? Sure. I'd be interested in this uh, secret. No, to be a no. I don't think I've played many gnolls at all. I should definitely play some more gnolls. This guy's repelling missiles, which make my life hard. That's it. That's all there is to it. It is no. I totally should play some gnolls. Um, I'm gonna finesse up here because this is not ideal. This guy repelling missiles. Yeah, that's a good thing about Oakwaru. Like, sure, they're repelling missiles, but you can just out damage their repel missiles effectively. How many hand cannons does this character see? Because one of the acquirements was offering one. Okamaru offered me like two hand cannons, so I've definitely had a good selection offered to me. That's at least three hand cannons that I could have grabbed over this game. Well, actually, I guess I could grab both of Okamaru's ones at once or anything. Um. What's my geo value at? It's sitting on 11. I mean, nothing hugely impressive, but I don't think Springins. Like, I think with Springins, if you get up to 20, that's a, like, definitely well and truly on the high end if you can ever get up to that much. Um. Because I have had Springins with high shield value before, and I've had them with. I don't know, what's the best shield that a Springin can have? Probably like the. What's it called? What's that little one called? The uh, Warlock's Mirror. Let's back up a little bit. I don't care if that guy is recalling it. Probably just zap it with a wand of light, right? There we go. Alright. Oh, I gotta change this guy's chance of mark me. I haven't seen too many of these guys. It's on Lemstead. Yeah, I mean, it could happen. Given I see enough of those guys, it definitely could happen. Oh, well, uh, certainly seeing enough of them, okay. Doesn't this brain have, like, polymorph or something? It's got 2% of the polymorph, but oh, that's not gonna do much. Because the guys that mark you are, like, uh... Oh, there it goes, mark me. Better at getting through your willpower than other guys, generally. I think I ever... Pell missiles on us, a little, uh, Poldy Guardian. Poldy Guardian's such a silly name. <laughs> like, I guess it does guard people and it is a ghost, so... I don't know, it still is kind of a silly name. I wonder if there's any, like, uh, unique null titles that I could get. I'm not sure if there are. There should be, like, one for getting your skills to 27 or something. I don't I don't think that quite works like that. I think with, uh... I mean, null titles would be kind of paid for, if I remember correctly, because you kind of have to get a manual of the thing you want if you want to get the skill maxed out first, because otherwise the skills just trade at the same rate. And you have to remember to take your manuals off auto pickup, otherwise you can accidentally get the wrong title and stuff. I remember, yeah, null skill titles are a little bit harder to get than some of them. I don't know if there's any, like, ones that are specific to nulls, though. Okay, I'm slow to this help into this water, I'm pretty sure. Should probably get rid of the like archer dude that's shooting me. All right. 
I'm kind of running all over the level. I mean, that's a springing thing to do. Just run all over the level, but it's kind of funny, like, being in the middle of combat, just running everywhere. Whoa. Check out this guy. Probably, okay, 3% are confused with paralysis. That's not too bad. I don't actually have any, like, uh, I mean, I guess you can't even cancel out but paralysis, so it doesn't really matter that I've got no cancellation potions. Um. I don't know if I want to get next to, like, a might at all, Qualot. I feel like they could easily hit for a good 50 or 60 damage, let's see. 69 damage? Yeah, there's a lot, uh, a lot more when it's buffed up. Was it only like 50 damage when it's all buffed up or something? Are you likely to get an invocation title because it's plus 9 instead of plus 8? Yeah, 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 if you, um... I mean, you don't really tend to start with the invocations. Oh, ah, I accidentally bumped my microphone. Anyway, uh, yeah, so you often do. Sometimes your starter skill will still be barely the highest by the end, but usually the invocations manage to overtake the other skills. Um... And you can always go, like, a little bit longer, like, do a bit of crypt or something if you want the invocations to overtake. But, I don't know, I feel like most games you do find some random manual, even if it's not useful. So you gotta be careful with your auto pickup. I think, I mean, the, the good thing about invocation titles, at least there's so many of them, like, pretty much everyone want one. What's going on with this guy? I think I forgot where I was. I mean, I guess I do have a bit of stealth. Like, even this character found a stealth manual, right? Oh, I found an unarmed manual as well. So you gotta be careful with the useless manuals, um, on a... On the character, I need to get the invocations on a, uh, no. Uh, after I kill that guy, I should get back to my staircase. Oh, I should keep on going back to my staircase. Despite the mark here, I should just go up and I think go down somewhere else is probably the safe thing. At least being so fast, it's really easy to get up the staircase even after I get marked. Uh, I've lost nine cells. I should bring in a little bit about uh, a little bit of cells, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's get like uh, I don't know, ten or something. It probably won't take very long at all to get 10 with this character, I imagine. I definitely should get 10. Whoa, who's glowing here? It's none of these guys, is it? Someone down here. It could be Menace. I gotta presume that it is. Menace and run away. Um... <laughs> and then I'll try and fight whatever follows me from the staircase. I think it's a sensible thing to do. I like how this guy can airstrike, because I don't really have a way to escape that. They're just trying to do his lightning instead, which is a lot better, because at least I can dodge that one. Uh, get my health back before I fight this guy. I mean, I still have 80 left, but... I feel like these uh, Yagdor the captains, they can have for like 60 damage or something, right? It says 30, but that's when it's unarmed. I don't know what it does when it's rage. It's definitely a lot more than 30 damage. Wait, wait, there's a Hell Knight there? That pretty much means that there's Marjorie around here somewhere, right? Uh, pretty sure that's what that means, because it got recorded from a separate part of the level. I can probably go down here now. Which means my one fire resist is going to be put to the test at some stage. Whoa, that's a lot of dudes. I might just buff up. Hopefully I don't need to teleport. So many dudes, okay. I might actually back up a bit here, I think I can. There we go, go back to the staircase. Oh hey, Malcolm Rose Gaming, how's it going? Reading it there, what sort of character up to? Was that, I guess, a uh, continuing your streak there? Because I know you had a pretty massive streak going. Are they, uh, breaching the perimeter? They sure are getting raided here. <laughs> I need, like, a raid alert, but I'm not sure what one I'd go with. Is raider then coming? There's a bunch of raiders. Are you on a 69 streak? Was it playing DCSS, though? 
Uh, playing Vintage Story. I don't think I've heard of that one. Huh. Is it any good? Oh, let's just back up a little bit here. Hey, uh, Cyborg, how's it going? <laughs> I was like Minecraft, but more focused on survival and realism. Tons of fun. Yeah, I remember Minecraft. Uh, I have played it like a while back. Been, I don't know, it's kind of got an interesting take on survival because it's not. I've always find survival games are a little bit weird in terms of like, you usually start off really struggling for resources and then either it gets really tedious because you're always struggling for the same resources or the game, um, or it gets like really easy to get the resources and it almost doesn't feel like playing survival anymore. That's what I found with a lot of survival games that I've played. Uh, not all of them. Uh, or you think it's for that kind of uh, game you really have to provide new challenges after the play against the basic needs? Yeah, you do. Like, I remember with something like Valheim, it was basically you'd have to get the, do the same thing in every biome, basically, right? You had to go mine whatever resources were appropriate to that biome. So after you've got one resource under control, it's just moving on to the next one. That kind of made things a little bit more interesting. There's a lot of Hell Knights. Um, I might actually want to one fire resist right now. That's probably a good idea, given all these bolts of fire zooming over my head. I mean, I should probably still default to the cold resist, because there's still the guys that freeze walls, but I haven't seen one of those guys for a little while. Um, this guy's repelling missiles. I gotta, gotta, I think, finesse up. Can I actually hit it with a net? Is that even possible? No, it's like 15%. It's way better just shooting it, right? Because that's on 45%. Well, probably if you had some throwing skill, you'd at least be able to hit it with a net, but I don't, so... I'm not going to worry about that one too much, I think. Oh, I forgot to give you a shout-out there, uh, Malcolm Rose. Let me go do that one if I can. Uh... Yeah, so you can uh, go follow Malcolm Rose if you want to. He, I know he plays Dungeon Crawl sometimes. Plays apparently Vintage Story. No, he's. I think he's got the largest Dungeon Crawl streak at the moment, if I'm correct. I haven't quite been keeping up for the streaks for a little while, so maybe something's changed. Oh, we've got some more slime creatures here. Yeah, it just made us. Um, he's got a big shield on him, doesn't he? Oh, the world record holder at 69. Are you going to try, like, hold on to 69 just because it's a nice number? Or are you going to try and uh, bring it up at some stage? Oh, let's get the finesse and the heroes, I think. I want to get rid of some of these other guys before I fight Menace. Um... I might try blind some of these guys, because they're both in a row. Uh, I was like 40% hit with the net. I think I just keep it shooting. What's my chance of... Is that actually accurate at 50%? I don't know. Oh, he healed himself. That's not good. I might kill the other dude. Oh... He actually managed to hit me there. I think I drink a healing potion, but... It was only 40% ahead with this net. I'm gonna give it a try though. Ah, he hit me again. What's this chance of hitting? I'm gonna have to drink another healing potion. He's got a 23% chance, so he actually does have a um, decent chance of hitting. So I'm still gonna try with the net. There we go. Got a bit of net. I got out though, which is a shame. Um Kiarp is confused. I'm gonna try and get him with another net. Oh wait. Wait, oh, because he's not confused anymore, it's like, don't have a very good chance of hitting him? Yeah, are you like 30% chance of hitting him? Um, because his shield's probably got back in action, hasn't it? I don't know if Ice Blast does much, does he cold resist? He's not, but I don't have much skill in it, which is the problem. I gotta give it a try, see if it does much, but... Okay, it might be doing alright. Uh... 
I think he's found the healing again, which is... Oh, no. Oh, try the healing potion, but this is actually kind of bad. I got him almost there, but I just can't get rid of him. He's just stuck here. Oh, it really depends. Oh, really only play mainline if people bribe you these days to play it? Ah, oh, yeah, so it depends on if everybody's willing to do that. Right. No, that makes sense, I guess. Uh... Uh, oh man, do I just give an ice blast to give? Is that the thing to do? I don't even know. I'll try it again. Oh, thankfully, he's finally gone. And unfortunately, I don't need his unit on this time round. But no, that was a nasty little battle there. I never really know what I'm meant to do with Manos. Because I, I don't really feel like I've ever got the stuff to take him out when I first meet him. Um, minus 8 corrosion. I think I run. Uh now this dude's gonna see all the staircases, isn't it? All the doors that didn't? Okay. Well that makes it easy for me. I can just run back to the staircase and hopefully wait off my oh okay. I might just back up out of there. <laughs> well, I guess I could go to the listing scale patch, although it looks like everything might have lost track of me by now anyway. Yeah, nothing's really following. I guess I'm so fast that they just got left behind. Oh, no, I dropped down a shaft. At least it's only taking me to fourth level vaults. I'm pretty sure you can't get shafts into fifth level, right? Oh, it's going to recall. Um, I got to put on my finesse just in case. I don't know what it's going to recall. I mean, that looks fine so far. There is a Reaver, which is not the best, but everything else is not too bad. Oh, it's getting... It's getting, like, shouted from injuries. Okay. I probably can't hit it with a net. That's the problem. The guys I can't hit normally, I also can't hit with a net. Ow. Um. A certificate might be out of date on your website or something. You can't see that happening. Don't know. Apparently it might be. I can have uh, duel this guy because I think I'm... Oh, ow. That's... Just did that with his beak as well. Oh, that's my last healing potion. Um, I put on some heroism, but what else could I do? I don't think I can get it with the water light, can I? That's the problem. Like, all the things I can get these guys with, like, missiles, like, uh, and they don't have a good chance of hitting. I don't know what to do here. Uh, does a fear work? Maybe. I don't know if it's worthwhile. I guess I'll give it a try. So if I do the vulnerability first, and then I try to hit this guy with a bit of fear, I might be able to get some health back. I don't know. I'm going to try the uh, Brosia, but I'm just not sure it's going to have time. All right. I guess it got me most of my health back. Um, it's only 30% to hit, though. It's probably actually less because the shield, because I'm not sure that actually accounts for the shield or not. All right, well, I survived here. I guess I just leave. Um, oh, thank goodness. I, I got that guy before I recalled. Oh, no. Um, it's going to recall, isn't it? Yep. As much I can do to stop that. I mean, I tried. I might have been something that could do a little bit more damage. I think I finesse up again. Thirty give it. This is like a level that I can't really escape from easily. Oof. Okay, get rid of the guy that's freezing me. I do have my cold resist on right now, which is definitely the right rig to have when there's all those frost giants and stuff next to me. Um. Is there a proper choke point around here? I guess this is probably the closest I've got to a choke point. Somewhere where I don't have to fight both those guys at once.
Kind of sad with Springy Tail, they can't use the boomerangs. It's the reason I often go with, like, uh, not the boomerangs, the javelins. It's the reason I often go with, like, the um, rage weapons and stuff, because then it doesn't matter as much. Also, I should kill these guys. Uh... Why is it letting me through a door? Like, it's sealing the staircase. Maybe the door is just too far away for it to seal or something. I don't know. It does seem kind of strange that it would let me through that door after sealing everything else off. Uh, I want decks. Definitely want decks. I get three of age now that out of just two decks. I think I even got a shield value and I probably got a damage or something. It's so very worth getting decks for this character. What do I want in terms of skills? I mean, I'm just getting the invocations up to a point where I can duel reliably, which it kind of is now already, so I can stop it whenever it reaches its target, I think. Um, I don't think I'm quite ready just to go uh, purely into shields. I think I'm going to wait on that one. But at some stage, I just need to uh, pump up the shields. Am I, I'm actually kind of thinking of going extended with this character. Seems like a fun character to go extended with, even if they don't have a lot of hit points. It would definitely, if it, it would definitely be one of my classic combos, like if I switched to the shiny one and did extended, and that's kind of what I'm tempted to do. And like the funny holy hand grow smoke, that's always a really funny thing to have. Um, oh, let's just back up here. Have these guys got the Arbalist or whatever? I don't actually know what the Centaur Warrior has there, but it's got something ranged. Yeah, like it's just a basic Arbalist, but I looked at once on the ground after I've killed them. Well, it might not be basic. There was one um, enchanted weapon up there, apparently. Whoa. I just run away? I think so. Yeah, they can get my health back pretty quick and then go find the Sandal Warrior. Uh, I tried to whisper to you, but uh, Twitch is having a Twitch moment. I think you, theoretically you could disable whispers. I don't know, sometimes Twitch just does, uh, does its own thing as well. I think there is a way you can disable whispers, but I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. Just back up. Uh... This, oh, good. I got another healing. I used to have a bunch of those, but then I just uh, absolutely went through them in the Metal Spine, and I haven't recovered them since then. In fact, it hasn't actually been that long since the Metal Spine, so I would, would, uh, would be surprised if I had a big chunk of them back by now, anyway. And it's kind of like, it doesn't matter which one of those guys I shoot, they both just take a little bit of damage. All right, so I'm done with this level. I, I did do the level above, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it looks like I've done it. Uh... Oh, since so you have uh, block, oh, you're you're also getting a problem trying to whisper my over there. Since so you have block whispers from strangers, so I don't know whether that's a default setting or not. I don't think it is. Huh? I don't want to go. Um, I can go to the Elven Halls, right? Like you got willpower, I've got three willpower. Lack of fire resist is probably fine. I do like to have cold resist, but I'm probably better off just putting on decks. Man, I wish it was like a like a robe of resistance or something, right? Let's see, there's Rome Fire Resist, there's another Fire Resist one, Fire Dragon Armor. No, it's all just, uh, all just silly stuff. Let's just go to the Elven Halls with very little elemental resist, see how that goes. Uh... Am I still wearing the Resist Electric Armor? I think I might be. Which is not bad. I remember the electric guys in here being a big problem for some characters. I'm not sure what it's like with high evasion characters. I haven't seen us bring it into the Elven Halls for quite some time, I don't think. Oh, that's an orange crystal statue. Um, 
I think it just makes sense to stay back for that kill of these other guys. Does it even make sense to kill that one? It's probably gunning something. I'll, I'll do the rest of the level, then I'll probably go kill it. Because I can probably just, like, finesse up if I need to, right? Because it can summon some really nasty things, but it's only not a crystal statue, so it's not going to have a lot of health. If I can finesse it, I can probably kill it in a couple of turns. Alright, what have we got for sale here? We've got haste. I've got tons of those. I should probably use more of those. But I don't end up using a huge amount of those with, um... Okawaru specifically. Also, I should probably actually grab the... Hold on. Um, I should grab those of Yeah, I do use those with Okawaru. But Okawaru, I ended up using less, um... Haste, because I tend to, like, just finesse up instead. Unless I'm actually specifically trying to run away. Alright, well, I'll finesse up here. Yeah, there we go. Pretty quick to take it out, and I can just go downstairs. Do I have a reason to do the Hall of Blades? Because I don't actually need the enchant weapons that you're going to find inside the Hall of Blades. There will be branding, but I'm actually kind of happy with freezing. I don't think I ever want to rebrand this, apart from maybe with Holy Wrath, which you can't even get off a branding scroll, so... I don't know, I might just be good with this. Also, can I get Yara's? Um, it might be a little bit late to try and get the Yara's, but I'm going to do it, so I need... Why is my invocations going so high? Did I forget my... I forgot... Oh, what? Why did I put a 26 limit on that? Um, <laughs> That's obviously totally wrong. Anyway, I can stop it there. That's probably a good thing I checked on these skills. Uh, it's Hexes, Alchemy, right? Yeah, I thought it was a little strange before that I was on a uh, 1% failure with my, um, jaw, but I had, uh, the skill hadn't reached its target yet. I was like, oh, I'll probably just reach it very soon. Probably just like half a point off or something, but no, I totally stuffed up my target there somehow. Ooh, a cloak of willpower? I mean, I, I don't lose it, I think, by putting it on, so... I'll take it. Because it's already plus two as well, so I don't even need to use any scrolls or anything to charge it up or anything like that. How fast are these weapons? I might be able to do the Hall of Blades with relatively little risk. Let's see. So this one, oh, it's 170% speed, so they're actually faster than me, aren't they? Um... I might still do the Hall of Blades. I don't know. I don't have a lot to gain for it, but I reckon it probably won't be too bad. Yeah, at least I can outrun those elves. Um... Hundred and seventy percent speed is not much faster than me, if you think about it. Like I'm hundred and sixty-six percent speed, so they'd already very slowly gain on me. It would only really be a problem if they're like next to me getting attacked with opportunity, because then I'd never be able to get away from them or something. Uh I might actually buff up here. I don't need to be taking those out so quickly as I'd like. Well, thank God it's got, uh, plus zero rapiers. I'm just saying they weren't, like, uh, nasty brand or something. So I've seen, have I seen any high tier weapons? Is that a, that's not a Bardiche, is it? So it is a Bardiche. So I've seen one high tier weapon in here. There should be another one somewhere as well. Uh, probably the larger tang... Oh, I might actually buff out. There's a lot of guys here. Yeah, it's a pretty sure a larger tank is a high tier weapon as well. Alright, what else have we got? Hey, Quick Blade. That's also a high tier weapon. The Quick Blade of Holy Wrath. For all his characters want to go extend it with their little Holy Wrath weapons. I mean, I think I've done that, like, at least once before. Got Holy Wrath with a Quick Blade. I don't even know if I had a Quick Blade. I might have had, like, a Rapier of Holy Wrath or something instead. I did it, like, an Ushkeo game. It was really painful. It took many attempts, but I managed to do a Stabber extension at some stage.
I got a little uh, Bissell vault in here. Church and Theory, I think, have an entrance to the abyss somewhere. Maybe. So how do I go with Fear Scrolls? I got nine of those. It, I could, theoretically, trade in, like, most of my Fear Scrolls to get into a treasure trove. I don't think it's worthwhile, but if I end up getting to, like, extended, I still have a whole bunch of those Fear Scrolls, then it might be a lot more worthwhile. Um... I just gotta exclude this up. This does look like it's leading to the top elves, or this doesn't. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, that's absolutely burning me up. I mean, it's got both the fire and the cold. Um. Hmm. I finesse up, but I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. I think it might be. There we go. They got rid of the guys. So I can get blinking. That's probably a good idea. I don't need the enchant army yet. I might just add it to my shopping list. Do I need more fog? How do I go with fog? I like eight fog. I don't really need it yet. Grab the revelation. It's got a pretty short short of those. Um... Also got like seven poisons, so yeah, get us like something I'm not really short on. Oh, uh, Crystal Sphere couldn't quite one shot me, but having those guys blink next to me is still highly sketchy. Just like these guys are highly sketchy because they got the whole damnation thing going for them. Um, and they haste themselves up, which can. You know, they throw out their damnation faster as well. Uh... The problem with, like, the Horse Frost Cannon Age, uh, which is apparently blocking this pathway here, is that once it's out, you can't, like, silence it up. Um, because I know that with elves, you can often use, like, silence as a backup option when you get in trouble, but, yeah, it doesn't... Work with the whole frost cannon aids out. Oh, really? You gotta trap me like that? Um, hmm. I'm gonna buff. Let's keep this guy at a bit of a distance as well, just so I don't have multiple guys on screen. All right, let's sneak forward slowly. So I don't accidentally, like, uh, step too much forward to get the enemies an extra attack or something. Uh, one of these had a rig of fire resist willpower two decks. Does that random corrode on it? Is that even worthwhile? I mean, it does have a couple of decks that gives fire resist. Um, hmm. It's like an okay way of getting fire resist, I guess. Uh, it's got a willpower, which I don't really need a bit of strength. I guess I'll drop my ring of fire. Um, yeah, I guess so. Oh, there's another guy here for me to take out. It's uh, probably a slight improvement over that. I mean, I lose like four things if I swap down one of my things. Get a fire resist, it might be good. Are oh, you just running and reading in a flame scroll? I mean, that's definitely an option. Um, it sounds like a very dangerous option. Oh, there's a ring of minus strength, but it gives, uh, plus six decks and resist negative. Um, if I put that on, I'd have, like, one strength, right? That's... Not gonna work for me, but it is actually another option of a resist negative here. I might draw one of these cold resists. Uh... Drop the old amulet, because I don't need the willpower and stuff. I mean, it's okay, I just had to like, get more strength, I think, before I did that sort of swap. Oof. I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to read the silence so this guy can't uh, get me with a second crystal spear and finish me off. So I should wait off the silence before I run around. Buff up. Oh, this guy's going to keep bringing everyone back to life. So it's going to be a little bit painful getting through all these guys. This guy that does damnation, although it didn't use it probably because it was too close to me or something. Uh... 
Oh, don't do that extremely rare, silence tell me. Yeah, silence is massively useful, but sometimes it does save your life. Or at least make it less risky. So it's worth carrying around, but like, it doesn't get used very often at all. Where do I want to be? Just devs or something? I'd hate these resist for devs. Um... I mean, I guess... I'll put on the whole fire this dex thing, I guess. It's alright. I mean, I lost a bit of dex, yeah. I don't know, I really like having good resists, like fire and cold resists in the depths, but... Like, for these guys type things. <laughs> okay. Maybe someone in here will drop a rope of resistance, maybe? I don't even know if that's the uh, best item for this character or not. Um, I'm just gonna bring one of these guys upstairs. There we go. Lost my chance of heading 37%. I can't even really ice blast it from here. I think I just actually gotta shoot it. But it also can't really airstrike me from there, so I guess neither of us are gonna be massively effective. There's a little live war. I'm gonna run back because that would hit me with fragile, make me take 50% more damage. I lost a like a pretty promising spring in before to that, where an eyeball, I think it was a pandemonium, gave me fragile, and then I got hit by an irradiate of a um protein progenitor or something, and it absolutely wrecked me. It's not a bad spot having a little, well, nice little uh, choke point there. I should have actually checked how my cakes is going and stuff. Okay, what do I want? I want to get, uh, I want to get fighting up to like 20. I think that's about as high as that's ever going to get. I get a range like 20, but, oh, that didn't work. 20, there we go. Dodging's where it needs to be, and I get shields to 15 as well. Uh, she also definitely feels like it's maybe a little bit on the high side for someone that's just using a buckler, but oh well. Alright, well, Yards is down to 11%, so if I ever get the, um, death form, then I get Yards myself up death form. I don't even know if I see the death tallies, but around. See a granite one, a dragon one, a blade head one, a serpent one. So no, I have not seen a death talisman. I'll probably just end up with the shiny one, honestly, if I don't see a death talisman. Uh, Mars gonna surround me like that. It's probably fine. Um, I think I want to run away though. Yeah, my regen is kind of keeping up as I'm running away here. Oh, that's a dragon. A very non-observant dragon, but a dragon nonetheless. Okay, where is it? I'm gonna bring it upstairs. Okay. <laughs> Doing away like 50 of my health or something, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually is a lot with this character. That was a fake Mara, wasn't it? It did drop a weapon, so yeah, it was a fake Mara, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know if I bring this guy back this way or whether I should have just brought it upstairs and then used a, like, random blink spell or something to get myself behind it. I don't know. It's fine bring it here, I guess. It's worried that I'll bump it to Mario to get it or something. I should have put the fire, no, the cover this on immediately, I think, but it didn't get a chance to hit me at least. Uh, yeah, what's in here? I mean, there's a block of... No, a tome of bloodstone? Well, these are like tremendous tomes or something. They look pretty big. I honestly don't know. I could get like the dimensional whatever it is um, spell. Dimensional bullseye or something. Because I could basically already cast it. 9% failure. Okay, I'm just going to... Finesse up, kill Mara, hopefully before he... Oh, he duplicated. I was going to say hopefully before he duplicated, but I was a bit slow for that. Oh, where's the real one? There we go, got the real one. It's kind of funny when you just end up, uh... 
fighting all the fake bars or whatever. But at least he doesn't like keep on stringing it out and bring in even more duplicates and then I have to kill those as well. Alright, uh... I think I can just get back up. Yep, looks like it. Might just bring like a couple of these guys up though with me. Because I knew that that was an explosive staircase, so I was presuming it would probably be reasonably safe when I got up. Oh, a shrike. Um, I've noticed this corrosion, right? I can get a resist corrosion, but I might just finesse up. Um, but I might put on the resist corrosion instead of the resist fire. That kind of hurt. Um... What do I want to do to this guy? Because I don't think the fear is going to work massively well. Okay. I technically can't see invisible. I might try it invisible, but I don't know if it helps that much. Huh? Okay. Having trouble hitting me now, at least. Actually, that did help quite a bit, I think. I see there's another one now. Um, how fast is this? Fast to be right? 200%? Yeah, it is. Oh, really? Edge of the map? Um, I, know, I could probably kill the one next to me, but then what? I mean, I guess I can keep fighting these ones. How am I fire this on anymore? Oh, they just kind of wandered away while I'm invisible. I guess that kind of works. Maybe. If I could get it on net, that would help. It's 50%. I'll give it a try. <laughs> okay, well, I guess not. Oh, there's a death rake. Um, I poison resist, right? I can just pop a scroll of poison. Should probably take out the death rake while the poison's still out here. And at least the shrikes get poisoned up as well, which is kind of nice. I feel like I'm getting quite a lot of out of that invisibility. It does seem to be lasting. Okay, I'll put on my uh, resist fire again because I saw a fiery guy, like fire dragon or something. Oh, oh, maybe not. Oh, there it is. Uh, one of those potions, probably cancellation or something. Yeah, there we go. Can I finally drop those identify? Probably not. I probably got like one more item to identify or something. Um, what was my other robe? Uh, I've got the resist light for one. Those decks. No, it's probably not quite worth it yet. I think I can put on like that ring. I don't know. Can you get a resist negative instead of. A regen? Is that. That's probably not that worthwhile. Just by swapping some stuff around. Like if I put on the Dex uh, minus end ring or something. I don't know. It doesn't seem that worthwhile. How fast are the Juggernaut? They're not that fast, right? 150% speed. Uh, probably fast with the water around, which is a bit of a problem. If I could get it with a net, though... Is it poison resist or can I also slow it down with a curare? Because that would be kind of nice. I think I can also slow it down with a curare while it's in the net. Um, yeah, there we go. So it's slowed and it's netted. Can I just finesse up and kill it? Excellent. This almost feels more like... Uh, Depths 4 with like dispatch or bolt at the end rather than depths 1, but this is just the first level of depths, so I'm not going to be getting um, the entrances on or anything in here. Like, I know you do get the castles and not the entrances on one, I'm just so used to it being the entrances on one, it feels weird being this early in the game. 
I think that's fine. Yep. Well, didn't take too much damage from the least rapid deconstruct, but it was beginning to add up. Whoa. Another dude with least rapid deconstruct. Um. Turning half the time of view, but it probably won't attack me because I don't think it can with the other creatures around. Like it can, it is smart with us, these rapid deconstruct. It will like shoot behind me in situations where it can. Um, I still got the fire to the sun, right? Good. Fire giants, I think, are slightly worse than the frost giants because they have. Um, they have the, like the fireball, the frost ones only have the beam or whatever it is. We got an open light with fly, it doesn't really matter. We got a little shit. Oh, go looking for pizza again. How do I do I go looking for pizza? Is that all that this character goes looking for? These meat caches? Yeah, we're looking for pizza again. I think it's, uh, just what spring is do. They go looking for pizzas, apparently. Oh, it's a faith resist boss and seven magic points amulet? Nah. I don't know the poison resist one, but where am I actually getting my poison resist from now? Somewhere. My cloak? My buckler, I think. Probably my buckler. Uh, spring is still vegetarian? They should be. I'm not 100% sure, but they should be. So maybe that's the reason why the only thing they can eat is a pizza or something. Um... <laughs> Reach level 23. Alright, that's not bad. Not that I need to be able to find any pizza in the um, <laughs> caches of meat whenever I go looking for one. And I don't think a spring would need a pepperoni pizza either. They might need a magically preserved pandemonium pizza, maybe. <laughs> I feel like that would be the most likely one for them to eat, right? I don't know why you put in a pandemonium pizza. Uh, I can probably just ice blast these two dudes that are next to each other. You have the fire this on, right? Good. Hmm. It's guaranteed it's a shield of resistance except buckler version. I don't even think there is a buckler version, but I guess you could get a randon or something. It was basically a shield of resistance except buckler version. Wait, there's a potion here? Oh, Berserk Rage, right. Hey, Boris. Can he one-shot me with a crystal? No, no, but destruction? Probably. 1919? Probably, yeah. Uh, but it's fine. I can run around the corner. Um, I'll just get his attention. And then I think I'll put him in a net. Okay. He always has an artifact rope, so that could be useful. It does uh, regen to it. That's not that useful. It is plus four, so it's protective, but it doesn't really offer anything else, unfortunately. Um, I think these identifiers are actually useless now, yet so it's a graying them out, so there's nothing left to identify. I think the only thing I did get was a potion of experience, which is uh, not a surprise. Anything else? Nah, okay. But I'm totally fine with never fighting a potion of experience. Uh, sorry to keep these guys out in the open so I can shoot them, but also so I don't get a... Uh, hit with a uh, least rapid deconstruct. I think I better retreat up here. Um... I don't know, there's a lot of frost giants. I should have actually been a little bit more careful with my treating so that I didn't, uh... Oh, I might just go up, actually. I did trigger that mic trap, because unfortunately I just set it up. Wait, is that the... No, it's somewhere. It looks funny, because it's like merging with the shop. It almost looked like it was running around the dark mall or something. Um... I'm gonna curare this guy. Okay. 
doesn't get too many chances to hit when I'm like finessed up and it's curare up, so it's a way slower attack hit than me, because it's already slow at attacking, right? Oh, I think I get my health back. Uh, am I worried about a gold dragon? I feel like I'm missing some of the resist. I'm missing gold resist. It's probably fine. I've uh, killed a gold dragon before, right? There it goes with the balls of cold, though. Um, oh, the crystal spear book. I'm going down a different staircase. Those, sometimes you had to read, like, a silence to find the crystal spear books, but... Mm. I don't want to get too close to the crystal wall because there's possibly more of the earth mages around. And uh, the crystal walls do blow up in a pretty big area. Oh, there's a crystal spear book. Let me just... Shred up, I think. Um... I think I've got one silence left. Whoa. Is this who just, like, absolutely mirroring all these bug wasps? Um, hold up, I gotta mess up. Uh, oh, it's mirrored itself as well? Yeah, it was just mirroring all the spike wasps. I thought something crazy was happening there. It was one thing, yeah, exactly, for Tomic. No, that's uh, way more spike wasps than I was expecting it to mirror up. That's absolutely crazy. I didn't realize it could... Spam its ability that much. Uh, hold up. Strike me inside. I need to resist corrosion. Otherwise, I know those guys could do a ton of damage. Or I miss the fire resist again. Juggernaut means curare. I've got that one at least. Oh. Got the fire resist right. I know I took it off, but I put it back on, so it should be fine. Ah, I don't mean to open my inventory there. <laughs> it's about to, like, order explore. Uh, it's not looking best. I might just speed up my attacks. A minus four corrosion, so I basically lost all my AC. I think this is still okay. Although I don't have a huge amount of health anymore. Um, there's a lich in here. I could no, I can't outrun this guy. I could probably just teleport out of here. That's probably the uh, right idea to get my health back. All right, where's my coal resist? Now that I've got rid of the fire giant, there we go. And then back to the fire resist. So much ring swapping. I wish I just had one of each. It would be so much nicer. Oh, this crystal spear book. Um, bring it nice and close so I can get it with the silence. I wonder whether I could go get my... Uh, if I thought Wiglaf, I could go get the... Um, like the pile of floods, right? Not that it works on books, because someone would have proofed all the books in the dungeon, apparently. <laughs> I don't know, it seems a little strange that all the books are would have proof, so you can't splash them with vials. But I guess it doesn't make sense for a book to breathe, and that's this normal determination of a uh, vial of floods works or not. I just pick up Curse of Agony. I don't even know if I've, uh, I might have tried the spell, but I've never really used the Curse of Agony one. Yeah, I haven't really used the, like, the, the Agony ever since I lost, um, it's a uh, range. Okay. That's the Crystal Walls that, I mean, it's not gonna zap it while there's this guy here. It's gonna zap one of the other walls. Oh, ow. I'm not tricky. Oh, no. The, oh, no. Might just duel this guy so I can get my health back. Oh, 
an ass right me once I as soon as I got in here, which kind of hurt a lot. But I think I'm fine. I think I can just ice blast this test, but it did cost me quite a few healing potions. But at least now I can do my ambrosia. Um I don't know, I'm not really leaving that much early. Unfortunately, these guys have got their spells enhanced by that brain, which is a real pain. Um, Am I okay now? Do I need to duel again? I think I kind of need to duel again. It's expensive for the party. You mean not worthy to be dueled? Come on. That's, I mean, I guess it's technically not individually tough. It just makes everything else tougher. So I guess it's right that it's... Not worthy to be jeweled or something. I know, it's just kind of silly how things like tormentors and stuff are technically not worthy to be jeweled despite how tough they are. Alright. So I got my finesse on at least. Um, oh, that's gone now. Hey, is that a robe of resistance? I might want that one. I've got the resist electric on right now, but... You know what? Let's do this. So I'll put on the robe of resistance. Actually, do I have a better robe of resistance? I say I've got a... Nope, I don't think so. It's just fire this stuff or whatever. Um... If I just go back to my decks instead of that uh, fancy fire resist one, it might be worthwhile as well. Or I could put on the resist uh, electric a little bit. Contaminates when you take it off, but I didn't have a death talisman to remove that, did I? Ah, uh, that's a shame. Although, if I'm going to wear this armor, I should have charged it up, at least. Okay, I think this is probably worth wearing. Oh, hey, Vivi. It's definitely worth wearing with Vivi around. Let me just finesse up, but I don't have a lot of piety anymore. Uh... She just freeze the walls. That's not really a surprise, though. Hey, there we go. Got her destroyed. That would have been... Uh, that probably would have taken a resistance potion if I had to have got this robe of resistance, I reckon. But she has uh, both the tanks that do lots of fire and tanks that do both cold, and I didn't use that way of getting both things at the same time. All right, where's the way down? Unfortunately, I don't have my resist electric anymore, which is the main downside with swapping to this robe. Uh... Oh, I keep it open by inventory by mistake. Hey, the guy's got a kite shield of resistance. If only that was smaller, it's a cut it down to size because I need the resistance shield. I mean, I got to get a poison resist from some of the source, but I can swap off my vitality emblem for another one if I needed to. Oh, I just came out dead guy by mistake. It's getting kind of frustrating, actually. It's all constantly opening my inventory. Um, oh, I did it again. I don't have any silence anymore. I think I just shoot the book. Does have all the smites going? Oh, um, there's another one. Okay, it's gonna do quite a bit of damage with smite. What do I do with this book? I'm going to start a teleport, but I'm not sure if that's the right idea. And I'm going to put on the finesse, but it's doing its smiting again. Okay. That's fine. I'm out of there, but I'm probably going to bump into it again. But it'll probably be fine if I'm, like, on full health or something. I'm fragile. It's obviously not going to be fine when I'm fragile, but, uh, yeah. All right, level 24. So I got a little bit more health now. What are I getting? So six max health. Of course, this dragon is making sure I don't have it right now, but I'll get it back. Oh, it's a freezing book. I just got to move next to it. That's fine. Like, it can't really use the spells while I'm next to it. Otherwise, it would do a lot of damage with freezing. Because it doesn't want to hit itself, which is kind of hilarious. Um... Oh, I think this is fine. There we go. Uh, there's a little steam dragon here. I might just use 
I want to use a scroll of poison. You just gotta sometimes fight poison with poison, though. I just... Uh, it's gonna be fragile again. I don't know if the fragile lasts as long as it used to, because that seems to be wearing off pretty quick, at least. Um... There's a number of guys here. Um, some of them are shapeshifters, I know that. And that eyeball of malmutation is definitely a shapeshifter. Oh, it got me with malmutation. What am I doing? Recovering slowly from being drained? It's not a problem yet. I could probably stick with that one for now. Yeah, it's probably fine. Alright, what can I do in terms of rings? I can put on a resist corrosion again, I think. I don't look good. I just saw an eyeball. Um... Can I blind the eyeball with a bit of light? I mean, it's blind now, but it can probably still hit me with something. I might just back up. These walls are quite reflective, if I'm correct, like all the crystal walls. Uh, I had a deck somewhere. There we go. Instead of resist corrosion, because the resist corrosion is not going to do it so much anymore. Oh, you don't know what Fragile does, but you uh, refuse to look it up. It's, uh, you take 50% more damage while you have it. It changed around a few times um, recently, like after it initially got added. But yeah, it's not too bad. Well, it kind of is bad. Um, it used to be 30% damage, and that wasn't too bad, but 50% damage is definitely noticeable. So you have to be very careful not to get like one hit or something when you've got it on. <laughs> ah, ah. Someday I'll get better at not overgoing inventory, surely. Don't worry, because there's going to be... There's going to be a lot of guys behind this, but that might be alright. How do I get... Am I trying Trevor Stones on this guy? Does damage me as well, which is a bit of a worry, but it did do the trick at least. Go to the flayed ghost, which was hiding behind everyone else. Did I just... Oh, a silence. Um... What am I carrying around that I don't need anymore? Probably two bosses of energies is a bit excessive. Um, yeah, I'll do it for now. I'll see what else I can drop later on, but there's no hurry in dropping things right now. Okay. Whoa. That was a lot of damage. I don't even resist. Uh, Resist whatever it is. Resist electric. I'm gonna put on the um, finesse, I think. Because I'm already down to like half health, so I'm gaining it back at least. But I know that one hit from those guys can do quite a bit of damage. Although they're like, uh, they're actually mainly physical damage, I think. I know it's a, it's like a decent amount of electric, but you really can't ignore the physical damage that they do. That was a good old stop, Dallas, but if you were even able to get to it, this guy's got a buckler of reflection. I don't actually see it like it's doing too well with this buckler of reflection and actually reflecting the, my attacks back at me. Oh, how good I feel like a Nabla to uh, one of those Somme Talismans would be massively great in the spring. And, or maybe it'll be alright, because you still be able to evade things really well, right? Um, does it change your size? I don't think it does. So yeah, it actually might be really good, because you... I mean, you lose your shield, but that might not be such a big deal with a Spriggan, usually, anyway. I don't know. I usually just do range Spriggan, so... Uh... They're not really going to be able to go with it anyway. That would be if you want to do an unarmed spring, because I do actually have the manual of the unarmed on this character thing. It's kind of crazy. I can't wear those gloves, can I? I'm pretty sure those are unavailable. Yep, same with the boots. Because I'm just too small as a spring. And I still want to see what they do. See if they're any good. See if I'm actually missing out on anything by not being able to wear these gloves. They might just be like minus one gloves or something. Let's see. Plus two gloves. Five slang. Oh no, minus four decks and hard. Um, if I could put those on, I probably wouldn't. It's five slags quite a bit, but when it's got minus four decks on it. I still, you still gain damage, but uh, the harm is absolutely terrifying. I'm springing. You've already got 139 hit points. You really don't want the harm. Um, 
Dragon just reaches me fast. It's not as fast as me, though. So that's something. How's my willpower? Because I don't... Oh, it's really good. What am I wearing for a cloak, I guess? Yeah, I'm at the point where I can, like, take off all my willpower items and be completely fine with willpower because I'm high enough level. Springers do get like that. But one, uh, back when the capping on willpower worked differently, Springers used to actually build up willpower Tartarus. Oh, um, hey, Jory. Uh... I'm gonna try and keep a little bit of distance between me and Hub. Oh, that was a crystal spear shooting over my head there. Hey, there we go. He exploded into a cloud of blood. That's what I want to see. Yeah, because I don't think he could one shot me with a crystal spear, but he could get pretty close. Also, a fairy dragon of his strength versus corrosion. Hmm. I see. If that was Dex, that would be amazing. Oh, no, this dude's defeating me. Um, that makes sense to randomly blink. I'm going to give it a try. No. Did not. I put on the finesse. Um, I don't want to do my last healing potion. Come on. Um, I can't fear this guy up. I might have to do my last healing potion. I might be able to net it. Which damage does it do? Oh, 46 plus 20 electric fusion. I think I gotta do my last healing potion. Okay, but I still gotta net it. Um, 50% to hit. Okay, got it. Yeah, good. Could do like half my damage, uh, half my health and damage or something if it got a good hit. Uh, da, da, da. I gotta dig, I think I gotta dig this way. I gotta finesse up, okay. I want this dude. That's a problem. I gotta start teleport, I think. Because there's no way I kill the enchantress with all the guys around. I mean, without her guys. Oh, guys are coming back. Um, I just thought another teleport. Uh, hey, there we go. The Chandra's is dead. Pull. I was trying to pull this guy around the corner because it was a uh, guy with damnation, but only if uh, you're not next to it because it won't want to hit itself with the damnation. Hey. Okay. Doesn't want to come out of here. Like, I'm, I'm trying to pull it out, but uh, there it goes. Now I can be next to it and not worry about its damnation. Constantly feel like I'm missing resist, but I'm not missing that many. Actually, I kind of am. Missing resist, logic, resist, uh, corrosion, resist negative. Uh, I mean, the resist negative will be fine. Resist corrosion is probably fine, but the resist, um, electric's not ideal. Alright. Gonna have to decide to where to get my third rune from, aren't I? I don't feel like you can do a side piss very well without resist corrosion, so I'm gonna do false five again. Oh yeah, well. Hopefully his hand cannon isn't too loud or something. Oh, got an escape hatch. That's not too bad. Can I buff up before I go down? I might just go invisible and then go down. Oh, yeah. Uh, I might finesse up as well. Pretty he says this uh, visibility is beginning to wear off. There's lots of reflective walls here for these guys to so get like double hits and stuff. Alright, what's the... Uh, the edge of the map is this way, Peter. I'm kind of running around the edge of the map here. Uh, what how bad this terrain is that limits my range of sight? It might not actually be too bad. 
Because it also limits how many enemies can get up to me at once. Um... <laughs> Also, a resist electric wizardry ring. I mean, if I want to resist electric ring, I don't really need the magic points one. It's kind of awkward swap. So that would be a resist electric ring for if I needed one, which is probably not a too bad thing to have as a swap. I think the plan is just to uh, go around the outside of the map here and try and kill everything around the outside. Oh, that guy's got air strike. I might just pull it a little bit closer so we're retarded for it to get me with a proper air strike. Okay, fighting range is where I want to, dodging is where I want to, shields needs to go up. Um, I might actually do invocations to, uh, I don't know, 24 or something. Uh, because I think I'm going to go with the shining one soon and go through extended like that. So I probably do want some of that. Um, and I'm going to get shields, I think, in extended. What's this guy using? It's wearing a ring of fire and magic points plus seven, I see. Uh, okay, that airstrike is so good, but I think if I keep on running back here, I should be able to regen my health, no problems. Oh, don't bump into that guy, though. Yeah, there we go. No problems getting that health back because I got three sources of regen. Is that also two now? I didn't remember all my amulets. Oh, my amulets are two sources. And. Right, it's now the two sources, but it's still pretty good. Like checking that I haven't left any guys out of here. Oh, I got another Dex. Excellent. Uh, probably too close to the center of the map. Let me just back up just a little bit. Uh, I'm actually back out in the open so I can actually see these guys a bit of range and shoot them down that way instead of being like right next to them or something. Yeah, teleport traps are not bad. Teleport traps are actually, they feel like they're more helpful than a hindrance. Like some of the other traps you've got to watch out. Like the spousal ones you definitely got to watch out for, but uh, I don't know. The spousal ones just don't feel too bad. Oh, I do want a healing potion. I want to drop, um, what can, what can I drop now? I can probably drop, uh, how many fire resist rings? I got like three fire resist rings. You can probably drop one of those. Oh, it's getting, uh, late, you should go. All right, uh, I wish you good luck. Well, have a good rest of your day there, uh, my Herbert. I definitely appreciate you stopping by, and yeah, see you later. Well, there's, uh, something here. Immolation. I don't think this character's really immolated a lot, because I haven't had fire resist for, like, most of this game. Well, not, like, proper souls. I guess I have won some of the game. Um... <laughs> Ooh, more blinking. I've got so many blinking, which is great for going to extend it. Yeah, got like tons of blinking. I've got, uh, how about mutation 12? I've got tons of mutation. I've got, I'm looking pretty good with my consumables, I think, this time around. Oh, I might pull these back into here. Definitely got to go for the guy of damnation first. All right, I think this is fine. I wonder what that uh, portable armory or whatever it's called can give the ogres like better giant spike clubs or something. Because that would be kind of funny. Because I know it gives like a lot of guys demon trides and stuff and that sort of thing. Or oh, Mask of the Dragon might be alright. It's like three slag. I think I've got the invisible. Maybe it's not even needed. I don't know actually. Oh, pull some of these guys back. Um. I definitely take a look at it, but I don't think it might actually... No, I don't need the willpower on it, which is one of the things that a lot of characters wear it for. Um, let's go... Oh. <laughs> Gotta be like, get up to it to uh, take a look. Uh, with all these guys giving a lot trying to crow me up and stuff. 
So I'll probably lose a couple of armor class. I don't need to see invisible, right? Pretty sure Springs can naturally see invisible. Yeah, I got supernaturally acute eyesight. That's just three slag for minus two armor class. That's a pretty bad deal, actually. Feels wrong not wearing the mask of the dragons, the character that can't wear a helmet, but hey, it just doesn't make sense for this character. How fast is this dude? Normal speed, okay. For some reason, I thought those armories were like a little bit fast, but I guess, um, guess not. It does make it easier just to escape when uh, things are not going so well, though. We can just run away. What, was that guy using a sling or something? Yeah, was using a sling for his That's kind of funny. I mean, most characters can't really use a sling this late into the game. I mean, apart from, uh... There's lots of things in the station here. Apart from, like, uh, Coglin, they can kind of get away with using a sling. Uh, more even two slings sometimes, but hopefully they find a hand crossbow. Or, I mean, dual hand crossbows. Yeah, I mean, this character would have done fine as a Coglin. I should get rid of the ghost first, because it's making the other guy repel missiles. Uh, I think with Spring, the double swords aren't that amazing because they're two handed. So you kind of just want like a Unimon or something, which I already have a Unimon if I was going swords. And sword Springs are definitely doable. They're probably not as good as the Archer ones, though, because I think your aptitude's slightly worse at getting up and uh, just like being able to run back and shoot things is such a big advantage to the um, ranged ones. So yeah, they're, they're not quite as good. But the sword Springs are like definitely usable. That's no, just a very good fire. All right. <laughs> Even more cold dragon armor to add to my collection. Um, right, let's double check there's nothing I want, but I haven't really been seeing stuff like what is those being going through the level. Still that mask of the dragon. It's a flail plus nine, whatever it is. Ring off, that's a resist electric one that I dropped because it does contamination, so it's not that good. Yeah, okay, I'm done here. So I've got three runes, right? I could go straight to Zot. Um, yeah, I think I do go straight to Zot and clear that one out, and then I go switch to the shining one or something. I think I leave the side bits that pretty late on with this character, honestly. Right, I still don't have many healing potions, but I think this is my second one. No, fourth one. But I get a whole bunch of those. I guess uh, boss five is kind of the only place I had that I could have possibly got a whole bunch of those. Uh, this man also this dude goes berserk. The, uh, this guy can't go berserk. Um, It's a pretty sure a death cup can't go berserk because it's undead, right? I'm pretty sure an undead can't go berserk. I know the player ones definitely can't. I'm pretty sure I've never seen a death cup go berserk. Uh, and I've seen plenty of things in Zod go berserk, so if they could go berserk. Oh, this is looking suspicious. It might be an over fire. That's a clown. Okay. Oh, I might just finesse off because I'm getting blasted by electricity here. Okay. I think I can probably run away now so I can go... Can I just run to the exit? I guess so. Where else am I going to run, right? But in there, lava looks really suspicious, like somewhere I would see an overfire. Um... Okay, I'll just go back to the Edwards again, I think. Hopefully some of these guys are following me. Wait, none of these guys even following me. Just trying to get them in a good spot where I can, like, go up and stuff. Um, Unfortunately, this is a spot where it can be doubles at by electricity, I'm pretty sure. Ah, again, it was my inventory. Okay, we got, I can't wear the boots, but the resist electric boots. Oh, yeah, there's the over fire. Um... I might just put on the fire resist ring. Let's look at the speed of one of these. Oh, it's 150% speed. That's 160% speed. Huh. That was fast as I thought. 
I mean, for most characters, these guys are well, truly fast enough. Uh, what is uh, happening? Minus two decks. I gotta try to reset these. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but minus two decks is low of hindrance. Oh, yeah, sharp toenails. That's, uh... I think that does nothing for me, because I don't do melee attacks, right? Oh, it doesn't even say anything berserk. I think you might have to run away, like, if somebody goes to send berserk. I mean, there's another boss of Wrath here just to go send some more stuff berserk. Like the gold dragon, maybe? Maybe not, alright. Ah. Uh. I don't know if I've ever seen one of those shifters go berserk. Like, surely a purple draconian shifter could go berserk. I don't know, maybe the moths purposely avoid taking the berserk? I doubt it, though. I think I'm just, uh... Oh, I almost feel like unlucky that I haven't had those guys go berserk because I think they lose their ability to cast spells when they go berserk. Right, well, uh, I guess I go downstairs. Uh... Oh, hey, Pudget. I don't need his armor, though. I should probably buff up because otherwise I'll never do enough damage. I don't have a mirror because I'm with Okawara, unfortunately. Um, that was not doing enough damage. Okay. No, okay, that doesn't really work, does it? Uh, oh, I got a reasonably wounded for a little while, but no, it's not. Oh, hey, he died. Okay, well, that's not too bad. I can go back to the staircase and deal with Grum. Grun, whatever he is. The top of one. Surely this guy can't help me. 0%? Yeah, that's what I like to see. Because I know it's a spring and I got tons of willpower. I still got a cloak of willpower because I don't think I've seen any better ones. Scarf shadows, nah. I would probably still take a scarf of resistance if I found it, maybe. Yeah, probably. Uh... Hey, level 26. Okay, my level's doing well. I'll soon be level 27, I reckon. How are my skills going? I mean, definitely had to go set it with these skills. Because my shields is nowhere near level 27, which just makes sense. I've um, been purposely getting the stuff for extended, like the um, invocation, so I could go with the shining one and be able to do all that sort of stuff. Also, body editor is going to be best viewers. No thanks, I've got plenty of good viewers here, bot. Let's, um, let's ban this bot, I think. Goodbye, bot. Is my viewers are actually real? <laughs> I doubt the bots claim that those are the best viewers. <laughs> now let's get around this corner. Uh, these guys both have electricity. I might just put on a resist electric real quick here. Is that a resist fire? I'm not sure why I'm still wearing that one. It probably would have made sense to... Do I actually just keep the resist electric on? I'm down a bit of an evasion if I do that, but it might actually still be worth it. I'm down a little bit of damage as well, of course, because, I mean, Dex does everything. Uh... It can't sound that slow. Whoa. Um, I think a little bit of fog might be nice, so these guys can't breathe all over me. Yeah, because I'd die pretty fast if I got, uh, like, acid breathe on me. Also, now with fire resist regen, um... Is it worth losing a regen to get fire resist? More fire resist? Probably not in general, uh... But against Orbs of Fire, sure, that would make sense. Or Gehenna or something, sure, that would make sense. I should probably grab that at some stage, pick it up. Oh. Are they my the best viewers, but you're the bestest viewers? I think so, over Tomic. Yup. Oh, man, I just gotta buff up, because this... This guy's gonna be nasty if I let him buff against everything berserk, although... Did remark me bad at not be well, berserking those creatures. Didn't even get the gold dragon there. Oh, 
I'm sure these gold dragons, or, or not gold dragons, dragons in general. It's like they would splat. Actually, those are draconian corpses, I think, technically. Yeah, it's like a red draconian corpse, a yellow draconian corpse. You don't often see the draconian corpses because they often have like weapons and stuff on them. So you just see the weapons and stuff on the ground. All right. Well, let me just head downstairs. Why is the cloud not highlighted red anymore? We're just that tough that it doesn't think clouds are a danger anymore. I'm pretty sure a cloud's still a danger with their pies, although they don't have the polymorph one anymore, right? They have the fragile one instead. I don't even remember what it's called, but they definitely do. And the one that turns you fragile, which is way better than the polymorph one, because uh, the polymorph one, I mean, actually for this character, it's probably worse. Um... Where do I start on the shields is the real question here. Because I still got things like fighting and stuff that I can go up. But I might just do the shields, I think. Hopefully the other skills are at acceptably high levels. Turning into anacondas, okay. Oh, what those ones turning into? They're turning into queen bees. <laughs> That's funny. You have your entire army of queens. Oh, they're maybe not so funny after all. Or is it the anaconda that's not being funny here? How oh, really constricting me? I think I do need to buff up a bit, but I was just trying to get to like a better position. And I did get to a better position. It did help, but... A lot more of these Brodian progenitors. Uh... And of course they turn to rad roaches. They're definitely scary with their ability to irradiate the, the creatures they bring in. Like the rad roaches, they can also irradiate and just get you with endless irradiates. Is that an artifact ring? I wonder if there's any of these earlier vaults I can do. Because obviously I can't do this one in vaults, but there might... Oh, uh, not vaults, not. Like, there's probably earlier ones that I can do. I should, uh, once I... Hmm. No, I should probably check those out like right after I finish this level. This level. Oh, hey, Shifter. I didn't get a chance to do damnation. I was hoping it wouldn't, like, I was hoping it would just step forwards or something, but it did not. Uh... Yeah, I feel like a lot of those mage recordings seem to be maybe immune to the uh, Berserk or something. Because it definitely doesn't seem to be a fan them. All right, let's, uh... Let's check for, like, transporters and stuff. Um, this one is not. That's definitely not worth doing this box for some reason. There's this thing. I mean, I can do this. This is a lad uh, ghost, right? I can't even see it, but um, it's not going to be bad. I did take it before. It's a uh, Bong Chien Dong's ghost, the Murpho Gladiator. Yeah, they only do, like, 40 damage or something. And they can't really hit, so... Sure. Um, what else is there? There's a swamp transporter... Oh, that one. Yeah, I think so. Oh, don't tell me there's a plot to the way. Uh... Oh, I can shoot straight through at that one? Okay, that helps. Um... Pass the foul pestle. So I'm going to shoot across like that. There we go. But the foul pestle has died down. Oh, so it got me slow, but I should be able to get in here just fine. Get yeah, my blinking. There's a oh, just flight intelligence. That's not too useful. I don't care about the cold resist mining either. Well, it's fine. I got a blinky out of that one at least. Um, what's next? Snake transporter. Oh, this one with like my bars of floods and stuff. There's a lot of things in here. I guess I finesse up before I go in. Uh, still wig laughing here. Um, oh, I think I might sell a teleport. I think this is fine, but I'm just gonna. 
I didn't quite kill Wiglaf first, did I? I just gotta like try to uh, kill some of the things every time we go in. Okay. Right. Wiglaf's dead. Now let's try to get rid of the statue next. If I get rid of the statue, I'll probably be fine. Um, I could also just get back from these guys maybe a little bit. All right. Uh, I didn't even replace the uh, teleport scrolls I spent during this area. So we've got the lightning rod and we've got the vial of blood. Oh, my pack is full. Sure. Uh, what have I got? I probably, I probably don't need the positive energy. That thanks one with the minus strength is still not going to work for me because I still only got six strength. And I don't see that changing anytime soon. I don't think there's anything in here worthwhile there. Oh, there's a hat. Oh, it's, it's, mm, it's slow though. It's a plus four hat, but uh, nah, it's not worth it for a couple of armor class to get slow. Uh, I did this dungeon one, right? No, I didn't. That one was kind of bad because he's got all the. I guess I can do this one. You don't know how to get there. Just go. I guess the transporter was technically in the way. What does this go through? It's a uh, STTR. Four elevens go, so they just do like zero gray. It's not level four. <laughs> okay, they got a good old dagger on them. I don't think they've even guarding anything, really. Um, what's the next transporter? So there's Zot three, Snake two. I oh, what's that's a book? I looked at that one, I did that one. There's a swap one, right? I could probably do this dungeon level six transporter. There's a shard over there. All right. Oh, I did get sick. Okay. It'd be kind of funny if this was the place that banished me, but no. Uh, right, well, that's all that stuff done. So let's just go to Zot 4, I guess. There's nowhere else to really go. I mean, the tower extended, but... That's hopefully going to be able to wait. Uh, I'm just do it upstairs, I think. There we go. Because these, uh, these purple draconians can actually be dangerous. Like, that would just blast me with a blast of Quicksilver or whatever, whilst it did quite a bit of damage. Okay. A lot of fire there as well. Um, oh, I think it woke up too. All right. I prefer not to fight the orb of fire, but I guess um I guess these guys have woken up now, so I probably will end up fighting them. I've all got like damnation as well, which is not what I want to be seeing. Oh I got three strengths. Um I see. Minus potions, hmm. I need another fire just instead of my resist electric. I'm pretty sure that's a sensible thing to do here. Um, it also brings me back up to six strands, which is less sketchy. It's still somewhat sketchy. I think I drink a potion of resistance. Am my finesse going right? Yeah, I do. Okwara is greatly honored, sure, but it probably didn't make up for the pioneers I spent on my finesse anyway. Uh, I guess I can still keep this fire resistant. I don't know. I could uh, swap back to my resist electric now, though. And get back to my four strength, which is slightly up from where it was. No, oh, that's gonna not set off the trap. Okay. It became very close to setting off that trap, though. Uh... Isn't Mitra's Hydra still a threat for this character? Maybe. I'm also not taking this guy up very well, so I'm gonna finesse up. Uh... 
Because I guess it's not going to just be a one mind side roll that it won't as many as I thought there would be. Uh, I can probably unexclude this area now. It's pretty much the only area less of the level. It's a good old flaming web. It's not even a demon web. Like, you'd think at least if it was going to throw an old fire, you'd at least give you a demon web for it, right? Oh, I mean, I might as well just import the stuff, right? All right. Oh, 12 fear? Huh. I could probably do a treasure trove, but I'll do uh do the sub of level five of thought here. I won't do that area with the traps, so so I'll leave this. Oh, we've got dispersal on each side. I mean, this was a teleport dispersal. Yeah, no, that's definitely gonna have to be left till later on. That's uh, one of the worst layouts, I think. How fast is this guy? 250% speed? I don't think anyone can outrun those. Maybe a tasted spring and I'm not sure. Probably not even a tasted spring and can outrun one of those. Wait, let me think. Oh, maybe. What's, uh... Hold on. It would be... 1.66 times 1.5, right? Is... 2.49? Oh, huh. I think it's actually 2.45. So I hasted because I rather was a slightly round, I think. Um, or maybe not. A hasted spring is probably basically the same speed. Okay, this is all right. Although, unfortunately, this guy can, like, directly land stomps on me, which is why it does quite a bit of damage. I might actually just run away. I think this is fine to run away, especially with the guy in front being slowed. Makes it a bit easier to escape. It's not usual for, like, a basic draconian just to have a tower shield, but I was, like, double-checking, but no, it's definitely just a basic green draconian. And it felt about as weak as you'd expect for a basic green draconian despite its shield. I mean, the Green Draconians, uh, the basic ones actually do matter because they kind of force you to have poison resistance, otherwise things go badly. All right, well, let's get, uh, let's get the Shining one. That's not going to work. Um, wait, go to under... Oh, not that. Wait, whoops. Ah, I think I just zoomed out my browser or something. Hold on. Uh, whoops. Okay. I was trying to go to... What is it then? There we go, that one. And then I just type in a 1 and it should go to the Shining one, right? Excellent. I'm going to lose all my piety, but that's probably fine. I don't think I want to drop or swap around or anything like that. I could probably drop the resist electric or... Yeah, I've got to keep on the rope resistance. This is my only real source of resistance right now. My resistance are not doing so well in this game, unfortunately. Polymorph's probably silly. Brad weapons. Zelly, because I'm just going to make it um, Holy Wrath anyway. Might silly. All right. Okay, Shining One, it's time to, time to join you and quickly go to the crypt and try and get a bit of piety before um, Okawaru gets too mad at me. Because then I, I want to unlock some god abilities before I have to deal with uh, Wrath. Yeah, like this little lore is kind of nice. Whoa. It's a curse girl. Right, I see. Uh, I might have to be doing a teleport or something. We'll see. I can't kind of shift over to the spot at least. Oh, this might be fine. I have to fire for this. Come on. Fifty-five pounds is fine. All right. <laughs> That's just a natural guy that got attracted by the mic, just to uh, go with these other ones. All right. Uh, oh, okay. Curse Scale's doing quite a bit to me. Um, I don't like how it's guarding my entrance here. Right, well, I can bring it up and I can lose my evasion by becoming a tree, but at least I keep some of my shield. <laughs> uh, 
Ethereal uh, gets a versus negative. Oh, I have one already, it looks like, from the Shining one, and that will go up. Um, a more will start to max level as well, so you can probably get a little bit more decks soon as well. Should I get decks or should I get strength? Maybe I should get strength, actually, just so I'm less likely to get drained zero. It's a shame, because uh, decks does do a lot for me, but yeah, I really do think I should probably just grab the strength. Oh, zombie. Can't follow up the staircase. Oh, this guy can, so I might as well bring that one upstairs. Literally any second now, though, that I can level up, because I have 99% of the way up. There we go. Yeah, I'll do strength. Yeah. Eight strands, it's less likely to be drained to zero, but you really do need the things a bit higher than six to go and extend it. Okay. It's got a convenient ish choke point here. This is not working. I think I gotta teleport out. Yeah, I don't have the Cleansing Flame yet, which can really help a lot with the Okamaru Wrath. Um... Right, but at least those guys that I, uh, you know, the Wrath guys are just going to be kind of randomly scattered around the level. Makes them so much easier than when they're randomly scattered around me. All right, next level of the crypt. I got two perps of piety. Hopefully, I can get uh, six perps of the piety by end of crypt. That would be nice. You usually can, I think, because then you can brand up your weapon with holy wrath, and that's nice. Um, this is not so nice. I might just cleanse these guys a little bit. Oh, again. I haven't fully healed up, but okay. This is where you don't gain the piety, though. <laughs> You're just too busy. Um... Oh, no, that's not working. I just heal up a bit. There's too many guys hitting me at once with their fire, unfortunately. I'm uh, beginning to get the, like, uh, Teltoid killing these undead guys on this. Well, there's enough undead guys here because it's the corrupt. That's fairly candy. Uh, what else can I pull up? These guys aren't going to follow up. They're all zombie dudes. You can kind of get a pretty good idea of what your party is just by looking at, like, the size of the shiny or you have. Oh, Sojo Bow. Um... Put on Divine Shield, but what else, uh, what else buffs do I have? I could do a... I should go grab my Phantom Mirror as well, should I? At some stage, I might just do a light, see if I can blind her or something. She's got the whole repel missile is going, which means... Oh, it's 20% ahead with the net? Even in my Shining Light, it's 20% chance ahead, okay. Can I get it now that she's blinded? No. I just gotta shoot her, right? Um... I can't have another blinding light. Oh, it's a new blinder. Ooh, ow. I'm not winning this fight. I mean, I can do a bit of healing. Didn't heal that much. Maybe I should have curare to her. She's probably not even resistant to that, but oh, what is my chance of even heading? The, probably the reason I did it is like it's such a bad chance, right? 19% again. Hmm. I think I've actually got to start a teleport. Ow. Really, Mike? It's probably fine. I could probably just... Nope. Nope, I cannot just get up that staircase. I'm so close to getting up that staircase. Let me try a fear on these guys. What are they doing? Um... Guess I'll try another teleport. Uh, yeah, some of these are still definitely following me. Uh, 
All right, but I'm still buying, so something's definitely going to come along as I wait around this corner. But at least I'm regening some pals on the soju bow. I don't know if throwing an ice in here would do much. Um, should probably teleport out again, but hey, I might be able to do some damage to soju bow or not. I got these guys in corridor. It's exactly what I want. Uh, by the time Soldier Bro gets back to me, at least I should hopefully be healthy. There she is again. Okay, so I'll put on my Divine Shield. But what else can I actually do to her? Can I get her with Violet Floods? It might help a little bit, but she's still got her melee attacks, right? I mean, I guess I'll get her with a Violet Floods. There we go. Finally got her. I mean, at least that time around I started the fight with her already. I'm like... Huh? I don't know, half health or something after my previous fight with her. Oh, don't do the inventory again. I'm already on three pips of piety because I think I keep on doing calanthic flames. Okay, what have we got here? We got that. No, we got mule. I don't really need it. It does fire resist, um, but it blasts you back, which is a side downside. Is it buckler fire resist? Minus five strength? <laughs> Yeah, those are pretty questionable. So my only poison resistance on my current buckler, so I probably need that one. Oh, need one more level here on the crypt. All right then. To try and max out that piety, uh, I got it to four pips now at least. More Okawaru Wrath. That's fine. I'll probably have Okawaru Wrath for a lot of uh, pandemonium. That's pretty normal if you're a character that's this whole uh, abandoned Okawaru before extended thing. Can get this guy with a cleansing flame, but I don't need to just yet. Oh, not again. I mean, I guess every time uh, Okumari brings this stuff, it's actually kind of a good thing. It means I'm working my way through the wrath, getting closer to the end of it. So it is something, at least. All right. Oh, God, these things are worth piety. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm only on four pips of piety right now. Maybe I'll get to five. I mean, your aura definitely increased in size. Uh, that's a rig of poison resist, willpower, resist corrosion. I don't need the... Hold on. I can drop my basic resist corrosion, I guess. But that is maybe almost an upgrade. Except probably not really. Any noticeably different from what I'd already get. Uh, I don't need the divine shield. Alright, there we go. And there's also what is there on the ground? Dragon blood talisman and a storm dragon armor. Storm dragon armor sounds way too heavy. Also, I'd lose my only source of fire recall resistance if I took off my robe of resistance that I've got on right now. Oh man, so close to popping on five pips of piety, but I think the last pip of piety is reasonably slow, so it's not really so close to buffing. If you think about it. Uh, well, not buffing branding. I mean, that's probably what I'm trying to say. Branding the weapon. Um, Amadorf. Oh, let's resist the light. Resist fire. I'm actually kind of tempted. I lose a lot of regen, but... Magic points are something as well, but not that important. I can swap out a rig. It's actually... Oh, I'm going to do it. I know the other one's pretty good. But it does mean I can swap on like a Dex rig instead of a Resist Electric rig. Oh, that Resist Negative was actually given from the rig. Right, I see. I mean, the only thing I'm missing now is Resist Corrosion. That's all right. I'm missing my regen though, right? I need like pop a Tales per turn or something. I should put on a shield. Because this guy's got Crystal Spear. Uh, how do I even get to that guy? I mean, I guess I gotta go around the long way, probably get through here. 
Ага. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to make some of my piety and pandemonium as a part of the looks of things because I'm almost done with here. There's very little actually left. I'm still one, uh, one area down of my glowing aura. All right, well, I'm done, right? So pandemonium for a little while. Hopefully that gives me the piety I need. Uh... Roman decks never made it useful, unfortunately. Do I have three deck rings? I do have three deck rings. I don't need the magic regen one. I got plenty of like different swaps for various different resists as well. Do I need the flame? Do I need the polymorph? So I got that random acquirement, which I probably got to read at some stage. Uh, we've got tons of enchant armor. Oh, do I need the visibility? That's right. I need to go pick up all the things I can use now. Oh, bump the mic. Uh, Um, yeah, I'll actually leave the enchant armor here. Right, so there's, uh, it's like a phantom mirror or something that I can probably go grab. Nothing else. I mean, I guess I could go grab a box of beasts or something, right? Do I even need that? I mean, I guess I could go grab it. Um... It's one scroll or something, two scrolls or something. All right. Uh, I think there's only two. No, there's another one for sale on the stake, but I might go grab that one as well. But those are still useful. Like, they scale with where you are, so... Yeah, always useful. All right, three of those. Now I can go to Pandemonium, I do believe. I've only got one entrance to Pandemonium, which is less than normal. All right, uh, yeah, let's go in. I think I've got inventory space. I didn't actually really check how much I got. Four inventory space should be fine. Those haste points are going to be a lot more useful now that I don't have finesse. Um... <laughs> okay. Who summoned most of these things? It looks like it was mainly this one, but the other one as well summoned some stuff. Oh, I don't cleanse it. Just because I've got to get rid of the summoner and I can't really shoot it from where I was, so yeah, it makes sense to cleanse. Uh, there is a stick around, I guess. I'm missing cold resist, which is going to be hard once I get to the level that kind of needs that, right? Um, might do a bit of fog, make it harder for the that guy to see me. At least not until it gets within range of me actually doing something. Can I finally brand up my weapon? Let's do it. Let's make this into a holy wrath hand cannon. There we go. That's what I want to see. And now I should be doing a bit more damage to these guys. What did it just get me? It was frail? Oh, come on. I don't think I can have frail. 148 points, that's terrible. Let's just mo uh, not mutate, uh, mutate myself. Minus scroll? No. Oh, resist the further mutator. That's ideal. <laughs> All right, well, next level. I think, I don't think there was anything on that one. It certainly didn't tell me about anything when I tried leaving, so there probably wasn't anything. Uh, there's a swarm of demons. Fortunately, no regen, but at least I got the shining one healing me up every time I kill something. Yeah, because I took off my massive amounts of regen to get some resist. Uh, what is it like? Do I do a pop ball lightning? Spell dead, counter ball lightning, bombard. All right, well, I'll put on my shield. Oh, shield's gone up to 20. Yeah, I mean, it helps a little, but... I don't know, the, the shield skill's not that good. Oh, there's a fire rune on this level. Um, I do have a way of getting another fire resist, or I could just drink a potion of resistance, but I might just use the ring, I think. It's already means losing a little bit of dex. Um, my dex feels... It's not lower, is it? I've only got 62 evasion? Is that right? I don't know. Oh. Uh, 
What's that plan for taking out Sarah Bob? Do I just like keep a distance away from him and just, oh, really? Again? I guess at least I'm in a card all this time round if I'm going to be fighting a bunch of dudes for a Mokumaru wrath. Okay, well, this is the entrance where uh, Sarah Bob lives. Don't think he's going to be trapped by love with this one, unfortunately, because that would have been nice. Uh okay, well divide shield. I might Hey stop. Oh maybe it will be trapped by lava actually. Uh can I get him a, like, I don't think I can get him a cure army die. Can I? I know he's poisoned. This makes sense. The problem is with summons, um, he can have some pretty nasty ones. Oh, like that dude. That dude even summoned? No. Ow. Might need a healing potion soon. Okay, no, that was fine. Oh, I don't have any regen. Terrorbomb's gonna get so much health back. Oh, well. I wish I could do about that. I could probably still take him out. I've lost my haste, actually, haven't I? Um, Might do another haste. So I'll just heal up. I'll divide shield. Do... Oh, okay. Just what I'm bound to get ready. At least I haven't put my haste back on just yet. If I get some wrath going here. Oh. Ow. I still can't even see the dudes behind me, so it's still shooting its damnation. Ow, that's too wounded. I gotta do a healing potion. Oh, did his damnation uh, torment again? Oh, no, it did it again. That's really bad. Um. Oh, this is really bad. It's gonna hope this hurts. It does enough damage. It should. Didn't do enough damage. Okay, that's better. But that's going to give Cerebos, like, such a chance to heal up again. <sighs> that's undone, like, all my progress here. Yeah, well, I guess I can't expect a Wrath not to happen at bad time. Oh, speaking of Wrath, there's more cleansing that needs to be done here, because I can't deal with those guys any other way when there's that many of them. Um, that's just questionable because I've, oh, no, it's take off faith. It's probably still the right thing to do. Yeah, put on that, um, Abler regen. Then I need to get the fire resist from this ring. Okay, still two fire resist. I guess that's fine. Um, oh, where are you, Sarabov? Please tell me you haven't found another way around. There he is. Uh, okay. He started with a sub, which I guess is okay. I'm just hoping he hasn't... I mean, he's probably healed back up quite a bit. I saw he was still a little wounded, at least. Start with a haste that makes him quite dangerous. Oh, I can't even um Nope, that's not working. I've got someone to heal up. I can't even attack those summons though, because uh well they can't go over the lava either. It's not just Sarah Bob that can't go over this lava. Alright, he's back to being what is he? Moderately wounded or something. He's getting there. Uh... What are these guys? What are these uh, brimstone feeds? It really depends on those brimstone feeds. How do well I do it hitting them to how well that goes. Um... 
Whoa, okay. Did he get me with two fire subs in a row? Sure feels like it. Feeling rather wounded right now. Um, I think I cleanse this dude. Yeah, because my attack delay is kind of 1.0. I might be slight. Oh, sometimes 1.1. I feel like he might have got me with like two fire storms in a row or something because he did a lot of damage there, which is pretty scary. Actually, you know what? I might do another haste. Hopefully, I can take him out this time around because he's not hastier than I am, which is a good sign. Maybe not. Uh, and it also means my attack delay was worse than 1.0. There we go. Finally took him out. And I think I'll go back to my old, like, uh, Ramblet of re Faith, Resist, Electric, Resist, Fire. Because that re really is my only source of some of those resists or easy source. Keep quoting myself? Probably. Yeah, I think so. Well, there's my first pandemonium room. Brings me out to four rooms because I haven't done the um, side bits yet. It was also mainly, I think, a question of resist, although I think Springs often have a more difficult time with the slide bits. Um, no, it just feels like it. For the Springs I've done previously as well. So I think I'll just leave it to a little bit later on. Like, I'll probably do it immediately after pandemonium. It's probably not a bad idea. Why am I getting so many rings of evasion? It's like basic ones as well. They're not even good. Ooh, I'm probably not going to go with Death Tallies, but, but I don't want to pick it up. <laughs> Another unarmed manual. That's my second unarmed manual on this character. Just in case I ever decide I'm going to be an unarmed character, but I don't think I will. Not with my uh, strength that I've got on this character or lack thereof. I'm still building back up the piety, but that's fine. It shouldn't take very long to come back. I mean, all the things I'm killing here are demons, so it really won't. Um, what's that do? Less energetic? That's acceptable. Uh... Yeah, I mean, my piety's back already, actually. Well, it's up to the last pip, so that's great. Oh, more revelation? I've got a ton of those now. <laughs> You know, like, uh, what, 10 revelations or something? Or oh, resistance? I need those for the icy hell. In fact, Sprangers are really bad at the icy hell, so I'm just going to have to hope that I can steal the rune for that one. I think. <laughs> Not icy hell, what am I saying? The icy pandemonium, the one with lob, low bot in it. Oh, well, next level, I guess. And it's funny how many of the like AMD levels it's thrown to you, but as long as it gives you a portal on immediately, there's no time really lost. Okay. Well, I almost immediately got off this level, but then I got teleport trapped. Wait, that's a Dava that should join me. I was the shining one. Come on, Dava. It's gonna be tough as well. I could summon an angel to fight the angel. Um I could just try shooting it. Uh, could take the way out here. Oh, there's a pandemonium lord. They do quick to evolve, sleep, and haste. At least the uh, sleep's not going to affect me. Um, I think I just leave because there's like a guy that mob mutates and everything. I mean, my mutations are fine at the moment. So yeah, as long as I can keep them fine, I should be good for that respect. Um, and the resistance of mutation is definitely helping a lot. Okay. Uh, wait, my dex has gone down even further because I'm still wearing the fire in this one, which doesn't make any sense. I should totally just be wearing uh where is it? Mod dex? Wait, where? Did I accidentally drop my dex rig? Oh, because I thought I had it on. I can't go with just the evasion one, that's stupid. Okay. 
Well, I have more Dex Rings somewhere else, but that was a mistake accidentally dropping my Dex Ring. Um, I was trying to drop that Aviation Ring that it still appeared to have on me, so... Yeah. Got the wrong one. Got Haste. Corrosive Bolt. Ooh. I think it just hit me with the Corrosive Bolt, because that did quite a lot of damage and I'm now corroded, so I might just teleport out of here. Whoa. Got a little bit of flay, but still, even without the flay, I was looking a little wounded there. If I see, like, a way leading out of pandemonium, I should probably just take it, because that ring really isn't the right one. What one can I put on instead? Oh, I don't even know. It's not, um... Hmm. Scalorix block on this level. That's fine. Oh, this new conjuration spell is nice for dealing with pan... Jeff, wait, which one? The the one that throws potions? What's it called? The false fusillade or something? Man, I wanna I wanna get that one to try. It sounds kind of sounds kind of neat. I'll just go in and like cleanse it because I I don't know if I've got a better way of dealing with curse skulls than just cleansing them. So this is the pandemonium lord where I want to have an army of angels. I oh, man, I need to play like a conjurer. I feel like I've played most of the good conjurers, though, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, blast them all. Right. I've heard you, like, channel it, and you just keep on throwing potions or something, but I'm not entirely sure how it works. Or maybe it's more like Dragon's Cool, where it just does its thing, and you can do whatever you like. I'm not entirely sure. Because if it's like Dragon's Cool, you can just do whatever you like. That's not too bad. Um... Or just auto cast, no channel, right? So it is like Dragon School. That's really nice. So you can do other things. Yep. Okay. Uh, how fast is this dude? Two hundred percent. Huh? I can be fast too. Let's get out the angels. I think I might lignify because I can't be tormented that way. Um. Oh, my angels are blocking me from attacking. I can do a phantom mirror. Um. One of the angels. There we go. He's gonna die now. I've got a clear shot. There we go. Easy. No problems. Uh. Wouldn't it be nice to have bottom potato, but I've already got the dimensional bullseye now. I feel like often in the situations where I want to use a uh, portal protector, the dimensional bullseye doesn't quite work, unfortunately. I'm so annoying when the angels are in the way. Yeah, I mean, sometimes they do that. Oh, no, the only problem is it warns about your special guys every time. Spectral guys? Oh. That actually does seem kind of annoying. And then it's, like, really easy to, like, ignore other warnings as well once you've already got something that gives you, like, a warning basically every round. Um, yeah, I can't remember what character I had, but I had a character that had, like, something that was giving me a warning every round and then I accidentally put myself into penance because <laughs> I just ignored the warning. Uh-oh, that's the summon. I can get rid of the summoner, right? Who is a pandemonium lord? They do blink close to their melee, I see, but I'm quite corroded right now. Oh. Is that a gem? Um, I think I'm gonna teleport out, but I've gotta come back for that gem. <laughs> well, that's nice, because I don't have the demonic one, obviously. Otherwise, well, I would have seen that one if I already had it. No, which ones do I have? I've got the fiery one, I've got the dark one. I should put my shield again, because I got plenty of piety for putting that sort of thing on. There we go, got it. Uh, but I can probably just go to the next region and see what that one's got. Oh, wow, uh, it's a magic one. Okay, sure. Um, should take out the guys with Crystal Spear first, I think. Uh, whoops. One over there. And it's the guys that, like, nets to uh, make it so that you can't dodge anymore. And then you get crystal spears thrown at you. It's usually not too much of a problem, but there is, like, the potential for a bad setup there, I think. Oh, thankfully you can't blast your own slimes anymore. Right, with Jiva. No, that's true. Yeah, because there, there used to be ways you could, like, get into Jiva penance without warning. Things like Firestorm made to get a slime out of view, I think, was one of the things. And also, um, oh, 
I remember that uh, Chain Lightning was also something that could put you into penance because of his wonky targeter. Oh, whoops. That's obviously wrong. Did I unwield something? Yeah, I did. Whoops. I was meant to be trying to shoot at a specific enemy and I ended up unwielding my weapon. As you do in this game. Uh, I might actually magic map out this little voice thing. Try and figure out exactly where the rune is. Okay, the rune's probably... It's probably just in the center there. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, it's probably just in the center there. There's no little side rooms or anything. Can I get, I can get a cold resist? I can probably drink a cold resist. How many runes have I got left? I've got the glowing rune left, okay. Um, I gotta drink a resist. I'm gonna drink a haste. Okay. That's looking good. And I'm hasted up, so like I'm so much faster than uh, Cerebob here. Not the Cerebob Lob Lobod. So, um, no point in sticking around, but yeah, it wasn't a fairly convenient, uh, mirror for just yoinking the rune. And most of those things were just like, uh, sure, it's case things went wrong, okay, but I can put back on fire resist or whatever. Such a shame that I don't actually bring another dex with me, but that's fine. Oh, gloves, supposed to resist. Okay, sure. Hey, there we go. Glowing level. So I want to magic map this one as well because I don't want too many ball mutates. The big central area. That's what got buffed recently and it's actually kind of tough now. I mean, it was always bad with the ball mutates, but it's actually just kind of tough now. There's a one quarter chance of the rune being right there, but I'm probably going to have to kill the boss to get into that spot. Oh, that's more of these guys than I like to see. Um, fragile as well, so like, uh, well, they could hit me with a... Um, and a radiate well, fragile. Um... Oh no, that's bad. That's really bad. I got a blank actually. That's um that's just no. I wanna like teleport out of here, but this isn't gonna quite work yet. Um Can I hit this dude with a fear? Not really. I think I drink a healing potion. And then I start to teleport. Um, feel odd for a moment. Okay. That's not where I want to be. Let me start another teleport. It's fine for now because these guys haven't summoned in their stuff yet. Hey, Cerebov. Oh, uh, not Cerebov. Lom Lobod. I'm highly contaminated. Oh, that's a shame. I'm probably going to take some mutations here. Oh, not. Really? I'm not ready for fighting Manol like yet, so I'm gonna start another teleport. Um oh, all the subs are in the way. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna wait for the teleport to go off. Ooh, there's a little tentacle area. Um Whoa, I'm getting beaten up again. I mm. Struggling to like carve myself out of the little clad part on this level. Just teleport after teleport after teleport. Try to find somewhere where I can rest up. No, that's what I was saying about this level being buffed, right? It certainly does feel buffed. Yeah, I'll put on my Divine Shield, because apparently that's worn off by now. I mean, it makes sense. I've been doing a lot of waiting around. What just happened to me? Something happened to me. Sometimes I lose my tempo. Okay, that's fine. I don't do melee combat. Why is my magic points going away? I think these canoes are draining them. Um, Specifically, the, the Quark's X might be. Oh, okay. It's 
fine. I'll just shoot these guys a bit. Hopefully they'll get closer. There we go. Get rid of one of the summoners. Fragile minus eight corrosion. Yeah, you definitely were, uh, build up the debuffs in here. Definitely. Something happened. I felt odd for a moment. Again, it's not... I avoided it because of my resist mutation. Oh, minus potions. That one actually kind of matters, but I'm going to have to just uh, live with that one, I think. Uh, let's try and cleanse this guy, but I'm not doing perfectly with my health anymore. I was doing pretty good. Surprised they're not fragile right now, but I did quite kill uh no like there, unfortunately. Oh, I am fragile now. It was only a matter of time with those eyeballs sitting there before I ended up fragile. Uh, I like how I lose fragile. It'd be nice to lose that one. Can I just uh get a little angel? And it's not gonna help that much, unfortunately. I'm out of magic points, I'm still fragile. Okay. He's had balls of draining, which is not too bad, thankfully, with this character. Um, by the time we get back in here, I feel like uh, Manolang's going to be kind of healed up. But at least they got rid of some of the creatures around them. Oh, I might even just be able to steal the rune. That's not a rune. That's a mutation potion. But oh yeah, they're still wounded. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, hey, there we go. That's what I like to see. But no, like finally gone. And now I can probably take these out of relative peace. There's the rune. Let me just get off this level. So I've got a way off. What about up here? I realize I don't want to go to that one. I don't know. Oh, Infinite Horrors of the Abyss. Am I ready for that? I might be, actually. Yeah, I am. Okay, let's just go to the Infinite Horrors of the Abyss. Excellent. I need that one, so I need to make my way down to, like, at least level three before I can start getting runes. What does that guy do to me? Nothing too much. I'll probably reset these mutations after I've done the Abyss, because these seem acceptable for the Abyss, I think. Uh, maybe, oh, I don't think I'll swap now, but I maybe should have put my reach on. Uh, no, no, it's probably not worth taking off the faith. All right. Uh, where are these guys hiding their down staircases? They're certainly hiding them pretty well. Wherever they are hiding. No, nope, not there. <laughs> I should shoot the other guy. The guy that can actually mob you take me is probably the important one to go for. Can okay, we lead you out? I guess I'll take it, but uh, only because I'm trying to find like a... Oh, that guy's doing more than I like. But only because I'm trying to find like that Dex rig. I've almost certainly got like a Dex rig in here. It's one for sale, another one for sale. Surely I've got... Oh, there's an extra one. I knew I'd have an extra one around because I um I know I dropped some. All right, well I can drop the death talisman because I probably will stick with the shiny one. How's my shields going? Twenty three in a bit. Wow, it's uh, slow progress. Oh, that's getting there, I guess. Um. All right, well I should probably find an abyss entrance. Go do that one. Wait, did that say Abyss on level 6? That was the special vault, I think, that had it. Oh, hold on. Before I go in, of course, I should stop on this new Dex rig that I picked up. There we go. This is my um, evasion back. Oh, and a way down. Excellent. Oh, and a way down. Excellent. Any luck again for a way down? I don't, don't actually need a way down. This is deep enough to potentially find a rune. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, I can take away down. Okay, this is deep as I'm going to go, though. Well, on purpose, yeah, I'm not going to take that other way down. Also, I do know where the root is, so I can just head straight towards it. Refresh my shield as well. Uh, unfortunately, a bit noisy killing all those guys, but oh well. That's what I would like to uh, like to see. Can I not uh, report that guy? Why not? Oh, is that wall in the way? Okay, that's fine. So I can uh, do a digging because that's just a fence. Oh, of course these guys are going to push me back. My house is not looking perfect anymore either. Um... Uh, my house is still not looking perfect. Okay, I'm going to bring out an angel. So I can hide. Um... Oh, is there another guy there that can, like, uh, torment you? Right, I see. Come on, Angel, do your thing. Um. Huh. I guess hasted as well. I'm gonna bring out another Angel. Ooh. What can they even do to this guy? I mean, if I sound up, that's like super questionable, but it does stop it doing its spells. Um. How many, how many cancellation have I got? I got two. It's not a lot. I think I silence up. This guy's like case and got crystal spears and stuff. Um, I think I also follow up the cancellation. Yep. And I'm so close to like the rude yet so so much trouble just getting it. Um that within range, hey, hey, there we go. And now I can get out of here with my rune. Okay, so I've got my good nine runes. I haven't done the slide bits yet, but ha uh... Do I just go do those right now? I could do those right now. Let me um I kind of resist corrosion, I guess. I got multiple versus corrosions even just drop one of those so i can put on this one instead of i mean i lose stacks it's probably the right thing to do unless i got another resist corrosion lying around somewhere i mean there's a fairy dragon scales oh cloak um yeah i won't want that on as like a general thing but uh specifically in the slide pits that's probably a sensible thing to do where's my enchant arm i know i've got a pile of it somewhere um there we go, there's 11 of them on the ground there. Alright, so that's the uh, same armor class, I believe. Yeah. What did I lose? I lost a... Uh... Wait, my old cloak was pretty useless. So it's willpower. I can drop that one, right? Because that's just better resist. So I can now go to the slide pits with those resists. <laughs> Almost be able to do it without monsters. But no, here's some monsters for me to fight, I guess. Holy Wrath is not the optimal brand in here, but it's just what I've got. I don't think I've got any other hand crossbows, so I can't exactly change that either. I feel odd for a moment. Alright. I think I've got plenty of mutation potions when it comes to resetting my mutations, which it will come to resetting my mutations at some stage. Um... I found metals and pandemonium and turned them into a pearl dragon and seemed to work. Hey! Yeah, because I was wondering whether you could, like, polymorph metals into a pearl dragon. I thought you could. I thought they were one of the ones you could. I'm not sure if you could polymorph angels into pearl dragons. Ooh. <laughs> Does that count for, like, the, uh... The, like, the challenge run? The, what is it? Cruel cosplay drug challenge? Something like that. I want to do to me. Oh, a little bit of AC. Okay. One AC. I mean, I'm not going to complain about one AC. That's uh, pretty good for a mob mutate.
All right, where's uh, where's the royal jelly hanging out? I can see the jam in there. Can't see the royal jelly though. Uh, making rather a lot of noise. My my shiny armor is obviously reducing. I was recovering slowly from being drained. Oh well. Sure, I'll get rid of that one when I get rid of the other ones. Like, it does matter at the moment. It will matter, though. Hey, there's the Royal Jelly. I'm not actually really ready to find them right now. I was ready before. Oh, there they are again. You know what? I can char. I can hit them out in the open. Um... Oh, no. Why am I in penance? Did I blow up? Oh, I... Oh, ah, of course. I'm sure it's power drain the morgue accounts. All right. Well, uh, I'm not sure if it does or not. I, oh, that was silly of me. I shouldn't have found a mirror there. That was dumb. They put me into penance, which I kind of needed my piety in here. Um, oh, well. Just me doing dumb things, putting myself in penance. I don't know how long it's going to take to recover from that one because uh, I don't know how many creatures I blew up. I mean, I think I blew up the raw jelly. Oh, well. Um. I didn't even actually kill it. I just, like, damaged the mirrored version. I always forget, that, like, mirrored versions count as, like, real creatures according to uh, the shiny one. They're not... Just disposable, like I kind of think of them as. Hey, it's been a little while since I put myself to shining one penance. Um, it's a kind of a bad time for it as well, because the cleansing flame is really good at mopping up the things around the raw jelly, but oh well. Okay. Oh, right, I can't do my god abilities. Oh, of course not. Um... Oh, that's not going to work very well. I'm going to teleport out. Can I just get a... Can I even get, like, a wand of light in here, can I? Oh, well, I might be able to damage the royal jelly before it heals up, maybe. I don't even know where it is now, though. He said, probably not, because I got, I got wounded there. I'm going to have to wait for that to heal up, and it's going to take quite a while. Because I don't think I'm going to need regen. Uh, where did the raw jelly even go? I mean, it was up here. It's probably still up here. Ah, yeah, it's healed up. What's the plan, though? Can I polymorph it? I don't even know if we got the polymorph on me. Probably not. I kind of want to polymorph it. Hold up. Because <laughs> I'm a spring, so I'm like faster. Than it. Let me just go get some polymorphs. Um. It spits out all its creatures with polymorphs, which is actually kind of convenient. Okay, there's a bunch of them here, apparently. I must have dropped them in a pile or something. Uh, and I got some vulnerabilities as well. I've got like nine vulnerabilities. So let's go back to uh, the what slime is the M, I think. Slime is level four, will do. Okay. Yeah, that one looks fine. I found, I think, all my downstairs were fine because they kind of ran away from the royal jelly mod there. I was like. All right, let's pull it back so it's a decent distance from me. I get the vulnerability on it. I've got to have some chance, right? Don't think I really spanked into the ones or anything. It's a chance. I can turn into an iron giant, an iron dragon, or a fence right of witch. Man, imagine turning into a fence right of witch. That would be hilarious. This is a really weak. Um, <laughs> all right, let's give this another try. Fortunately, too many things are coming along here. Um, I gotta go find some of those, I guess. And, oh, whoops. Whoops. Ah, that's not getting me away from it. I might just... 
go upstairs and go down somewhere else, I guess. That's probably the thing to do. So I've got a down staircase there. Leads to a down staircase there. All right. At least creatures don't randomly spawn in. So um, any creatures they get rid of are like permanently got rid of, right? It's not like in Pandemonium where things are just endlessly spawning. It was a royal jelly here. Um, I think it was that staircase. Oh, I don't know where it's gone. Hey, there it is. Okay, I gotta read the vulnerability again because that well truly wore off. Come on, please. Please do a thing. I don't want to be too close to it when it pops slow because it's gonna spit out all the creatures. Man, 11% chance. I wish I could make that a little bit better. I don't know, maybe I have an old guile somewhere that I could grab or something. Because, <laughs> I mean, this I can just keep on trying for as long as I want, really. There's no real downsides. I mean, I'm using the vulnerability, I guess. I presume it's worn off this guy as well. Is it fainted by the... No, it's still weak world. Okay. Ah, uh, 0%, okay, it's not like weak, real, uh, yeah, it was about, last about the same length of me, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do have an Orb Guile somewhere that I can go grab if I need to, right? Man, a little delay, I was like, oh, maybe it's gonna split into creatures, but no, it's uh, just, uh, just resisting with a slight bit of lag. So weak world, but this is last turn, I think. Yeah, it sounds zero percent again. All right, next vulnerability. <laughs> oh man, how many times do I have to try with eleven percent chance? I mean, I guess it's an average of like uh, ten times or something, so it's not exactly going to be quick. Oh, thank goodness! What did it even turn into? Does it say? I mean, it probably, yeah, could probably could tell. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well. Now it's just a matter of kiting these creatures back. Wait, is this guy as fast as me or something? No, so ever so slightly slower. That's the wrong staircase. Oh, well, there's an iron dragon in the, the spaghetti there, so you guess it turned into an iron dragon. Ah, oh, yeah, it should be fine. An iron dragon's no problem. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a spaghetti of, like, all those things that spawned out when it died. All right. Oh, it's technically still alive, just as an iron giant, so I can't get into the loot till I actually kill it properly, which is kind of funny. Oh wait, an iron dragon. An iron dragon would actually be kind of bad, but an iron dragon's not too bad. Where is it? Where are you, royal jelly? I mean, it's another one of the spawns. It's my corrosion and it's not built up good. Uh, where did it go? Did it just head to the center or something? Alright, it's gotta be here somewhere. Okay, I'll just, um, I guess I'll just travel around in a circle, see if I see anything. What? Where's the hiding? Come on, I know it's here. Hey, there it is. Iron Dragon shaped Royal Jelly. That's what I like to see. Is it just the same as a normal Iron Dragon? I think it is. Excellent, now we can go get whatever treasure happens to be in here. <laughs> I think that's my third time getting a polymorph kill on the royal jelly. I haven't done it that much. But it's so much easier with Spriggans where you can just run away. Oh, it's fire as flight, that's not that good. Uh, int strength, that's also not that good. If one of those was tanks, it would be kind of good. Uh, int strength, minus cover this. Oh, come on. Actually, it might make sense to carry it around so it gives a bit of stress, but it doesn't look that great. Uh, force slaying, poison resist again? Nope. As I beat out a basic dex rig. Oh, let's get out of here. Reset my mutations. I gotta get rid of that, um... 
penance at some stage, but I might just try the entrance to hell. I hope that's not a problem. Um, low magical capacity, got one AC. That's probably fine. I can probably live with uh, low magical capacity. All right. I think the sensible thing to do is just dig a little hole. Oh. What? That does not work as well as I'd like. Um, hey, look at that. I'm shiny again. Uh, put on my shield this time around. It's probably a sensible thing. So I'm probably going to get a little bit of corroded here. I'm going to get a lot of things coming along, though. As always, what happens with these hell entrances? Oh, it's a guy with damnation. All right, I'll get my magic points back. Oh, don't you dare push me off the staircase. That's just rude. I mean, it would probably be one of these sin beasts pushing me around or something, I guess. Hey, Garion's dead, which is nice, which means I'll probably be pushed off the staircase a lot less, at least. Uh, doesn't do much else, I think killing him, though, just means I'm not getting pushed around as much. Yeah, but that's so much looked like an area where you can dig a choke point, because there are ones that you can dig a choke point, and it was just a misleading little one. I mean, I, like, here you maybe could? I don't know, even that just leads through to somewhere else as well. Uh, what the hell do I do first? I might be able to do the fiery one. I think fire is this one of my rod resist I can actually get. So maybe cold resist is one I really struggle a lot to get. So probably not that one. Um, I'm probably not the answer to this. I might be able to do like tomb or something. So how is the uh... oh, shields is almost there. I might just get my health back fully and then fight these guys. It's probably easier than chasing them around all over the place. Yeah, the eye golems don't really pose a lot of threat at a distance, so as long as you've got a good spot to run around, they can't really do a lot. I mean, I guess they can kind of block me in or something. Eh, where do I want to go? Fiery hell? Probably. I can get the... Oh, that's a flight fire resist. Um, drop that one, I think. Drop the basic flight one as well. But I'll probably just put on the fire resist willpower one with a little bit of dags. Not that I need the willpower, but I definitely need the fire resist. Okay, let's go in. Sure. Uh... Can be hit by a damnation here, which is not ideal. So I got a hundred hit points, so I might just go out. That's not doing as well as I like, uh, but I might just go back in anyway because I cleared out enough guys that this should be doable now. All right. Hmm. I'm hoping future levels are a bit easier, but I don't really trust that they will be. I'm gonna get loved, but that's probably fine because I could just let's make my way to the wall. I think actually, it might be one for just in case I want to dig that way and get myself um out of line of sight. But I probably should. So many crystal spears. It's a little scary. All right, yeah, I think I should just sit here and just fight everyone as if I'm a melee character, basically <laughs> not making the most use of my range. But hey. Uh, I feel slightly out of practice with these shining one uh, trips through hell, but I'm kind of getting the idea. I've done enough of them that it's not too much out of practice. Um, <laughs> Alright, that's better. Is it getting in cleansing flame range? I 
think the worst thing though, either was actually your damnation because I got very few health or the guys that hit you with torment. Either one can be bad for this character. It's my deck sounds slightly and it's down slightly. Yeah, I noticed it was uh, reduced. Because my uh, evasion was down and I took a look at that. Uh, but Dex is at least likely to get reduced to zero, so it's not too bad. Also, where's my strength up? I'm like a strength mutation or something, do I? Uh, no, it's a rig. It's a rig. That's what it is. Um, the fire is this rig. Uh, this guy shouldn't be able to paralyze me, but I'm just going to dig into here anyway. Oh, a lot of summon dudes. I might just dig properly into here. Well, it's only the one guy, but it could do uh, damnation, so it was worth hiding, probably. Besides, there's not too many places that will need my digging. I've got, what, like, 17 left? That's probably adequate. We'll see whether that's adequate or not, I guess. I right, should be able to head on down. Level 6. Ooh. I gotta do some attraction, I think. Oh, I got chopped on the staircase, but I think I'm fine. Wait, I just wanted the attraction so I could uh, clad these guys. Uh... It's not the most convenient anymore, but I guess it's still okay. Have the interaction going. Uh, let's let this guy get a little bit closer. There's not much else I can really do there. It's all the guys at the though. Right, one more level. Let's uh, go down, see what we've got. That doesn't look too bad. I'm going to bring out a couple of angels. I mean, it's definitely sort of one of the smaller sort of ambush levels, so that's not too bad. They did kill all my summons, though, pretty quick. Um... And now it's just a matter of fighting the rune. I'll definitely want a haste potion while fighting this boss because this. I mean, I guess I can always run away from the boss if I get into trouble, but that. Mm, I still want a haste potion, I think. I've got plenty at least. But what am I on? I'm still on 13 haste. Yeah, I'm not going to run out of those ones. At least not unless I use them extremely wildly. Trying to think of any other sort of buffs I want. The angels are okay on this level, but they're nothing like super special or anything. Now, where's this even leading? I don't even know if this is leading towards the boss. Uh... Pull them out so they arrive through the doorway. There we go. That way I don't have to fight quite as many of them at the same time. Oh, hey, finally, got the shield. I'm a, uh, a defender now. Oh, finally. What else do I want? I probably want the invocations. Max that one out. Then I probably want the dodging. Actually, I might get the dodging at the same time. And then I probably want the fighting. And then maybe a little bit of ranged. Oh, another haste potion? Sure. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of skills to get. I was just trying to get that shield maxed out, but it... Didn't really make, like, that much difference how much shield value I have, right? Like, brought it up to 16. But it'd be totally fine to stop at around 12 or something, and it wouldn't have made much of a difference. Oh, wow, another haste potion. All right. Where's the boss chamber? This has got like a maybe a 50% chance to be the boss chamber straight up ahead. So let's pop it. Oh, those look bad. I'll get the attention of oh, both of them. That's quite what I want. I might bring out an angel. I'm sure actually that's most helpful because I got a little angel, not a little daver or something. I guess that took a little bit of damnation for me. 
Nope, not the boss's side. Okay, well, that means it's fairly clear where the boss is. Uh, but hey, I get another hey. So we've got a ring of fire, poisonous plus three decks. I don't really want to ring of fire. I'm going to bring willpower strength or something. Two strength. I'm going to ring two strength is not that great. Willpower is basically very sound. So I know where the boss is then up. Um, yeah, they'll be like dying the opposite from where I am currently, basically. Sure, I'll take a magic map. We've got 10 of those. I should probably... I should use them somewhere. Obviously not here, because, I mean, I can't read scrolls here, so... <laughs> can't magic map to find the boss the short way or anything. Not that it would have told me anything that useful, because you can't really distinguish the boss chambers unless you're actually in them right. Stop trying to shoot my own guy. There we go. <laughs> shoot the guy that can, so that's just a... Uh... Good old man, not magic mapping, teleport scroll. I'm getting very close to the boss here. Uh, I don't like how my health is going there. Can I just do... I don't know about this angel. I guess it will help. It will hit this guy with holy wrath. There we go, that helped. I was blasting more time, but that's probably not. Oh, that was actually blasting a lot of time. I was going to say it probably wouldn't help it, but it did stick around. All right. Hey, I got a David. That's exactly what I want to see because um, that one's not just going to get in the way. It's actually going to be able to do some smiting. I don't want to drop a phantom mirror in there. Um, yeah, again, the angel is getting in the way, which is really annoying because I don't have portal projectile. Um... That's better. Somewhere I've actually got a clear shot. Oh, not for long, though. I mean, the angel actually managed to kill uh, Asmodeus there, so maybe not too bad bringing an angel after all. Alright, well, this should contain the rune. There's a dire one guarding it as well. Not dire, in front of the elephant. There we go. Got my 11th rune with this character, which I think is my first hell rune. So now I just want to get out of here, I guess. <sighs> which hell do I want to do next? I'm going to think about that one. So I've got... Tartar or so? Cosiders? I'd say just two of ancients. Um, I think Tartarus might be okay. I gotta be very careful not to be static and like poison and stuff, but oh well. Um, I could drop that ring. Fire does fly? I don't know. Keep it around. Um, back to the basic decks, I guess. <laughs> yeah, because it's not like I need really much in the way of resistance here. I feel drained. I gotta fight these guys until I recover some of that, I think. So I don't want to be diving down while I'm building up the draged um, amount or anything. That's a chance. 50% of bringing a howl and, or howling me. I don't really have a lot of cancellation either, which is a bit of a problem, right? Yeah, I'm down to a single cancellation potion. Like, I mean, theoretically, I could yarns myself if I don't feel I'd be more mutated. Um... <laughs> Because I did get the yards going, I just haven't been using it a whole lot. I maybe should have been using it on some of the summons earlier, actually. That's probably a good, would have been a good idea. I kind of totally forgot I had the yards, actually. Alright. I should be careful, I should be to explore, because I think I saw some silence down that way. And I lose my Shining Aura uh, temporarily while there's a profane served. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a Silent Sora. Um, fine, I'll just... Oh, there we go. I can avoid it. I can just go downstairs.
Oh, okay. That's a lot of guys that could um, do stuff. Hold up. I wonder if I'm going to be fighting these guys, I want to at least be in the wall, right? Oh, that's really bad. I teleport out, actually. Oh, I destroyed the dreadlitch, but so much for like hiding in the wall there. It just brought out a guy behind me. Get rid of the dreadlitch first, because that's the dude with paralysis, I think. I probably should have had an angel when I was fighting the dreadlitch, just in case I got paralyzed and stuff. But hey, I've got one now, at least. Um... I think I've been paralyzed. I might just bring out another couple of angels. All right, that uh, chopped through those guys. I guess I should wait for my angels to keep up just in case there's more guys in here, which there probably is. All right, there's a down staircase. So I'll just buff, go down. I'm on level 4, so I haven't made a huge amount of progress just yet. I can read a scroll of... I'll read a scroll of poison. Just so this dude, the mouth dude can't get me. Um, Oh, maybe a fog would have been better. Because uh, I did run to this middle, coming along to a bit later on, unfortunately. Should do the fog now, I think. So I was gonna put. Wait, it won't put me in that guy's poison because uh, it can't bring out the poison when I'm in the fog cloud, which is totally nice. I know there's still the t t middle. There it is. I decided to actually come and fight me instead of just uh, tidy in view. All right, let's go downstairs again. Says it's the middle, right? Okay. Well, I think that calls for a proper choke point. Um, we can fight it one on one. Whoops. Probably gonna get slowed, aren't I? Or maybe not. Uh, okay, I'm held. I uh, should get rid of that so it's middle with cleansing flame. Oh, there's another one. Still held. Still the Calanthic Flame. Doesn't kill one of these guys, unfortunately, because it's a uh, corrupted angel, and apparently it keeps its uh, immunity to Calanthic Flame, despite being corrupted. All right, sixth level. What have we got here? Quite a few creatures. I don't think these walls are diggable either. Um, I'm gonna break them and kill them with the fog. <laughs> now nah, I got held again. All right. Well, they're gonna keep a clanding well. So, uh, um, thing they can torment me in view. Oh, it's no point in really clanding when there's so many guys that are like immune to it. Yeah. I don't know, it was, makes sense when there's a few things that aren't. I don't even be able to get behind. Oh. Huh. I'm gonna get into these guys' my ass mode. I don't think there's much I can do about that. Probably just like cleanse them up. Alright, master invocations, like master dodging, and master shields. Uh, get some. Fighting. I might get the range up to like 22. Just grab a little bit of that one, I think. That's right. It'll increase my damage just a bit, but I'm already at mid to like, well, truly. So it's not too bad if I don't get any more skill. All right. So I want to put on a divine shield. Go down to the last level here. Let's pop the scroll of poison. I love how the scrolls of poison are still useful despite all the enemies being immune to them just as a way of bringing out the clouds. Oh, this is, uh, this is the boss chamber right here. 
I might explore some of the rest of this level before they end up teleporting, I think. But I almost certainly will. Um, often you can kill the boss fairly quick here because she uh, is vulnerable to holy wrath on all your angels, but not always. Um... Oh, whoops. That's better. It's funny using poison to protect you from poison, but I guess it's uh, just how this game works. Oh, girl. Landing in the poison cloud again. Not much I can do this time round, though. Um, okay, now I can probably bring out the fog and protect myself. 33 shield coming in on, it certainly is, so it's a lot for a spring to have, but there's a tiny little buckler because it's got the, well, it's got the shining ones buff on it, right, and it's got, I mean, lots of shield skill, I guess, as well. I don't think I can get any more, though, because I maxed out my, um, invocation skill. Well, I mean, this mic is a bit useless. All right, well, I know exactly where I need to be. I need to be in here. Uh, okay, I might pull this around the corner. Is that the right thing to do? It did kind of pull me into that negative energy, but I was trying to find them, like, one at a time instead of having the um, Tzitzit middle behind the other one or something. That's a big problem with Irish Giggle. She loves to summon in these to zits and middles. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> Should I start auto exploring at some uh, manual exploring at some stage? I mean, maybe. Oh, this is the boss chamber. This well, really the boss chamber. All right, so. Try to bring out some angels. That's a questionable, but okay, if I go in here and I leg the fire, I think this is actually fine. I've got the resist negative, right? So I don't have any resist cold, but does she do cold damage? Oh, she does. Fine, I drink a potion of resistance then. Um... I ran myself into magic points. I got eight magic potions. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, I'll need some for two, but apart from that, like, it's not really needed. Okay, I think everything here is... How much damage? Oh, it's moderate. Oh! Okay. That's not ideal. She got me with silence just my tree for abandoned. Um... That's okay. Don't massively like this guy being here. Um, I think I just shoot her. Ooh, health is low. I've got to heal up. Oh, I'm low on these healing potions, aren't I? Okay, yeah, those are maybe not the best of the time for my tree form to wear off ever. Anyway, I got my rune, so I can now get out of here. Unfortunately, I'm running out of healing points. I'm about to see if there's some of those for sale. Um, why is these coming up with heal? We've got regen. I guess that's close enough. Anyway, let's get out of here. Right, so... Where next? I might go to tomb, but I'd love to have a few healing potions in here. Oh, well. At least I'll get my party back in here, so that's something. Uh... There we go, I'll pull that guy in. I'm just trying to pull it in with a bit of fog, because otherwise it's going to be on top of me the whole time. I'll just try to pull it in. 
and it already got its creatures out, so I couldn't exactly get up to it either, which was a bit of a problem. I think this dude's like smiting me or something. Um. It's okay, but I should probably hear to read back. Not used to the sphinxes being uh, that tough because I guess I'm used to having more than uh, what, hundred and fifty nine max health as a character. At least at this point in the game, anyway. Oh, didn't quite. Okay. Really, scorpions? I don't want to fight the scorpions. I want to fight the dude that's up with the scorpions. Uh, oh no, I think it's got a scorpion or something. Uh, hey, there we go. It's within cleansing flame range at least, even if I can't get it with my actual little hand crossbow. Hand cannon. I was saying hand crossbow for a little while, but no, it's definitely a hand cannon that I'm using. I don't, what was it? When my hand cro uh, cannons first added, was it 0 0.12 or was it 0. Point, no, not 1, 2, 0. 0.32 or 0. 0.31? I can't even remember. It doesn't really matter that much. I feel like they've been in the game for ages, but I don't think they really have. Yeah, sometimes it feels like something's been in the game for ages. It's like, oh, those actually added a truck. People playing stable so we got it. All right, well, I've got the way down. Oh, theory. What's Scar to get? Just, um, just nets. That's fine. I can walk through those. Even if it takes a few extra turns so I can put on my shield. I definitely want to haste. What else do I want to do when I go down? I can lignify and I can attract it. Right. Um, somewhat low the attraction, but I reckon it'll be fine. The main thing I'm worried about is not having the healing potions. Um, they don't have the largest shield value ever, so they don't have the best defenses here. And I lose all my evasion, so I can't lose my advantage from being a springin'. <sighs> I can't believe it was a net. Of course it did. Um... Go find the staircase, but I don't think there's too much left here. And maybe the cage are all, uh, Bobby High Priest or something. Is that a High Priest or just an ordinary priest? I do haven't. I thought that really thought a High Priest, but I have to check next time I see one. <laughs> might just be ordinary priest. Yeah, Kufu might be the only Bobby High Priest or something. Uh. Oh, there's one I can actually go check. It's uh, just a regular priest. Oh, yeah. Slammed up. Whatever. Got some dispersal traps keeping me thoroughly from going into the spot, but that's probably fine. It's not like I really need to get in there in a hurry. Where I do need to get, on the other hand, is down here, which I have plenty of teleports. I have 18, so I'm going to give one of those a try. Oh, it worked. Um, cool. Uh, <laughs> not quite the direction I wanted to go, but oh well. Uh-oh, what just happened to me? Petrify might slow. I can't petrify right now. I'm about to drink the cancellation. Um, also, can I just fog up, pull some of these guys a little bit closer? Oh, I can't. Maybe I should have just yarded myself so you're going to get bomb mutated anyway with all this, uh, contamination I've got. I feel odd for a moment. I think my 
Did I have protection from mutation? I do. I think that saved me from taking a ball mutation there. Wait, what was on the ground there? Rome of Folly. That was so fun. You like lose all your willpower, but your spells like half the magic cards to get a little bit more extra power. You like get enhanced from them. All right, well, I'm down to the last level, right? Um, so obviously the haste. I just read a teleport and go down. Huh. Okay, but I'm going to read another teleport. Come on, just teleport. Really? That's exactly where I started. Okay, well, I don't know. At some point, I'm just going to hug it down. Oh, I mean, this is all right, I guess. Uh... All right, well, I guess uh, I guess it's gonna have to do. So let's do the lignification and the attraction and just pull some guys in and see how it goes. I mean, there's uh, unfortunately the net trap there, which is not the best thing in the world to see, but um, okay, I'm slowed down, of course, which means my, uh, my haste must have worn off by now, like the actual haste I had on. All right. I oh, can't get paralyzed if no one is alive to paralyze you. Exactly. Just gonna kill everyone before they get a chance. Oh, I am no longer buffed of any kind, so I'm just gonna go up. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. I got five strength left. That's not too bad either. So let's just haste up again. I mean, I just go down. I should probably uh, put on the lignification before someone hits me with a uh, torment or something. Also, I should maybe do a bit of a traction. I'm not sure how many guys there are left to attract, though. I mean, I'm probably get a few guys, I guess. Oh, there's someone. Yeah, this is looking pretty clear. All right. Oh, yeah. And it was time for my form to wear off and everything. So I just go back to one of these staircases. You know what? I might even go up and get my health back and then just head straight back down. But all this seems to be going all right at this point. You do still have to be like a little bit careful with the remaining few guys. They can still give you a decent fight. But at least I can go up my staircases now if need be. Um, is there a ziggurat? I see a ziggurat right here. Good. So I can escape to one of those too. If I happen to need to get out of, I don't know, probably the Iron City of Dis or something. Plus one buckler region. I don't need to see invisible. That's like blank. Uh, it's not that good. I mean, region's all right. I don't think I have any. Oh, it's five of this wizardry. Oh, seven decks. Yes, please. Uh... I actually just dropped one of my rings here. I mean, that's a free fire resist. Uh, if I've ever seen one. Okay. See, we've got three strengths, a bit of wizardry. I mean, this spell is going to be totally fine with that. Yeah, I mean, max out of fire. So I've already done the fiery hell, but hey, there's a free deck and strengths elsewhere. So, what's the club? Plus eight giant club of flaming and flight. I mean, it's bigger than me, but sure. He's gonna not gonna come around the corner. I'm gonna have to like, go fight it myself. It probably wasn't just about to come around the corner or something. Gonna go on reflection. No, I don't think I do that. I've got the got like uh, what was it? Fire or something else? I don't really need the fire resist anymore. It's uh oh, resist electric faith one, right? No wonder I had like endless piety. I'm really not needing that one. It was uh, more useful when I was with Okumaru because Okumaru piety is a bit more uh, scarce than shining one piety and extended. Try to retreat back a little bit just so I can get some health back. All right. Uh, I doubt I'm going to get the rune here because I spent quite a lot of time like healing up. I really doubt it. But I might surprise me. Um, I didn't get surprised with a rune earlier, I think, with this character. But that was back when I saw it regen. Oh, a healing potion. 
Okay, I don't need the wizard rail the acrobat. I'll definitely take a healing potion. Uh, definitely cleanse those guys. So this needs to work well, the scarab beetles. Yeah, I mean, there's my rune. Definitely no jam in sight. Right, wouldn't the jab like kind of break the symmetry unless it just puts the jab there or something? Because <laughs> there are a lot of places that have symmetry which probably wouldn't work quite well. The, the runes aren't usually stacked with the jabs anymore. They used to be for a while, but that was kind of awkward. Alright, well I can get out of here now. Um, what do I have left? Cosidus in the Iron City of Dust. Cosidus is going to be a nightmare. I think that this is going to be quite hot, but I think I should go do that one right now, I think. Got some haste at least. Got some blinking. What else have I got? <laughs> got a bit of amnesia that I probably don't need. Okay. I got the dex rig on. I've got the dex rig on. Okay, well, those sound about right. Um. Hmm. I think I just go in. I was gonna, like, do some revelations and stuff. A lot of these guys have probably heard me. Yeah, they're popping down the doors. Oh. I'm marked, aren't I? Uh -huh. I could probably just go up, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I gotta... Every time we go down, there's gonna be a whole group of guys here, but I think uh, that was a... Five worlds fight to go up. Gotta make sure I got my shield on because I basically got no AC in here. What is it, two or something? It really doesn't exist in here. Okay. Um. I do a bit of fog. I think I can leave those tormentors be, hopefully. Uh, let me do the revelation, see whether, yeah, I can just leave them be on their little island. They can enjoy that island all on their own. I might go fight these guys, though. Try and get a bit of my draining removed, I think. Oh, yeah, that's pretty much all of the draining gone, so I'm just ready to go downstairs, I guess. Okay. Uh, sure, I'll pop another magic mapping a hole. I started off the down staircase before I got the teleport. Okay. Next level. Oh, where's the tormentor? Let me just get, uh, let me shoot it. Am I missing my resist corrosion? No, I got that one. I might actually haste up. Um, right, doesn't spread into the areas right next to me. That's fair enough. Um, this looks okay, it doesn't look perfect, but I think a bit of calanding flame and this should die. Ooh, 70 hit points. I think another calanding flame. All right. Oh, Iron Giant. Um, that actually don't look the best. I might just do that. Do a uh, summoning scroll in the stooge. Fortunately, I get my own summons and the, uh, like the points they had out, but I think it's all right. Uh, fortunately, my summons are kind of losing this fight. Still hasted, but like... I just found a mirror of this guy. Do I have any roots? Do I? Charming's probably not gonna work. Okay. Got a little angel. Hopefully it's uh oh, it's not exactly where I wanted it. And it will do, I guess. A 
So many iron golems. What's the plan with all these iron golems? I'm looking a bit healthier, so I think I just teleport. Um, oh. Okay. <sighs> because there's no way of hiding from that dispersal trap. And this guy here is the main threat. Maybe. Uh, this guy did good quite a bit with his Quicksilver Blast, but I think I'm doing good again. Uh, trying to keep a bit of a distance. I have a Springer, which makes it a lot easier to keep a distance from this guy. And this guy's pretty slow at moving, so I guess that also helps. I was multiple times. And uh, not really regenerating, am I? But oh well. All right. <laughs> This is getting a little silly, but... Oh, don't just disperse me next to the guy. I'll disperse me into the lab trap. That's... Not perfect. Um, Quite a lot of stuff's coming along. I might teleport, although I'm not sure how good that will be. It probably won't take me too far. Ooh, that guy did a bit of damage when it threw that guy next to me. Oh, that teleport didn't take me anywhere. I think I just do another teleport, though. Fortunately, he's still marked, but I might be able to at least uh, get a little bit of health. I guess something's thrown at me, are they? Maybe. Or maybe the angels will hold the line. Oh, no, they did not. Ow. Um. Oh, this is a shame, but I think I'm going to have to do a something scroll. Yeah, I mean, this is enough stuff. It should be able to defend me, apart from this guy coming along. Oh, I think my summons... Oh, no, my summons are winning because I got enough iron golems in with the summons to do something. That was a pretty terrifying level, though, because I just kind of wasn't making a lot of progress. All right, let's go down again. Oh. All right, well, I think I skipped this level with the blinking. Oh, there are right giants there. I would approach this level from a different side, I think. Oof. Do the haste. What else can I do? Do the angel, I think. Oh no, there's another dude with damnation. Alright, and now we might be able to heal up a little bit. Hopefully, oh, can I just shoot past this guy? Barely, but it's not, uh, no, I'm running out of chances to shoot past this guy. My angel's gonna die pretty soon, though, I imagine. Oh, maybe not, because this guy's ignoring my angel, which means I basically get some free shots on this one. Oh, ambushes to ambushes, pretty much ambushes to ambushes, yeah, because I got the level way of the Iron Giants kicking around to Boulder Beetles. Um, after the previous level, it just spams lots of creatures. All right, well, I got the staircase, so I can just take that one down at least. Um, this is the last level. I'm gonna magic map it out. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to be, so I gotta go up this way. This is, uh, it looks like I gotta clear a decent amount of this level, but I guess that's fine. At least I'm down to the last level. <laughs> And at least this wasn't a nasty ambush or anything. That's distortion, right? Yeah, good. That's something I don't have to worry about too much at this point in the game. Like, I've basically already done the abyss and everything, so I should be fine. Um... Oh no, I'm marked.
oh, fine. I'll yard myself up and I'm going to take a movie tape. What did I get? Did I get the minus potions? I think I did. All right. I might. Do I reset that? I don't know how many potions I've got left. I got like one healing potion left. Um, I guess I got the haste potions actually, so those are somewhat important. Um, in fact, I should probably drink one now before I get the minus potions. I reckon. I can't do damnation right with the. Iron Golem out the front, good. Because it does want to hit its own friendly Iron Golem, which is... Oh, ow. Fair enough. Um, Got the haste on. What else can I do here? I think I can just shoot this guy. Got a little bit of health back for killing some unholy things, which is nice. Ow. Cause it can see everywhere. Um, but cause the door just opens it straight back up, doesn't it? Or does it? I'm faster than it, so I think I close the door. Drink my healing potion. Um, I think I blink, but it's not perfect because it can hit me with the damnation. All right. I'm just kind of lacking health right now, just a little bit. Um, I think I can get a little bit of health back by the Ambrosia, but maybe not a lot. I mean, it's back up to like 80 health, 90 health. I lost my haste, but 90 health is okay. Might just put it back in my haste. Um, I know this guy's like almost dead, but it can still... Yeah, this is damnation again. I think I just shoot it again. That's kind of scary, though, when I'm that low in health. Oh, it noticed me. I thought I might just be able to, like, close up the door without noticing me, but I was clearly wrong. Oh, are you kidding me? Um, I need another blink. No, nah, that's not good. I'm gonna have to kill over the summoning. Not perfect though. Might be able to kill that guy though, at least. Okay, hopefully I can go back and get my health back somewhere. Um, I'm hoping if I close that door, that no one will notice. That I'll be able to get a bit of health back here. I won't have to go upstairs. I might drink that last Ambrosia, just in case. Oh, yeah, it looks like I finally got a safe spot to rest in. Right. Yeah, even despite getting rid of that mic the way I did, it wasn't very great. Um, I gotta reset these mutations. The plus one AC is not bad. Let's just see what happens. Minus potions. Okay. I calm down. Feel more energetic. That doesn't really help that much. I might reset these again. Armor fits strangely. That's whatever. Dex mutation, though. Dex mutation is good. And logical over feet. You know what? I'll go with that. <laughs> I got like zero AC right now, but hey. What can you do, right? Um, I got more evasion and shield value, so that makes up for it, I think. And I have more damage as well. About uh, 68 damage on this. Hand cannon? Alright, where's the way in? I think I just go in this way. Um, okay. Because I gotta deal with the Hell Sentinel first. I feel like the Hell Sentinels are probably one of the toughest things in the Iron City of Dust. Even for characters with a bit more hit points, they can be reasonably tough with their damnation. But with a character with those few hit points, they can just be absolutely terrifying. I mean, other things that definitely can be a problem, but I don't know. It feels like I'm consistently having problems with the Hell Sentinels damnation. Because they're quite robust. So you often can't just kill them. Oh. Hey, stop. 
And a lot of it comes down to luck. Like, yeah, that uh, damnation didn't do too much. That one did a bit more. I think I did need that haste. I got through quite a few hastes in the Iron City of Dis, but that's to be expected. And that's the Iron City of Dis after all. Okay. Do I have my mirror back? No, not quite. That's a shame. It's nice to be able to mirror up the boss in here. Because the problem with this boss is I think he like summons some hell sentinels or something. <laughs> he might be able to do damnation himself as well, so that's always a bit tough. And funnily enough, like Iron Giants actually can throw them at you. Oh. That's not great. Um In the haste of the trick, but... Oh! <laughs> He's right there, okay. Well, I'll do a haste. What else have I got? The mirror's not charged up. I've got the angels right. Oh, I got Davis as well. That's excellent. And they fill up some space around him, which is probably good as well. Just turns of him summoning. Hey, there we go. I mean, with the angels wailing on him, he what didn't stand a chance. Got a rope. Oh, four magic points. Nah, no thanks. I don't think I'll worry about that one. I have no way I'm picking up this, these retirement funds. I'll let the angels do some work here as well. Might as well. Um... Uh-oh. Where did that damnation come from? I need a haste, don't I? Yeah. Because I don't want to be fighting two of these hell sentinels at once, but it looks like I'm fine. It looks like I can just get out of here with my rune, right? Because it's only Cosinus left to go. And it doesn't matter if you go into my haste fairly liberally in Cosinus, because, I mean, that's all I use it anyway. Uh, where's my cold resist? I need some. I want a basic cold resist. Come on. There's got to be better, something better than that. Uh, what am I wearing? A rope resistance. Let's give cold resist anyway. There's a... Uh... Basic cold resist? Is that it? Huh. Oh, it doesn't even come with a flight. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it might be it, actually, unfortunately. Well, okay, then. Fortunately, that uh, reduces down my decks and stuff a bit. All right, well, I guess I'm going in. No, oh, of course, I can't fly. I like the simulacrums. They do help me out. um, Because I can get health back when I kill them. Should actually take for a source of flight. I don't think there's anything good. There's a robe of fire with this flight. Orb with flight, rig with flight, but it's basic rig with flight. Um, or fire resist or whatever else it has. I don't know. It's not that important. Right. So I don't really have what I need to go through here, but um, hmm, I got blinking scrolls. <laughs> huh. I mean, I don't have a lot of fog left, um, do I? I know they can buy some. I probably should have, but yeah, there was one there. I probably should have bought that before I went in here. I didn't realize quite how low I was getting on the fogs. Oh, uh, this guy's not going to be able to petrify me unless I get next to it, I don't think. And even then, I can probably yard us up if I have to. All right, well, next level down, I marked. That's fine. I can at least dig into the wall. <laughs> Most of these creatures are pretty fine when you're fighting them 1v1. I don't think it's. I don't think that's too scary on its own in here. I mean, maybe the ice fiends can be quite scary if they torment you a few times and then you get into a fight with something tough. But apart from that... Oh, Master Fighting, excellent. What else do I need? I got a bit of stealth, that doesn't really matter. I can get a little bit of evocations. I sometimes use my evocables. I might just get the range, though. Hmm. 
<laughs> That's plenty of these guys playing Vale Mental Wellsprings. Okay. They do have a, the tag that can jump you for quite a lot of damage there. Uh, what is it called? Tidal Wave or something? That's not it. Yeah, Primal Wave, not Tidal Wave. Primal Wave. That one can do quite a bit. How often did you get hit with that Evader? Not that often, uh, Seven Day Wonder. No, this uh, Evader definitely helps. It was for a little while slightly higher as well, but unfortunately I had to put on a bit of cold resist coming in here, I think. Well, at least I decided to put on a bit of cold resist. I maybe didn't have to. Oh, this guy is obviously the target. Um... Oh, no, it's made for the shield. I mean, the shield definitely helps as well. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not just the evasion. You kind of need both to really do really, really well in terms of dodging. Because, I mean, some things ignore shields or whatever. I think, is there anything that ignores evasion but not shields? I'm not sure if there is. But you kind of do need both. Either, I mean, it doesn't really matter which two defenses you have. You just kind of need two of them. That's what I've found. Um... I think I've heard other people say that as well. All right, let me head down again and go sight us. Oh, that's me kind of surrounded. I guess I'm using one of these fogs. Oh, come on, fog. Come on, fog. Hey, that's doing a little bit better. Now get them all into like cleansing flame range. Oh, come on, fog. It's revealing this guy. I hate that. Um, Why are you being so disappointing here, fog? Just. Do what you're meant to do, and life will be so much better. Um, <laughs> I don't think this fog's doing the trick. Oh, I can't go there because I can't fly. Um, I can just cleanse these a little bit more, but I can't stick here too much longer. Okay, this might be alright. They just need these a little bit closer. No, they're not moving closer. I'm going to have to go up. Oh, I can't go up here? Why not? Oh, I could... Ah, I could cover the water. Okay. I see. I'm going to have to blink down this way, I think. Do I have a ring of flight? I do. Um... Hmm. How fast is the strike? It's pretty fast, right? 300%? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the definition of fast. Um... Which one do I take off? Because I got to put on the basic flight. I mean, I actually think I take off the cold resist. Uh, no. Yes. I don't know. Either is probably fine. I just got to dig myself into one of these spots. I got to dig out the side, but I think it's going to be all right. Let's put it back on the uh, cold resist because I definitely got to have that one in here, I think. Uh, did you do a ziggurat yet? I haven't done a ziggurat yet. Seven day wonder. Unfortunately. Oh, the orb of destruction. Oh, that's true. That does take the shield, but not the, um, just, uh, what is it? The evasion. That's true. Or oh, imagine if Shard Strikes didn't have, a uh, the badgy AI. They'd absolutely murder you without the badgy AI, wouldn't they? Okay. There's a little bit of torment, but I got... Most of the health back just from killing the dudes at least. <laughs> of course, I can't actually get out of here without putting the flight back on, I think. Alright, oh, where's my decks? Probably the right thing to have a general. Although, apparently, if things are like zombies, they don't have the bad AI anymore, but I guess, uh,. I guess that the shard drakes probably wouldn't be too bad as zombies anyway. They'd probably lose their throwing shard ability, whatever it's called, their ice shard. Oh, if you want to see that in action, just take a look at Trike Simulacra. Oh, right, because I guess they don't have the bad AI either, so they can kind of just wreck you. Why is my... Hold up. I'm wearing the wrong ring. Yeah, well. Actually, not too bad. We don't have that much cold resistance here. Um, I 
Uh, though probably in general, I should probably have the cold resort instead of the decks. Just uh, not necessarily the right thing to actually have on in here. Okay, I can probably just head on down. Oh, shrikes. It poisoned up shrikes. Okay, I think I'm taking them out. Uh, <laughs> I probably also made a ton of noise, so if there's anything else on this level, it would have hurt me. Although I think I'm kind of in the corner of the level, so I probably won't attract too much more stuff. I did get biked or anything at least. Um, I know it's a strike, but I think this guy is actually my priority target. Oh, no. Not multiple of those guys. Um, my last fog, but... I think it's totally worth it. Um... <laughs> At that time, it actually spread. I mean, the hand cannon doesn't help with the spreading. Please tell me I don't have to go. I suppose I can go around the long way. I could also put on fly and fly uh, through the shorter way, but. What's the thing to do with the tormentor over there? Can I just shoot it? <laughs> no, of course not. All right. So I got my divide shield on. I got to check with that one. Because I think the shrikes just uh, slaughter you when you don't have that one on. Let's keep on moving. And they're kind of hard to hit. Yeah, that takes out. Though they are shrikes, they do sort of fly around all over the place. And this is making me go around the entire way, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like it might be. But at least I can go back on the same side that I came down, so I don't think I'll meet too many enemies going back this way. It's funny having, like, the ice statues in here. I know they make, like, a lot of sense, but they're not exactly the toughest enemy at this point in the game. I mean, they're still summoning creatures, I guess, so they can't get in your way. Uh, oh, hey, Servant of Hell. It can almost certainly fly. It is a Servant of Hell, after all. So it's got Flash Freeze, Cold Breath, and Freezing Cloud. Um, of course, it can summon dragons. Let's just pull it back a little bit. What do I want to use on it? Let me think. I think I might just be able to shoot it. Tell that uh, ice feed turned up, but no, that was not too bad. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't be able to fight it if that was around for the start of the fight. I would have had to retreat or maybe even teleport out of there or something. All right. I feel like the icy zone of hell probably isn't one of the worst ones. I don't know, I feel like the... Ooh, that did quite a bit of damage. I think it's okay. Um, Let's throw the last simulacra at me as well. That can definitely add up with the damage, because I'm not actually perfect in my confidence with this character, right? I've still got two, though. So it should be enough, but uh, it ignores my evasion. I think it ignores my shield, so... Yeah, it does quite a bit of damage getting a simulacra thrown at me. Okay. Uh, oh, so what is slowing me down? Um, I think it's still worth getting around this corner. Just pulling out whatever wants to follow me, which is probably some of these giants. Way to go, at least can't get off that island, which is sort of nice. All right. Uh, 
Uh, actually, I can't dig out through those walls. Um, I think I just gave a retreating back because I don't want to run into too many more creatures or anything. Oh, they didn't follow me. The giants can swim, though, so they should be able to follow me. Where'd they go? The problem with the Giants is they have, like, the airstrike, and there's not really any cover. I mean, there's kind of walls here. They can kind of use for cover against the airstrike, but it's not perfect. Um... All right. I can kind of see, like, the, the area you could walk through here if you wanted to clear out everywhere, which I kind of do vaguely. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I see giants with the airstrike, which unfortunately also ignores my evade, and I think my shield as well. Uh... I don't want to go. I might go around the... Uh, do I go around this side as well? Make sure I clear that out. I think I might. Um, just so that when I'm fighting the boss, I'm less likely to run into creatures. I feel like I'm most of the way to the boss chambers, but the uh, boss always has ice feeds with them. And I haven't seen the ice feeds yet, so I'm going to have to fight those at some stage. Um... There's one of the ice feeds. Uh, she killed the Wendigo because they will throw the simulacrums at me. And that does a lot of damage. I feel like she killed the guy that can airstrike me, I think. Alright, there's got to be another ice feed here. There's definitely not just one of them. That's... Yeah, that's unlikely. <laughs> oh, there goes an air strike. All right. I got to make sure I clear out the center, I think, here as well. Although I really doubt there's too much in here. Looks like it might actually be completely cleared out already. Yep, uh, it definitely is. Um... Oh, there's another one. The Ice Fiends. I'll pull that one back. All right. Come on, Ice Fiend. Follow me out. There we go. Kind of precision Ice Fiend killing. I don't have any fog left, do I? Huh. Might just pull these guys back, though. Um, Might bring, bring out an angel. Don't go there, Angel. I mean, I guess it's fine if it goes there. It's not quite perfect. Um, I think I want a few angels while fighting the boss, but again, I'm going to have problems with not being able to reach through. There he is. Let's just bring him back. Um, I'm faster than him at least some of the time. Uh, I think I've got a phantom mirror in here somewhere. Whoa, ow. Is it not? I don't even know where the phantom mirror put it. Um, ow. I might have to teleport out, actually. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> At least it'll give me a chance to get my health back, but I'm just worried that he'll also get his health back. Um... I'll do the whole angels again, I think. Um, all right, where is he? Yeah, he's still wounded. Good. Uh, 
Excellent, he's dead. So I can just take his stuff. So he's got his rune there, which I believe is my 15th rune. I've got all of my runes, thankfully. What else have we got? We've got some chainmail, which I don't think I care too much about. Oh, the ring of six slaying. Huh. I lose quite a lot of defenses putting that on, but it's definitely interesting. Now, I reckon the six tanks is probably better for this character, um, which is what I will put on outside of here. Oh, there's a blinky up here. I probably don't need it, but I should go grab it just in case. And there's also a hasty oath, because I still got Zod 5 to do, I guess. Um, all right. I think my fire resist is pretty good, so I can put on, where is it, Dex instead of cold resist. Yeah, fire resist is perfect. Let's go to Zot 5, clear that out, and I should be doing pretty well. All right, the, the traps were not great, though, if I remember correctly, but hey, I've still got haste potions, right? I've still got, like, uh, four haste potions. i got endless blinking. Okay. I think I start a haste. Everyone wants to be hasted here pretty much. Um I still have tons of magic potions because I don't think I end up using any in like uh two more or thing. So I can always just drink those if I need magic. Alright, orb of fire. Um It'll probably kill the angel, but Oh, uh, yeah, it did. <laughs> it was maybe worth a try. I'm not sure it was worth it all. So I lost magical power. That's fine. Yeah, the only reason I'm short of magical power right now is because it got drained. Um, there's another one? Okay. Well, I'm going to do another haste. At least I'll make me blink back or something. Like of my resist, I think everything is, yeah, everything checked out. Um, not missing one of my resist or anything, which I was for quite a lot of this game. No, definitely going through extended helps with that quite a bit. All right. Excellent. The last minute healing portion, those could be quite useful. I mean, those were made useful for longer, basically, with Spriggins, because, uh, I should not I shoot the guy on the trap, which leave that guy alive. Uh, because you don't have a lot of health and you have good defenses, so that kind of, uh, yeah, definitely means those are useful for longer. That's one way of making sure the trap doesn't get set off, just leave a dude on top of it. I mean, it could, did get set off once when the guy initially stood on it. Alright, well, I can, uh, I can airport this thing. Not this, this, uh, this orb here. All right, gave it to me. So I don't have any fog, unfortunately, which is usually it's nice, like reading a fog, uh, like back a couple of spaces and moving up to this, because then uh, it won't just teleport you back, because you won't be able to see back there. <sighs> at least, at least I'm fast at moving, but this is gonna be kind of painful. Good. I don't have to use a blink to get out, after all. And the old run's usually not too bad as a Springer, especially a Springer with like 16 blinking scrolls, 15 blinking scrolls on them. Oh, Mustard ranged already? Okay. You know, I'll just turn on the evocations, it doesn't really matter at this point. That's actually tough, that's a Hell Sigil. That dude, oh, dude made me clumsy. What are my mutations? Large glowing feet, arm fits poorly. Those are kind of just negative ones. Large glowing feet do nothing. They're not negative, though. But I'll reset these, see what I get. Uh, less encumbered by my armor. Increased magic. Clarity of mind. Recover slowly from me draining. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, it's not like I'm really going to get drained or anything here. So recovering slowly from that is just a nothing mutation, really. Oh, hey, Boris. He's hasted and mitered. Um, I think he needs a couple of angels. Oh, one angel, whatever. I don't want to be too far away from it because the Zorbs and Strikes are still kind of scary. Um, <laughs> hey, Vander Motor Blood, what do you do? 140% speed. Okay, what else? Wait, did it do anything else? Not really. Sure. <laughs> well, I can't keep up with a little Spriggan. The unhasted Spriggan, even. 
Uh, why does potions? <sighs> Whatever. Let's keep it moving. There we go. I'm at the exit. Let's get out of here. I'm a defender. I'm a spring and defender. Exactly what I want to be. So let's time to escape. No, that was a good win there. That was a fun game. There was a few sketchy points in hell, but apart from that, everything was pretty good. No, that ring of fire and those decks they got right near the end was quite helpful. My rings were basically decks most of the game, but I mean, sometimes they put in some other stuff. Oh, okay. Why did that just go to there? But that's fine. I didn't actually click end. I just scrolled down and apparently it just went there, but that's fine. And it's another title knocked off the list as well. All right, well, I might finish up now. Um, Yeah, I think I probably can. Well, church. I should pop my bottle though. It's probably left because I. Uh... Let's see. Nope, it was still there. Right, it was meant to leave on six hours. It's been there just over six hours, so it was probably thinking about leaving. Uh... Let me go see if anyone's streaming Dungeon Crawl. There, it's just me, isn't it? Well, that's a shame. Who can I raid? Who can I raid? Um, there's not a lot of people that I usually raid online right now. Hmm. You know what? I might raid uh Natsuki. There's someone that like Tanner's Fugit knows. Uh, I think she's playing Baldur's Gate three at the moment. So, yeah, I might go raid through to her. Uh, in fact, was she the artist that drew Tanner's Fugit's like VTuber model? Possibly. Sounds somewhat convincing. I could be entirely wrong on 